We are live. Okay. Good. Yeah, we, we are live. We are. Hi, my name is Stephen Hagen. I excuse me, I am Jason Thurston. And we are the best metal best ever death metal, metal band, band out of Denton. Denton. Yes. Uh, so we are live at STLVRD seven. Yes, this is number seven. Yeah, so, so we do have our last champion. Mason is trying to run it back. Right, Mason's trying to run it back. So Mason Trum, so we are in St. Louis, of course, that is the STL and STLVRD, home of Cracker Thin Pizza. Yeah, uh, great barbecue. Uh, Cardinals who ratted off seventeen wins, and Mason is an invader from Chicago. Right? Yes, so we opened up some invites, and uh, say, you know, St. Louis and Chicago, of course, has an interesting uh, relationship uh, yeah. of uh, you know murder rates and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, bagels sliced in an interesting yeah, no, way. No, ba- yeah, bagels are. I love a lot of things St. Louis, including bad pizza. But uh, it's bagels, good pizza. Emos is know, the best pizza. No, it's good. It's just not pizza. That's my take. Uh, okay, fair. Yeah, it's I, not I can, pizza. It, it is a graham cracker right. with molten lava cheese. But I love it. Yeah. Uh, but the bagels are they are a sin against humanity. Actually, no, they're fine. They're just I don't know what it is. It's just weird. just not for you. All yeah. right. That's maybe maybe that's why it's Panera everyone else yeah, everywhere it, else and only St. Louis <laughs> Bread Co here because they don't want to associate the two. That's fine. All right, all right. So we got uh, an interesting game. We've got uh, who do we got? We got some returners. Uh, Kyle yep. Vance has played before. Brandon uh, obviously. Brandon Curry is back. Cody uh, Gunner has played before, and then uh, of course Mason coming back from last time. Now, Eric Levine. Yes. Uh, he is a part of our commentary squad, and he returns uh, his first one since VRD2. Yep. Uh, where he and I competed over a very similar format, and he ended up over 500. Yeah. But on the outside looking in for the top uh, for the top three, or yep. the top four. And then newcomers, we have Kevin Freeman. Uh, Kevin has been, is, is, a, is a magic judge and a longtime logistics helper uh, yep. for us. Uh, we have Nemo Blaze. Uh, coming in for the first time, they are a local grinder. Uh, with that, we have uh, Jago uh, from Chicago. From Chicago, yeah. Mason's, Mason's buddy Mason. coming down yep. uh, for the drive. <laughs> you know, got yeah. some drive, uh, yeah. some drive help there. So we got some newcomers as well. So talking to people, obviously, we talked to people beforehand, try to get a feel for strategy. I talked to Kevin extensively, and the list that he had. Drummed up, which for those of you that don't know, usually the plan is come in with like Some lists. four to five decks yeah. ish. Like Ideas. He, here's my general plan. This is what I want to go for because you never know what someone else is on. Right. Um, one of Kevin's plans is one you and I have talked about extensively about how red deck. Yeah. Seems like especially in our meta here in St. Louis, where it's very all in combo strategies. There's not a lot that attacks life totals. That we thought red deck had an opportunity to really kind of prey upon some of those decks yeah. by being a more linear strategy. And particularly some of the newer red cards, right? So a card that I've been harping on for a while, and Mark makes fun of me, but if he does, it might make an appearance today, is Robber the Rich, for example, right? Uh, yeah. But this is an aggro card that nets you cards and steals their resources, yeah. right? Um, Ragavan is another one in there. So of course, yeah. uh, and that we might see the appearance of that. It was something we've long talked about. Uh, but speaking of plans, or a lack of, um, <laughs> Brandon has said that he overplanned last time. Yep. And he felt constrained by that. And he thinks it's a much stronger position to be reactionary. So he doesn't have a plan. Yeah, uh, that one is... I, I am very interested to see how that goes. That Brandon is chaos incarnate. He is. He, Even with a plan, Yeah, Brandon is chaos incarnate. Uh, well, well so. last time he was like, I'm going all in on mill, and he only ended up with two mill cards. Yeah. And I was like, come on, you can't... It's, it's a little bit of analysis paralysis, that's, I think, is what he got hit with. But right. it, it'll be interesting to see. So we've already had some interesting drama, though, um, starting off. You know, we've got about five minutes to draft. So uh, for those that don't know, we randomly pick um, the – who gets the – we don't just randomly pick the draft order. We randomly pick, and they get to select their draft order. Yes. So um, Kevin, uh, coming in for his first one, got the first pick, and he chose the eighth seed. Yeah. Now, looking at the list that he is thinking about, that makes sense to me, right? He, yeah. He, he was not planning for that first seed. No. Um, but that was interesting. Then Kyle grabbed the, the seat two, but Jago had pick three and grabbed seat seven. Yeah. Um, which I think is no Nemo had pick three and grabbed two. Maybe it was two and then seven. Yeah, yeah it was okay. two and then, then seven. Yeah. Yep. So Jago had pick four and instead of grabbing three, where you have a good shot at a at a really strong piece of power yeah. still, right? A vault or uh, you know, a recall, something like that, depending on how things go. Um, he grabs seven, uh, and I think that is a really interesting 
uh, yeah, we've got yeah, we're, we're good, good for, for picks in a minute. Absolutely. So just give us a few and uh, yeah. so yeah, uh, this will be interesting, right? Uh, you know, Brandon's been hungry. Uh, we'll see yeah. how it goes. Uh, Mason's defending. Yeah, uh, we've got some newcomers. Uh, I judged Nemo in a modern uh, win a something. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> win a land, win a something. I, yeah, uh, so one of the first kind of face to face events we had locally in modern and Nemo. They were in the top. They were in the final. Yeah, they, did they win it? No, they didn't hey, win it. They distinct. Lost. Thanks for the follow. They lost in the final, but they were yeah. a good player. Um, and so I, I'm interested to see how that goes. Nemo's also a good friend of uh, Dan Zelensky, uh, yeah. who is you know a, a regular here and a yeah. regular. So uh, it, it'll be interesting. This is the first one in a while that I've seen without Dan. What's up, Blake? And uh, it's funny because he last time he was talking to me and he said, you know, sometimes I go for what I call the Thurston Special. Which is dramatic reversal isochron scepter in whatever list <laughs> to just see if I can combo off or something. So yeah. it's, it'll be interesting to see if anyone goes for that here. I don't think so. Sorry, Dan, that's just for you and me. All right. But all right, so we're getting the draft started, and you have some insight on what Kyle's first pick is, right? So I talked to Kyle, uh, and so there's been a discussion on the uh, Discord, uh, the the VRD Discord. With if any of you want to join, you know uh, we can. Set up that link later so people can get it if you're not already in there. There's online VRDs there as well as St. Lotus discussion, things like that. Um, it's kind of becoming a – we're trying to make it a hub yeah. for uh, VRD as a whole. But there's all been a lot of discussion there. We discussed it a lot last time. Uh, if you're in the first seat, do you take recall or do you take look? And Kyle says he's taking recall uh, unless he changes his mind. He could audible. He could, yeah. He could audible. He, 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 you get to that spot. You think you're going to do it. You think you're going to do it. You think you're going to be the different. And then there's that. I could get Lotus. I get Lotus, right? Yeah. Like, it's St. Lotus, right? Yeah. Lotus is the thing. Um, we discussed earlier, like, Lotus has so much upside, yeah. but sometimes you're just activating Pack Rat with it. Yeah. Where Recall's always good. Yeah, re Recall is always good. I like, I like consistency, especially early on, because it's such a wide-open format that, like, you know what, I could draft Lotus, and then someone could just pick Reanimate or some combo piece right. that I'm going for three rounds early right. than what it normally goes, and all of a sudden, I'm without a plan. Yeah. Whereas I think, and this is something that Mason touched on last time when he was in the booth, is try to pick those generically powerful cards yeah. that, like, are consistently good, like your Black Disruption, stuff right. like that. Yeah, Mason said last time he likes to grab Black Disruption early and then see where the draft is and yep. figure out what's going to go with his Black Disruption. And I think that's a strong plan. Yeah, I, I think it is, and I think that Recall fits into that mold of, right. like, generically powerful. Because like you said, you know, sometimes with Black Lotus, you're just activating Pack Rat. And while it's got a really high ceiling, it's also got a really low floor. Right. And sometimes it's and just hard to... Issue. Yeah, you exactly. Know, a leg game issue, right? Uh, and yes, Blake, it will get intense soon. We're going to start off with picks before too long. This is usually about a... What would you say? Two-ish hours? No, uh, it's about a three-hour. Three hour, yeah. yeah. Two forty five. Yeah, two forty five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we do break we down do and get some pizza. Breaks, in there. Yeah. We got a, we got a point of source coming in. Right yeah. Now. So, uh, so I get we got some. So you know, and, and speaking of that, and I'll announce this several times throughout the day. I mean, so we did bring in Mason and, and uh, one of his friends last time, and a new friend this time, a good friend of his, good friend of Champion. Use visual aid oh. with some of the tokens. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but we, that same thing, like, if you're out of St. Louis area, but you are, hello, Nick from Down Under. Hey. Uh, but if you're out of St. Louis area, but you are interested and willing to make the trip, um, yeah. you can reach out to us. We are planning, it looks like, um, October, or January 8th, I think it is. Yeah. The first Saturday yeah, it's in January. the 8th, yeah. I think. I think it's the 8th. I think that's going to be our next one. Uh, yeah. And I'll get that date solidified. But you can reach out. Um, we're not guaranteeing you a spot. Uh, you know, we, we, we're going to... Facebook stalk you a bit, make sure yeah. you're fit, um, yeah. you know, but, uh, you know, make sure we don't think you're going to kill us. Uh, but, yeah, you can reach Please out, don't. and we can try to get you in. Uh, this is, we are trying to expand beyond. We have mimosas. We yeah. have, uh, I brought cheesecake today. Mainly, the first slice of cheesecake goes to Miss Nee, um, Mark's mm -hmm. wife, who uh, gives up her house for a part of the for a lot of the day. So, I brought uh, some burnt Basque cheesecake today. So, yes. it's a, a Spanish-style cheesecake that's really good. And for those of you that don't know, for the STL VRD, we use what's called the Lupe Fiasco buy-in. So it's $50 in food and or liquor yeah. 
is your buy-in, and then those it's something are... you would be willing to give as a wedding gift. Yeah, right. Like this is gonna be this is a quality. You're not bringing like a whole bunch of natty, right? Like this is a quality bottle of liquor or a quality food item um, that will. <laughs> we careful what you put on social media, guys. We'll use yeah, it. Exactly that, that photo of Eric. Yeah. All right, uh, Mark. Uh, we are ready. It's ten o'clock. Let's get this party started. Yeah, please. And yeah, it's it's interesting because then the top four will draft those prizes, yeah. obviously. Uh, and First place takes home four items. Yeah. Uh, second place takes home two, and then third and fourth each take home one. One. So yeah. All right. I th- so we should have it. Assuming our draft sheet is live and updating. Yes. Which is always a question sometimes in this early. Um, you you would think we'd have this down by now, but the fact is. We're constantly updating the way that our stream works, our assets, everything. So sometimes, you know, like right now, shout out to Hyphenated. Appreciate the work you do on the spreadsheet. We actually... We, we've stolen Hyphenated spreadsheets. We have a new update this time. Yeah. When they type in something wrong, which they will, um, yeah. <laughs> or when they type in something that's already been picked, the whole sheet should go warning, warning, yeah. warning, warning. So they'll know because last time we had an issue where Alec drafted Mox Pearl because he had mistakenly marked down that Mox Emerald was drafted by somebody yeah. and then went fast bond. And everyone was like, why would you draft Pearl and fast bond when Emerald is still there? Right. And he was in Gravy White. Yeah. So thanks for the uh, follow, Gravy. Yeah, appreciate that, Gravy. All right. All right. Mark, are they going in there? Um, or is our, we just want to know if our spreadsheet is act, doing the things or not. Oh, hey, Max. How's it going? Thanks for joining Jalapeno Children's Fun. I appreciate that. Children need more jalapeno than they do. They do. I have have children that are. (laughs) Yeah, no, I. They don't. They don't. No, (laughs) no. Definitely not. Uh, Another addition we have this time is we have actually live, or not live music. We have music playing in the draft room so that we can't hear the conversation and they can't hear us. That's been, we've had that about three times. Yeah. That's not new. Oh, fair. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been. At least three. Three. Yeah. yeah, it's been a couple VRDs since we had it, though. Yeah, the spicy little one. Uh, is... Yes, the, the 18 the, the eighteen suffices, but the 25 is obviously superior. So we... <laughs> 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 All right, so we've got... Looks like we've got some starting here. I see sheets going yellow. Yep, we've got people going. we got right. people typing in things. So they can type in and not hit enter, and it will kind of be ready. Yep. Um, at, at the thing. So this is, of course, live, right? Like, these are not, um, you know, th- there are a lot of online drafts where they are async, um, and sometimes they go rapid fire, and sometimes they don't. But uh, they are all sitting around a table in there. Ready for this? We're ready. Yes, let's do, let's do it. Uh, Mixmaster Brandon is our of music course. going in it's, there. So of course, it's Call Me Maybe. It, it's Call Me Maybe. Which yeah. just celebrated its 10th anniversary it, not too right, long yeah, ago. The uh, a Queer National Anthem. And there we have it, uh, Ancestral Recall. Yep. So breaking those. Black so, Lotus boom, boom. for Nemo. Nemo's right. like, okay, cool. Lotus Nemo's is ready mine. on that. Time Vault for Cody. Cody. Yeah. One, two, three, wham, bam, bam. These are pretty predictable. Um, Ooh. That's, you know, one of the, I think, Jet, you know, either it's either Jet or um, Sapphire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and for I sure. Think I think black is, at least locally, and looking at the online VRDs is too, I think black right now is really um, creeping up the power chart. I yeah. think that disruption, I think the thing is there's so much, everyone's going for blue, that there's there's all these, there's still going to be multiple people going for black, Yeah, but it's less contested. So I, I really you, think black is pushing the boundaries yeah. of blue as the, as the strongest color at well, this and, point. And the thing is, I, I think the strength of black lies in the fact that it has so many splashable... Answers. Answers and disruption. Oh, that, I like oh. this pick from Mason, right? Like, Crypt. So okay. I picked Soul Ring last time. Yeah. I think Crypt would have been the better pick than yeah. Soul Ring. Um, that two colorless mana is really strong. Yep. Uh, the Moxes are... Exactly, Gemma. Pick the Jet if you want to avoid the blue cluster. Yeah. yeah. So I think Crypt is strong here, right? Like yeah. you're like, oh, why? Why do you take a, a, a Mox? But the, you know the fact, and a Brandon with a Max Sapphire, right? Yeah. But the fact is, is two mana is powerful, right? Yeah, I two mana is very. The, I mean, land mana Crypt turn one. Turn is, two. Car, turn two Karn. Yeah, I, know, that's an yeah. absurd. Right. Um, and I think you know, touching back to the black thing, it's interesting because lately we've had maybe two to three people fighting over black, and you usually end up with like five fighting right. for blue. Okay, so Jago grabs. Here and and this leads to Kevin in this spot. So 
So the this Ooh. is where it's going to get right. Looking at Kevin's list, he showed us yeah. neither of Emerald or Pearl do jack for no, him. No, they do right? not. Other than just being a free rock. We're going Emerald. Okay. A free rock's still not bad, right? No, no, no. Yeah, free, I mean, free, especially free for if good. he goes to the artifact list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, us, yeah. Right? Yeah, he um, had now a the Cheerios qu- list. Right. That he was so the question is, what do we do with this second on the wheel? Right? Yeah. Um, I think Soul Ring here would be a good grab. Soul Ring would list. be very good if you want to go the Cheerios route. Right? Or Mox Pearl. He's just going to grab the double Mox. And so and may, maybe he's going to flex A round out. of applause. Uh, so, right. Nick, I, I think Soul Ring is top eight worthy. Yeah, I picked it, and I was... I was Only thing in my list last time, it didn't allow me as much to cast um, the second, uh, the him. It didn't guarantee yeah. some of the best, some of my plays on turn two. Yeah, uh, I definitely top eight soul ring. It, there's a lot of discussion, and it is top eight worthy. Yeah, and it will go. Oh, Jago, Jago going the red list maybe. Oh, ja- Jago is going mono red. Maybe. Ragavan, I mean, second be mono red. I mean, okay, yeah, okay, because Ragavan Ruby, that's a powerful blue red list. Yeah, that's, that's a powerful true. like yeah. red white list. Like, there's a yeah. lot of things. Like, we're not mono red. Yet. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's true. We're not yet. Uh, and actually, Nick, if you do exclamation pick. Yeah, and type in soul ring, which yeah. we'll do yeah. real we'll, quick. We'll, we'll show, for example. So this is one of the things you have if you're first tuning in. We have uh, night seed. Uh, you got to type pick. Yep. We have night seed. So you type. Yeah, there you go. Someone did it, but misspelled it. But soul ring corrected. So if you type exclamation point pick and then soul ring or whatever card you want, it will tell you based on our databases how many yep. times across all VRDs, not just ours. Yeah. All VRDs we have information on. It'll tell you its average pick. Right. So Blake, what's happening here is basically. There's a format in Magic called Draft, for those of you that are tuning in, and the way Vintage Rotisserie Draft works is basically there is one pack on the table. Every card legal in Vintage. Yes. Um, with some minor restrictions. For example, we take out the Draft Matters cards. Yeah. From Conspiracy. Uh, and what it basically does is there's Soul Ring now yeah. from Brandon. Uh, basically, at, there's one of every card, and when you pick it, it's removed from the pool, and yeah. you use all of those cards to make your deck. Yes. So, and it's a serpentine draft, like you would in Fantasy Sports. Yeah. So we go one through eight, and then eight through one on down. Yeah. So we're going to take our breaks, not at the traditional packs, right? So normally our break, our breaks have been happening at like after 15, after yeah. traditional pack, but that makes it as weird on the serpentine. So mm-hmm. we're going to take our first break after pick 14. So yeah. we're at a, a natural serpentine. We're also, for that, going to go 46 picks. Yes. So yeah. that uh, pick one, pack one is not getting the extra last um, wheel. early wheel yeah. pick, right? Which is something new for this draft. Right, that's new. All right, so Mason, sticking with the strategy you talked about yep. last time. Grab that thought seize, right? Yeah, get your generic disruption. Yeah. Get in what you can. Uh, yeah, Splinter Twin. And especially with Eric. That's strong right now, because Eric's, oh, yeah. Eric's in a bind now, right? Yeah, because he, he has Jet, right. and all of a so sudden. So what is his plan? You know, I, I think Eric wanted thought seize in that spot, is my guess. I agree. Um, so, and I, Mason read that, Mason read because actually, funny enough, I was in Eric's exact spot, and Mason was same as that spot yep. last draft. Yep. And he still thought C's from me then, too. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I tried to get it to wheel. Um, yeah. But I took D-Tutor here last time. That's right, you did. Yeah. Um, and this this was where we discussed the fight over... Uh, yeah, isn't it? It's great bot, super helpful. Uh, this is where, in commentary, we were discussing the fight over D-Tutor versus Vamp Tutor. Yeah, and The Vamp, Tutors versus Disruption. Vamp went, and, what you're going and for. I made a mistake in taking... Um, Imperial seal third pick. I yeah. should instead of thought seize. That was yep. where I was. It was I picked a seal oh, instead right. of thought seize. Yeah. And yeah. I should have picked thought seize. Yeah. Uh um, mana vault. Okay. 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 So again, just big mana that's fine. Right. So no one other than the Ragavan, no one's taking a super claim here earlier. No. Like thought seize can go into anything. Yeah. Uh, but Ragavan's I said the Ragavan's a flex card. It, like, it, is. it is. It's super splash. It went it's really a great late. Tempo it card. went really late last time. Actually, it didn't even go. Like, no, it didn't. Day. Darcy went last right. time. Yeah, Darcy went. Yeah. Uh, but Ragavan should have gone. No, it did go very late, I think. But yeah. I don't think it got main decked. Um, but I like that Ragavan pick a lot. Well, and it's interesting because Mason and I were talking last time, and we basically, you know, discussed how we thought him watching our drafts and everything, he realized Mono Red was one of those strategies that mm-hmm. operates on a different axis than our meta does. Right. So it's possible that he talked to Jago about yeah, it, yeah. and that's where the strategy came right, from. Right, right. But again, it just could be blue red tip. Uh, it could be, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's so many be. things you can do with it. Yeah. Um, I, I, was, I was discussing with Cody Owen, who's frequently drafted with us, a strategy of um, red-black, where you go, just you get your heavy discard suite, and yeah. then you go some of the red aggro cards. Mm-hmm. 
uh, like Ragavan yep. and Darcy and things like that. And you just go kind of like I did last time with Green Black, but you cut out the two card combos and just go Red Black. Mm-hmm. And I think that's strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you, you can, uh, you know, key, things like that. So the thing about Vault is that, you know, you don't, you don't ever drive key this early um, because no, there there's are, so many. There's so many, particularly there's a brand new one. Yeah, there is. Uh, Teferi who laughs at the moon or whatever the hell it's yeah. called, right? Yeah. So the new Teferi is another Vault enabler, right? And we were talking about that beforehand, how we thought it might be better than Tez. Yeah, uh, well, Tez tutors the Vault. Yeah. This offers other potential things and, like, digging for cards, uh, things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, the new Teferi... Uh, interestingly enough, I don't know if we'll see it, but the new Teferi also plays well with Stasis Lock. It does. You can lock. You can put their lands tap down, untap your artifact to keep paying the Stasis. Mm-hmm. I. That's the sexiest thing to me. Yeah. Um, Which last VRD we saw Stasis Root Maze come out of the board. A lot of come out of the board. Yeah, board. yeah. And it should have been main deck. To be yeah, honest, right? I I agree. Yeah, Tinker it will go in this realm here somewhere. Urza Saga. So did it I, even get picked? It last did. Time? It did. I okay. don't. I, I think Urza Saga is. If you've got the Soul Ring, so here's my take on Urza Saga and BRD. It's not all it's cracked up to be, yeah. right? Um, it gets. It, it can get you a manner, which is fine, and thin your deck a bit. But I think you only really go for it if you've got something that you're going to combo with it. Like if I'm yeah. in an Ultra of the Brood deck, I want it because it can get Ultra of the Brood, yeah. right? Um, so LED I, if you're Storm or Lotus ooh, or whatever. Course. Right. Yeah. But yeah, so if you're in Storm or Lotus or LED, but if you're not getting a key combo piece, it's I think it's honestly great. mediocre. Well, and the thing is, like, it, you'd almost rather have Karn at that point, right? right. Because it doesn't have to be your one drop combo piece. Right. You can just get whatever oh, combo piece. So you here's want. a note. So oh. uh, Force of Will going here is interesting. Uh, Force of Will has been going about third round lately, yeah. I think. But also, we don't have a Narset yet. Um, we Narset do not. has been a solid second round. Ooh, Black Lotus and Dark Red. So we're going to see. Um, so no Narset yet is really interesting here. Yeah. Um, yeah, it can get key, it can get grindstone. So again, like those are the pieces I think Saga's good with. Yeah. But outside of that, I think like just Sogging for a piece of mana is, is you know, yeah. Sogging for your Mox. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, but I don't think it's a build around. No. Right. Uh, I actually, so I talked to Nemo when he was first talking about coming here. Uh-huh. He mentioned wanting to run a Tess style test style list because he loves legacy okay uh and i said you know i'm not sure how viable like obviously storm combo exists right. because twister's there right like you know but it'll be interesting to see if he goes for like a tendrils combo list here which yeah. he's kind of okay right, so we got the tinker there's yeah. the tinker yeah so okay I, I said tinker rarely survives round two yeah and i mean it's tinker blight steel there we go okay and he's just got to fix some spelling drop an l yeah, so there is, as you see, the spreadsheet Saga, changes color, says, hey, this is wrong. Saga can get Mox, yes. Yeah. It can't get lands. It can't get artifact lands. Sure. Uh, DAC is another very good one. DAC will go somewhere in these spots, um, very typically. Uh, okay, so we got the Entomb. So Nemo's going to go uh, Reanimator, Lotus, Ritual, Entomb. That's you know. actually a good point, Garibsi. Uh, you can like You can go a much more fair style list with it, which, as we've been touching on, you know, hey, we've got a potentially mono-red player here. Right. Those fair decks actually have, like, a really good chance in this meta, we feel like, because right. it attacks on a different axis. So, Demonic Tutor for Cody, then. So... Nick, um, the... Yeah, this the wheel picks are really strong, right? Um, the only thing the wheels really allow you to do well and I did this in VRD too, is really play two-card Monty really well. Yeah. Because yeah. you can make sure you're like, uh, you know, if you have a strong two-card two card combo, you can just boom, boom. Yeah, Time Walk's still available. Time Walk's a controversial card. Um, er- Eric grabbed the Strip Mine here like he should. It, yeah. Strip Mine last time, I took it in that same spot, but it went like way, way late. Yeah, it went so um, late. T- for a lot, if you're not the right deck, Time Walk is just an explorer, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you're not picking explorer in round th- and pick four. No. Right, so time no, no. walk can go a little later quite often. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Keep sticking on the discard plan. Yep. Yeah. So we're sticking to the discard plan. Yeah. So a lot of times, like just even in mono blue, I remember in BRD three, Mark ha- Haterberg had mono blue and he had time walk and he played it against mm-hmm. me. Yeah. I was like, okay, oh, hey, cool. You explored. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like it's- you set up another mana for your counter spells. That was nice. Yeah. But it's not. You know, like there's a lot of cards that do the same thing. Exactly. So. Yeah. 
Now, if you're in a certain combo list, that's probably it's, it's a lot better, right? Yeah, like, for sure. If you're running um, Dread Horror Cannon, it's no way to pump it. You know, there there are definitely times where time walk is, is better. So yeah, this uh, is going to be a telltale bit from Brandon. So Brandon's patient. Like yeah. Brandon is a patient drafter. There's um, three fairy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Australian seven points is similar. I think one of the differences between VRD and like Australian seven points is having perfect information, and everyone basically like you know you can't pick the same cards. So oh, whereas so we're still heavy in the red. We've got bolt. No, oh, that's an early bolt. bolt. That that's is a early real bolt. early bolt. He could grab a lot of things there. Yeah, so usually around 19. Okay, so we're still on, looks like we're going to be on the Cheerios this plan. We got Opal, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Lotus Petal. All okay. Right. Okay. So we're, we are on the Cheerios plan. Okay. Um, yeah, Teferi before Narset is unusual. It's surprising to me that. Yeah. I, Narset being out this late is super surprising. Yeah. I right here. Um, yeah, Caterberg, he showed me screenshots too. And there's Darcy. Okay. Yeah, Chan oh, man. I, I like what Yago's doing. Yeah. I wonder if uh, some of these could be floated a lot later. And I you think be, so, yeah. You could be either hate-picking some interesting things out, or... I, th I think part of it may be that he's got, like... And this was the strategy I was going to approach it with that I drafted this time. I was going to be like, look, I've got my 20 cards I hate to have. Right. I'll pick them early. Yeah. No, that's what I did right. last time, right? Like, I, I had I had a list, and then I had my sideboard list. And, I mean, it can definitely work. Yeah. Thanks for the subscribe, Caterbert. Appreciate that. <laughs> and then... Once he gets those 15-ish cards, all right, now I'm drafting my chills, right, right. my warmths, you know, the sideboard cards that are just I really powerful. I will be surprised if Narset makes it past this pick with Brandon. Like I don't Brandon think likes a Narset. He loves Narset. Oko. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Oko's out. I mean, that's a... I, that's yeah. another good one there. Delta. Oh, oh, and Delta. Here, is this the land run? Oh, are we about to see? I don't think people are going to bite. Yeah. Crucible. There we go. All right. So Eric's, Eric's on the just Karn making sure he's got his Strip yeah. Crucible. And Eric, like me, loves the Karn. Eric and I have very similar minds when it comes yeah. to VRD. And so I will definitely not, not be surprised when he drafts uh, Karn. And uh, you know, I think Karn is probably the second best walker in the format behind Narset. Yeah. Um, just because it bit. So the thing about Karn that's powerful is it makes you draft sideboard cards. Yep. Right? So it's making you do the thing you need to do already. Yeah. Oh, and a Mox Diamond for me. Okay, we got Mana Drain. Mana Drain for Cody. Yeah. Okay, Norset, man, this is crazy. Does Kyle take Norset? Uh, it's got Recall. I mean, he should. Is it just going to be the one of the Forgotten this, this time? Yeah, like, it might be. That's they have, like Strip Mine last like time. Like Strip Mine last time. There's always a Forgotten, right? I mean, yeah. it's easy to, to sit from here. And, uh, yeah, Academy. Oh, man, Academy is... Um, Mediocre. Like, I a lot of people that draft Academy talk about how, it, like, if you were in the right deck, Academy is absolutely bonkers. Oh yeah. But for a sure. lot of times, Academy, uh, along with Workshop, tend to underperform. Yeah. Uh, Academy better than Workshop. Workshop underperforms much more than Academy. Does. Yes, for sure. Unless you're in the mud deck, like Workshop is just not. Um, yeah. Did we get back bigger. I, you got the mouse. I don't know. What did I hit? Oh, uh, that was me. Okay. I hit space. How do I move? So you'll just drag. smaller it's got x there we go oh, there, there we, we go. go there we go okay all right so kyle's still in, in the tank we're still a bit. yeah thinking I mean, that's right I mean, it's, it's good it's uh grim monolith okay, okay. so yeah I, we're still missing a narset ah, he's got a whiff I mean, yeah but I, it's just so late for that though <sighs> I, so i mean cody on the comeback is the Logical place here. Yeah, I think so. At this point, yeah, he um, he seems to be. I mean, he's got his protection already. He's got his tutor. He's obviously on the time ball plan. Yeah. Uh, now, interestingly, I mean, there's other than Brandon. Like, this looks like we might be lighter on blue drafters than, than yeah. Normal. I don't see six people vying for blue at this point. No, we've got. I mean, Nemo could grab a little. Sure. Um, yeah. You know, and Kyle's got some, right? Yeah. But. As far as like a traditional control shell, the only two that could go that way are Cody and Brandon, but yeah. they may, you know, maybe Brandon's on Brandon Super does, Friends. Brandon doesn't have a traditional control shell. Oh, it's, no. It's not in Brandon's soul. No, no, no. Yeah, it's not in sure. Brandon's soul to have a traditional control shell. 
yeah, yeah. Mason could jump in with the blue catch for sure. Yeah, no, and and Mason had was kind of had a lot of going on last time, kind of all over the place. I mean, I, I think he's a very flexible drafter. Yeah. Um, so we're we're on on the wheel, and we still are yeah. unsure. Um, I am going to take restroom. Sure. Oh, there's no more stuff. I will be right. Do you need to use? No, I'm good. Okay. All right. I will be right back, and I want to see what happens when I get back here. All right, so Kyle then still a little bit in the tank. Now, this is going to be interesting because, so the insight on Kevin's list, uh, Kevin is basically playing Cheerios is what we know. So, you know, your zero-cost artifacts, second sunrise, that kind of thing. He originally, in the list he showed me, had the Tinker Blightsteel backup plan. No dice, unfortunately, since Tinker Blightsteel is gone to Kyle. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with his zero cost artifacts and what his payoff is going to be because we have someone who could potentially Nemo could maybe splash into a tendrils plan here because he does have Lotus, Dark Rit, Nox Diamond he's clearly going reanimator who knows uh, but it'll be really interesting to see what Kevin's payoff is and I'm curious so Kyle obviously going recall and Tinker Blightsteel I'm wondering if that's going to be an alternate win condition for him or if he's just all in. Because he'd mentioned kind of wanting to go the show-and-tell route to us prior to going live. And he still has the opportunity to pick all of that stuff. But I'm curious, you know, knowing now that someone is clearly in Reanimator, when the fight over that stuff is going to start. Um, when they're going to go for their Ionas. When they're going to go for, you know, obviously Light Steel doesn't count because you can't reanimate it. But when that stuff's going to go, it's going to be very interesting to see. Yeah, Dak Faden, surprisingly, does not always get picked. He seems really good. Okay, there's the Academy. There's the Academy. And then we've got Animate Dead as well, right. so we're we all some, in. We had some signal issues in there. That was what was going on. Okay. We had some internet issues. Yeah. Uh, so Kyle took Academy. Okay. Finally, we got a Round 5 Academy, which means we are still without a Narset. We got Animate Dead from Nemo. Oh, that's what, yeah, yeah. So the Round 5 Academy, that's interesting, right? I mean, like, he was talking about show and tell, but maybe he's all decided to audible into something a little more artifacty. Yeah, which, uh, seeing what Kevin's on, seems a little right. odd to go for that. Well, Bridger went in two last time. It's, it's definitely on the up and up. Yeah. Which I'm curious. Thanks, Windstrider. Appreciate the follow. So... Some interesting ones I want to see where they, well, of course, we'll see where they go, is I took down the Void Walker Lily last time. Yeah. I started my deck. Yeah, it was. In one of the recent VRD, online VRDs, and he said it vastly underperformed. But really? he said there was less graveyard shenanigans. Now. Okay, fair. So, obviously looking at Nemo. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate um, that. Dothy Void Walker is amazing here. Yeah. I could see, like, obviously Eric or Nemo himself grabbing it. Yep. Um, it seems very possible. Mason seems like a pretty confident one. Yeah, uh, But definitely. I want to see where Void Walker goes. Uh, there's no Turkish oil wrestling yet, Nick. When I get to Australia, then we're on. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? Force negation. So we're going hard oh, control then. Like, yeah, yeah, hard yeah. control. And wasteland on top of strip mine. Yeah. Now, it, interestingly, there's potentially three players that could go for Karn. You know, Eric, Kyle, and Kevin could all potentially go. I don't see Kevin. I don't going. see Kevin doing it. Based on, just based on what we saw. Yeah, uh, and catacombs. Okay, so we're Mason's just doing the land run yeah, himself he, right he, now. He's just gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna keep his flex open. Yeah. Again, like that. He talks about that's a strategy, right? Yeah. He's got. He's got his early discard. He's got two solid pieces. The two best pieces. Yeah. Duress is next. Yep. Prismatic and then after Vista. Duress, uh, the next couple. The Prismatic Vista is the best land in the set. Um, yeah. After duress, the next couple uh, are probably agonizing remorse, and yeah. then maybe check for traps. Oh they yeah, do essentially the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then of course, Karn. yeah, him, him is just fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so Mason won the last one. Yep. Um, with elves, uh, elves with black splash for discard. Yeah. Um, and then. Did Kyle win or Kyle did not win think. one. Yeah, um, I don't think the others have, have. So we have some other people that have finished top four. Yeah, other returners. Uh, I think I know Kyle and maybe Cody. Um, oh, Cody won. Cody won. Yeah, wasn't he VRD two? 
No, uh, Dan won VRT too. It's a three way tie between uh, Elaine, me, and oh, Dan, and right, Dan yeah. won on tiebreakers. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Jago with Eidolon of the Great Rebels. So we're yeah, we're all we're, aboard. We're, yep, we're on that red train. Choo choo. Right, and choo. there's a workshop. Ooh, I don't like that pick. No, I'm not a fan of that pick either. Which, you know, again, we have t- we have two drafters here who are effectively Chaos Incarnate, and that would be yeah. Kevin and Brandon. Um, yeah. Which, seeing their picks is always fascinating. So when I had workshop, workshop was um, like there was an occasional workshop Lotus Worm Coil that I obviously felt amazing. Yeah. But most of the time, it just was a draw I didn't want, and it didn't do. That's fair. Yeah. Much. Right. Yeah. Esper Sentinel. Now that pick I like. That is it's early. wild. I love that pick. It's early. Yeah, it, it, it should have gone early. last time and it didn't. Yeah. Um yeah. I like that pick. It, I think it's early. I think you could have waited a bit. Um, but it's some draw for him and yeah. uh that's it's artifact. Uh that's solid. There are forty six picks, Nick, which we're doing so this is our first time, and that's literally so that every spot like or sorry, both spots one and eight get an equal number of wheels, right. basically. And there's a Gataxian probe from Jago. Okay. You yeah. get some draw. Yeah, you get a little draw. You get, a little, you get, get information. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's not that. I, I like that pick a lot yeah. for him. And probe goes. I mean, I, we we could check what probe goes, but probe goes around here, around some terror. Yeah. You know. Um, So that's a uh, average rounds fifteen. Yeah, so, you know it's early, but it, it's not bad. It's okay. And misty, it's a misty. Yeah. Okay. This feels like this looks like a Brandon draft. You know, it does. I yeah. Mean. I'm I'm curious when he'll draft a win condition. Oko yeah. counts, I guess. Oko's Oko, yeah. good enough Oko's to count. Good. Oko's really good. Yeah, but he doesn't have art. Well, I guess he has two artifacts so far. Yeah. 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 Monastery mentor surprisingly hasn't been picked a lot no compared to still. what yeah. I. No narcissist still. Just yeah. Not it's it's right. got to be Cody, right? Ta- yeah, I mean, it, it should be. I mean, I he's got such a lockdown and good enough, good counter magic right now. I know, Man. like there's no nobody else is going for it. Yeah, yeah Brandon Greavesy is similar to Mason. It looks like he's just being patient. He has the cards that he wanted, and now he's like, "All right, let's uh, let's see what yeah. we've got going on." And that's what he said his strategy was. He yeah, he, he, he's going to be reactionary. Yeah, I very much agree. There's a lot of cheap tutors and counter magic. Like, we haven't, we've seen Demonic Tutor. We haven't seen any other tutors go yet. No, no Vampiric. So. Sabine's Rack would be, Sabine's Rack is an interesting one. I definitely have not, um, I've not seen it here. Um, Yeah, no. But I think it's a solid pick. Yeah. Yeah, Intuition is another one that doesn't get picked nearly as much as I would think it would. I mean, you really probably just the animator list. Just, yeah. There's, there's other, you know. Is, is Mason about to signal here? I think so. I think Mason's going long here. He's making that decision anyway. Yeah. He's making that decision. Because we, we don't have anyone in white right now. It's fair. We have a Teferi. Sure. Oh, just the Marsh Flats. Okay. okay. That, that he was making that. He was yeah. taking it. Do I, yep. Am I going for power or am I going to just keep yeah. this? But notice he's still he's still heavily in. Every, every fetch hits black. Yeah, every fetch hits black. So whatever he goes into, he's got Oh, look, yeah. Eric with Ancient Tomb. Okay. So, so yeah, je- that's fine. I, I I don't mind it at all. Um, yeah, Esper Sentinel is white, but Kevin is clearly on an artifact right. list. But like, so you know, with the jet. Ooh, there we go. With the Mark's jet, is diamond. he gonna grab a Ren and Six or with his land? Oh yeah, I mean, that's it with the jet. Be, yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, Mox Diamond already went, so we had our first. Didn't he take Mox Diamond previously? <laughs> yeah, Mox Diamond was taken by Nemo, so okay. we just had the the spreadsheet gave us the warning and right, said, but, "Hey guys." Oh, oh, Cody, what are you doing? He what are you doing, Cody? This pack of negation, yeah. or force negation. Yeah. So here we are, our first spreadsheet, alert, 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 yeah. alert. Chrome box. Okay. Yeah, so when I said no one's in white, I meant no one is in predominantly white And that's so not far. that's not unusual. Yeah. Um, the width, I would tell you, uh, what are the recent lines? White, black, Tobit top, like with yeah. solitude, and with... Necromancy, you know, so we're super reanimator right now. Good, good. Time walk in okay, round here we go, six. Time walk. That's, there we go. That's about right. Yeah, that is. And with his stuff, that probably feels like the right deck for a time walk. Yeah, right? I like, agree. I can time walk to you know that feels pretty good. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, we don't we don't have no no vault in Awards yet, which is fine. Probably Tez will go pretty soon in there. So. It's one you typically will grab a little earlier, yeah. especially when other people have artifact decks too. Yep, um, last of the power in round six. Yeah, Twister. Um, I, I'm surprised Twister hasn't gone. It's going to be right around here. Yeah, usually seven. Yeah, Someone said eight. Yeah. yeah. Ten times round eleven, Urza. Okay, so we're okay. All right, so he, he switched it up. So, so he still made Rapture Hotel. Yeah, he still he still made Rapture Hotel. Yeah. Mean, you know. Although I think, oh, ooh, bizarre. Demo. So bizarre. Ooh, I love that. VRD. Bizarre is a card that gets a lot of discussion as is it good in VRD or not, along yeah. with Library of Alexandria. Yeah. Right? So library are, is. I don't think it's. Like, some people say Library is, is is at least solid. I don't think it's good. No, but um. But bizarre, like you, we don't see it a lot. It's, no, it's, it is a definitely a. I am in. On it the is great in Reanimator. You are correct, which yeah. is you know, and it, interestingly, I I think Kyle may have audibled because he saw a Reanimator player. Right. Um, well, yeah, I don't want to show. I don't want to show until against the Reanimator. There's Narset for Cody. Okay. okay, and Stoneforge Mystic for Eric. Okay, so maybe he's gonna grab it. There so, we go. He may have seen whites open. Yeah, and he'll grab a Cauldra. Um, yeah, and you know probably I think Calder is better than Battle Scroll at this point. I agree. Um, There's also nobody in green, so Mason may go is, else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he may just repeat. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he may run might. it back. I mean, green is super open. Yeah, like the only green card to be picked at this point is Oko. Yeah, that's, that's a blue card. Wild. That's a blue card. It's like Stoneforge Mystic. That's like the third best blue creature right. ever printed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like like I have not seen a draft where green is this open. Right? Yeah, like, I like, Brandon will end up. Brandon always ends up in some green. Uh, yeah, he know. does. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so I I think that'll be interesting to see because we're fast bond. There we go. So Mason's got the fast bond. Okay. So of course, fast bond. Uh, you know, I think a lot. Of, type in fast bond. Real quick. I think a lot of people forget fast bond. Uh, you know, fast bond's interesting in, in our St. Louis VRDs, in that it um, has gone as early as two, yeah. um, and it can do. You know, so it has been some crazy. Thing. I don't think Mason's is about hate drafting in the seventh. I no, think I he's going he to drop a whole lot of dudes with that. And I think he may, you might be right, he made his audible back in the elves. You know? Yeah. Um, but Fastbond has gone, like, early, right? It has gone as uh, Brandon's used it for some success. It's gone in second round. Yeah. Um, this is about, you know, probably the right spot. Um, Brandon's sticking in his openness, flooded strand, right? Yep. So I, I think then... Yeah, I, d I don't think Fastbond's a hate pick here because, no. again, Mason's strategy is I'm going to draft generically good disruption yeah. and go from there. And Mason's a strong drafter. I mean, and he's done a lot good. of these. So I just don't see him... He, I mean, doing a hate pick at seven is a, a rookie mistake, right? Like, yeah. it, it's bad magic. And I don't see him making that mistake. Yeah, it does seem really good in Eric's deck, but I don't think Eric is... Eric's not on the Fastbond planned anymore, and I think he forecasts that with Stone for there's an arid mesa, so we're lands lands are starting to dry up. Which I think this is about yeah, like about right. six so was when they started yeah, drying up last is, time too. Yeah, spot. and we've still got uh, red black. We've still got Cauldra complete from Kevin. Oh, Ooh. that it was on his list. I was it, was, say, it, it was, was on his list. list. It was it on was his on list. list. Yeah. So I was gonna say that's a hate pick. But yeah. That is on his list. That was but on it, his list that he showed us. It, no, it was on his list. We we saw it in his plan beforehand. Yeah. It just moved. Oh, he double snaps dick. Oh wow, that is both definitely of, a hate. Pick. Both of those were on his list. That's fair. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Uh, Gravy Titan. Uh, the some of the online people are currently talking about modern, and there's one that is filling up on the Discord. It is not filled yet. Yeah. Um, Stoneforge was not on his list. He was just Cheerios. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was mono blue Cheerios. Yeah. Um, wow. Scalding Tarn. Yeah, so okay. Tarn, yeah. yeah so, we're so, we, so we've got uh, Red Black still. Should be a Tarn. 
Yeah, and there's still no one in balance. Ooh. That's a Brandon pick. That's a Brandon pick through and through and through and through. Yeah, through. that is definitely a Brandon yeah, pick. I love it. That is great. He's a sexy beast, and I love it. So Cheerios does, or yeah, uh, Cheerios does run Kobolds. You're right. So he's on Artifact Cheerios. A Cheerios which, S. Yeah, I mean, Cheerios S. Cheerios influenced. Yeah. With some affinity. Yeah. Closer to the modern Cheerios list, Nick, rather than the actual Cheerios list. Right. Yes, Mesa was taken before Tarn, which is mind-boggling to me. Yeah, I mean, but we don't both. seem to have a lot of people if, on Blue. Yeah, if he's getting both, he's getting both. You know, which I I think last time we had Blue so uncontested, Blue just steamrolled and right. ran away with it. The balance. I'm, I am curious. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Oh, okay. I. That's an interesting I, pick I, there. I, I, I have no that. idea what he's doing. Yeah, no. <laughs> cool. I I really hope. Um, yeah, the thing is, it's thinning, which you don't have a whole lot of, like... Well, the, thing about, the other thing about Mono Red is you get to take those picks from other people. Yeah. Because no one else is going for your stuff, yep. right? Like, that's the thing you need to realize is that no one else is taking your Mono Red picks. Yeah. So you can grab fetches there and take them from other people and make other people make bad decisions to do a run on fetches when they don't need to. Yep. Right? Because of the fact that your stuff is pretty uncontested. Yeah, Will is good with fast mind. You're right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, er- Eric point. is building DNT at this point. Okay. So uh, Thalia. Yeah. Which was yeah. another one that I'd thought about maybe doing because mono white. Right. Stacks, tax, whatever you want to call it, is just not. And there are other good discard point. spells you can grab to go with it for a black white oh, yeah, dead yeah. guy. You know, yeah. he may go into dead guy because he's got the jet. Yeah, I love Dead Guy Ale. That deck is... Yeah. It's not good, but I love that deck. Uh, it's one of my favorite decks ever. I, this this is something I am hoping gets drafted by Jago, because it's one of my favorite cards, Price of Glory. You know what I hope gets drafted by Jago? What's that? You can go ahead and pull it up right now. Our... Yep. Robber of the Rich. Robber of the Rich. I think this thing's a house in this format. I swear. Yeah. Like no one no one no one believes me, but uh you you're the only person. Yeah, no, uh, I think it's great. But the fact that it's hasty and, and it steals their cards and yep. you know, I, I but we'll see. Yeah. Ro- Robber seems just incredibly good in this format. Yeah, please send me that list, Nick, and I will get in on the next VRD and attempt to draft it. Uh Cody I would like a twister here. I don't know. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is that our oh, first duel? That is our first duel. All right. So we've got the fetch run. So fetches are better than duels. Yeah. In general, because you're going to run enough basics. Fetches are, in general, going to be better than duels. Yeah. Um, By you. Grindstone. Oh, so we're... Okay. Nice, nice. nice. Grindstone server. Just grab it. And that's the power of the wheel, right? Yep. That's yeah. that wheel. Yeah. You know, especially when you got a couple artifact players like like Kevin down there. Yeah. You're like, cool. Boom. Let's just grab the one, two. It may, I could probably float one of these till later. Yeah. But just get him out of the way. I'm done. Um, Collector Oof. That's yeah. a really strong pick there. So he... So we're going to get a little green splash. Yeah. yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Oof. And that's about where Oof's been going. Uh, yeah. Hit me a pick. Uh, I was going to draft it last time, and it gra- dra- snuck out from under me. Um, the fact that it can beat uh, me at yeah, round 22, so on average. The fact that it can There's beat... There's a saga. Okay. Okay. I mean, he can get Chrome Mox with it. Yep. Uh, and he'll be able to get a key with it eventually. Yeah, so, yeah. That's an extra key. Early, but, uh, but with the other artifact decks, because I can grab an S-Percent Null. Yeah. I would normally think that's early. With this draft, it actually probably feels right. Yeah, with this draft, I think it feels right. Because this he's got was... Grindstone, and, yep. he, and he's got S-Percent Null. Eric right. got Revoker. Yeah. Now, the, Eric, does Eric pull the trigger on the car on the one throw match? I think he should. I feel like he should at this point, yeah. I think yeah. he should, if that's his plan. Um... <clears throat> Unless he's just going to main Revoker and, you know, hey. And it's possible. I mean, it's fine. But, like, someone's going to grab a Karn, and I, I feel like it would be really good. Yeah, I agree. I think Saga, Grindstone, or... Would have been better than Painters. Yeah. yeah. Because painters at this point, no one's going to pick it unless they're picking way too early. Right, yeah. Unless and, like, look, it. if you're going to hate draft it that early, fine. I'm right. off that plan. Yeah, everything I said about Saga earlier, but I like that pick just because of yeah. everything else. There. Yeah, the, the way everything else is going, I think that's the right play for it. Which, again, Cody is a really good drafter, so 
read the room and saw basically where we're at. Yeah, I think Jocko actually should grab Pyroblast right around here. Like, yeah, no one else, again, like Goblin Guy, the rest of the red stuff. No one's grabbing, no one's stuff. grabbing it, but like right. your splashable but sideboard cards, yeah, this is I, where you need to start. The Pyroblast and REB is what Co Jocko needs to be thinking about yeah. these rounds yep. at this point. Also, Workshop makes more sense if we're running Calder Complete and Batter Skull. Trout. It does. It does. Okay. You're right. Yeah. So Mason now going blue green. So maybe he grabs a twist or something. Yeah. Oh, there's the current mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Brandon, I love you. Yeah. Now balance. Let's check balance. Pull up balance real quick. What does balance? So some of these older cards we got to remember aren't designed with planeswalkers in mind. Yeah. Right. So balance gets rid of all planeswalkers. Does or it do, no, it doesn't. Players choose number of land your controls. Yeah. And then sac players sacrifice. So walkers stick around. Right. So just like original, um, you know, so yeah, some of these older cards play really well with walkers, like yeah. disc. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, Jockle hops. I run Jockle yeah. hops in a walker uh, commander uh, list. You, you know what plays really good? Cataclysm. Yeah. Yes. Because it gets rid of all of them. Uh, yeah. Cataclysm actually does get rid of them, right? So whether it cares about what it doesn't, you don't get to pick walkers. But it still gets rid of them because it's from among permanents you control. Yep, and sack the rest. Right. Um, but so balance. Walkers are strong. So the Oko and Teferi and Karn with balance. Lutri. Is super power. Lutri's that's a very good pick right there. Interesting. Yeah. No, I I love that pick. I mean, you're just gonna double a bolt. That's fine. Yeah. But you also get a beater, and it, it's yeah. just it. Yeah. Well, and also, I mean, if you think about it, all of the card draw is still there. Yeah. So he can easily splash blue for like a brainstorm or something right. like that. Yeah. 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 Um, which would be, like, really good. Thanks to Lanthalos. Appreciate the follow. Uh, yeah, which usually we see some draw. This is about when it starts going, right? What? 10 to 12 for, like, Brainstorm and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that range, right? Yeah. Ink Moth Nexus. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's solid. I, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's good. So, again, this is VRD7. Uh, we are St. Lotus. Uh, yep. My name is Stephen Hagen. I am Jason Thurston. And we are here today in lovely St. Louis coming at you uh, live. And this is vaccinated number two. Uh, so you had to show your proof of vax card to get in, yeah. uh, to get in the door. Uh, you know, um, we are in the lovely adobe of Mark Caterberg. Ooh, Bedlam Reveler. I love that. Okay, pick. let's pull that up. Let's pull yeah. that baby up here. What, what does old Bedlam do? Card draw. Card draw, Discard draw three. Cost less. Yep. And prowess. <sighs> yeah. I agree. He could go aggro it's twin. So I don't know if he can fill his guard up enough to make this worthwhile, right? This isn't modern where now he can grab looting and things like that. Yeah. This one feels weird to me just because This of, early it feels right. there's a lot of cards. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Scion. So here's the thing you gotta think about BRD. There's a lot of cards that play amazing in other formats that you think would be good. That when mm -hmm. you don't have things like four of looting, four of yeah, you know when you don't yeah. have certain four ofs that make it work, it's it, a lot harder. It, to it's get a it lot to harder, work. right? And there's a lot of strategies that work in vintage that don't work here yeah. because you don't have one of every mods, yeah, right? Exactly. So it does play like vintage, but it plays like vintage combined with commander in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. in that you can't um, you can't always rely on things that you would rely because you have more uh, you know more of stuff that you can yeah. enable. All right, so double cards. So he is going to go super friends. I know that. Yep. Like balance super friends. I. That's sexy. Yeah. Like super friends is really effective. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted him to go, you know. Pyro there too. I think Bedlam Reveler is a good card. But there's like not another. Right. I mean, again, there's not another red draft. That's right fair. Now. Yeah. I mean, someone could. Yeah, there's. Uh, it up. Well, I mean, we have Wheel of Fortune, so maybe Mason yeah. gets it, and then the card right home is a little awkward right. for them. <laughs> well, we got a volcanic under Cody. Too. Oh, so that's Cody true. Could, yeah, Cody could end up. Yeah, in, I mean, blue. That blue control list often ends up in either a blue red or a blue white, or even a blue yeah. white, red white. Koth von Hammerklein. All right, so Mason yet again in the tank here, and this is. It's interesting because he's, you know, this is again the same spot he was in last time, uh, and he's coming as a defending champ. He's yeah. got a, you know, he's, he's, he's got to live. Up, he's got a reputation. He's got a reputation for yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, I think it'll be. Yeah, Dak is. We're in Dak territory for sure. We uh, are. Dak has gone as early around here as four yep. sometimes. Um, I don't see Eric, Eric, you know, Cody or Nemo. 
I don't know if anyone's in the right deck for Dak, though. No. I mean, if Cody grabs it, then obviously that, that highlights, you know, what he's going to do. Uh-oh. Eric just dropped his pick. Oh. <laughs> that's an interesting one. Mystic Forge is very interesting because Great Creator's already gone. There's a Twister. And there's a UC from Cody, it looks like. All right, so he's in Mystic Forge. Now, this, this was the card that, when Great Creator came out, this was the one that was running rampant in Vintage that ended up getting... Right, so Forge, super powerful. Super powerful in Kevin's deck. Yeah. Um, so again, Eric could... Eric. I mean, Eric's a smart guy. He's not... All right, so the Vamp Tutor, late. That's the latest Vamp Tutor I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, that's real late, which... Good for him. Yeah, very good for him. Now we've got Kyle on the wheel, and so our break is after pick 14. Yeah. So Chill, I expect Jago to take Chill Caterberg because it's the card that the red deck can't beat. Um, there was a VRD a little bit ago where we had a red drafter, and they just lost to a Chill that landed, and they couldn't kill it. So I I think when I was looking at participating okay, so in this. You grabs the grid, which the, uh, okay. which the Karn player normally wants, yep. right? Early grid. That's a very yeah. early grid. But he's got Urza, so I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, it's a solid pick. Um, well, and he's kind of in a combo-ish shell with the tanker. So, I mean, no one's, you know, if I, look at the other drafters. If I'm Kyle, I am actually worried that someone's going to goof up my um, sword um, Jago combo if I, yeah. on, if I plan on running it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's a super card. Super strong card, and again, yeah, you're right. It does not yeah, play well with Thalia. I don't like that pick. I, like. I'm not sure either, because it's. I'm curious where he's going with it. Yeah. Like, it gets him card advantage, sure, but also, like, you can run Experimental Frenzy or something. Right, right. right. I don't love that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can send me the foiled out pictures. That works. So I think part of it, too, is Kyle here realizes all of the good counter magic is going to Cody. Yeah. So I need to do something to protect myself from this. Yeah. Um, yeah, he is literally the only person that has any counter spells whatsoever. And honestly, I don't think he really needs to draft many more. He's got three of, you know, the best yeah, counters. You take a counter spell. Well, yeah, counter you spell take, for you take, sure. You take a yeah. fourth. Yeah. I think he wants a solid fourth. You think he goes miscalc or counter spell? I guess it depends if he gets the card draw. Yeah. And yeah. Probably mystical Dispute. I mean, there's so yeah. much. I mean, yeah, this is going to be one. Like, like, normally, we have so many blue drafters, things like Mystical Dispute have already gone. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Uh, or like, we got, like, Jace's Defeat and stuff going. Yeah. Right? But, like... Yeah, last is, time we had Jace's Defeat picked. And, and we've been talking about this. We've been talking about, like, is Blue on a, a kind of... At least locally. Yeah. Maybe not everyone, but, like, is Blue... Is locally on a downturn, on a downturn because downturn. people have realized... And there was a huge... Uh, Mason and a few other people and I were in yeah. a huge discussion on the, on the Discord this weekend... Uh, you know, yesterday about this as well, right? Like, is blue overdrafted? Is um, does it have the results to support how strong people think it is? You know, yeah. so I mean, this is interesting for sure. And we talked about, you know, a lot of people talked about last time, like the last VRD, VRD six, St. Louis VRD six, felt like a, a bell change, right? Yeah. For kind of strategies. Um, well, Swifty, next time, use those ideas. And I, I think too, the thing, the good blue finishes have been combo shells. Yeah. With blue, it hasn't been like a hard control except right. when we had draft matters. And I mean, I think copy I think the memorable. best St. Louis VRD deck we've seen recently. Spellseeker. Yeah, he mentioned Spellseeker. Yeah, yeah, okay. He still may grab. He's a co grabber show and tell. So yeah. Um, I think that the the best St. Louis VRD deck we saw was Elaine's Oasis. Yeah, that list was insane. Um, and then Elaine's Force of Vigor out of Nemo. Yeah, that's that's good. He's just okay, so we're, we're, he's got we're, we're bigger. Green. He's just yeah. like I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some greens. I'm gonna do yep. black green reanimator, which gives me good targets, right? Black yeah, green, that's thing. like a lot of reanimator. You go black Mystical red, which is fine. Um, but black green gives you really good targets for reanimator. It does. And then he's just like I'm, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that artifact first. Yeah, and those were very solid picks there. I like Nemo's draft. I like Nemo's draft a lot this Saturday. Yeah, he's got very good. Uh, they've got a very very good focus right now. Yeah, he does. Or they. Sorry. they do. Yeah. Right, now, so this pick on Eric's telling. I don't like the Forge pick. No, I, I, I don't. And Eric could easily prove me wrong. Um, but let's... 
this is going to be the one where I, I see what I'm doing. Hopefully it's top. But even that didn't look that bad. Right? No, yeah, <laughs> like, I, like, I don't. Like Forge Top, you know, that's. Yeah. Um, especially to get like Forge Top. Uh, the, he doesn't have the blue cheapers to make that combo. But, yeah. Well, um, you know, Angus, Kyle does have the Spell Seeker and the Time Walk already. Sword of Fire and Ice. Okay. Okay. I think it's the second best sword, but it's good. Yeah, body and mind. There's a hull breacher. That's kind of late for a hull breacher. As, yeah, well, I mean, last time it was the first draft we'd had hull breacher. That's right? true. And it went yeah. to. Yeah. We don't know where hull breacher is yet. Yeah. I feel this is late. I think hull breacher. But this was also, we also had Narsic Villa. Yeah. Right? So this, this, this draft is, like, is unique. Yeah. I think hull breacher is a top five pick. Um, yeah. Mason's yeah. super happy to see that hull breacher here. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. And it's, it's interesting because so far, like, it, Mason took some generically powerful cards, but he hasn't declared a color yet. Right. But now with Wheel uh, we, and I guess, Breacher and Twister, Mason, yeah. we, we now see where Mason's yeah. going. Right? Yeah. Like, he's got the discard to support it, and Yeah, Mason's going for that, that deck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we see a place now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that deck always looks... I want to say the t the Twister deck always looks sexier than it yeah. performs. <laughs> like, <laughs> it actually does. Like, like, every time we have the Twister deck, someone's like, that's who we want in for to yeah. talk. Because like, we'll, we'll do a, a conversation at some point yeah. where we bring people in. And I was like, oh, I want to talk to the Twister deck. And I think the Twister deck always gets that, like, people want to talk about it. And then it never performs Yeah, it doesn't do as well. Think it's and, do. And, and the thing is, it's interesting because, like, you know, I'll watch Finkel all day draft Vintage Cube and yeah. crush it with Twister. And that just doesn't happen in this format yeah. for some reason. I mean, it can do well, and Mason's a good enough player. It's anyone can make it work. It's good. Yeah. You know, it's him. But. Savannah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've got Teferi. We've got Oko, so that casts both yeah. of those. Got Obviously, it casts the Misty. Karns. Grand. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're clearly going Bant Walkers here with Balance, which yeah. is... Man, that card is absurd in that. We have from Jago here. Is, is this finally the Pyroblast? That's a plateau. Yeah, a so he's going to keep himself open to the white so okay. he can grab yeah. uh, like swords, swords, uh, prismatic, uh, prismatic uh, ending. Ending, yeah. Yeah. God, no, one, no one's got it for the red, for the full on red list, man. Yeah, no Teferi's protection combos very well with balance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which he could yeah. go just the total destroy you route. The blister. So, Gripsy, I think. He had the fetch lands where Mason could feasibly support four colors. Oh, and there's a Ravager out of Mr. Freeman. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know that Mason doesn't have to go four. I no. mean, um, he may just not have yeah. wanted someone to get right. Fastbond. Yeah, he, he was just keeping himself open. Yeah. You know? The Fastbond's good at the wheel, and he's got the prop. And yeah. I mean, the. Cranial plating. So back to the traditional affinity plan now from Freeman with the plating. Okay. okay. Which I like a lot here, actually. Yeah. yeah, I like these picks. Yeah, I I think he's clearly like. I I think he audibled into more of an affinity shell with that workshop right. pick and the Esper Sentinel and realized, all right, Cheerios is not going to work for me. Let's right. let's go this route. Which, you know, the Lotus Petal then seems questionable, but it is free mana. It's so, free mana. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he can still drop and it. And it pumps plating. And the way, if I recall. On my L two hat here for a second, but I'm a mediocre L two at best. Um, if the I humility call when you determine the cost for affinity, it happens before you sack. Yeah. The so the pedal that can double count for affinity. So Swifty, the thing with Brandon is he came in and said, "I have no plan. I'm going to be a reactionary. Yeah. I'm going to see what's there and I'm going to take it from there." So it seems like he's going Bant Walkers now with balance, which plays really well. Yeah. Uh, and I agree, Angus, that Revoker pick is much more painful than anything Kevin did. Ooh, Frantic Search out of Jago. Okay. Mm. It fills the graveyard, but I feel like I'd rather have Brainstorm here. Or Ponder, or Preordain. Has, and why take the plat? Has, um, Volcanic has been picked, right? Volcanic has been picked. Okay. But we have Lutri, so we're clearly... Right, right. You know, yeah, but Lutri's hybrid, so it doesn't... That's fair, yeah. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah, Brandon's List is... Brandon's List is always spicy. It is a free we, spell for prowess, true. Right. Brandon's List is always spicy. I mean, we'll... we'll yeah. we oh, and there's a Tundra, so we're we're all aboard the Blant. 
I mean, Bant train. Choo-choo. Brandon being spicy is, you know, that's Brandon. I mean, yeah. He, he just, he's a hot chili pepper. Yeah, Angus, none of the cantrips have been taken yet. None. Yeah, that's... Which is mind-boggling It's the, it's the lower amount of blue drafters. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. there's there's one, two-ish, mm. maybe three blue drafters. Right. We have some ish. We have one-ish, right? Hey, thanks for joining us, V-Seraph. Appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully it's an enjoyable one for you. And there's a metamorph. I love metamorphs so much. Wooded foothills out of Mason. Okay. okay. Yeah, there are still some fetches available. Uh, windswept heat. Uh, blood, uh, red black. Uh, Bloodstained mire. Bloodstained mire. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Metamorph here. Honestly, I metamorph is one of my favorite cards. Brandon's not going to avoid that. For, no, go. Brandon's going to take all three of them. Unless Kevin does. Yeah, unless <laughs> Kevin does. Yeah, true right. story. Uh, so again, folks, uh, we've mentioned this earlier, uh, but agree, we are looking at January 8th for the uh, next, for VRD 8, for the winter quarter VRD. Yep. Um, it, you know, if you are interested and think you can make it out to Lotus and know. you're willing, let us know. Uh, reach out to Mark Caterberg uh, or one of us and we can figure it out and see if we can make it work. No promises, yep. um, but we will definitely try to make it work. We're always looking for new bodies. We like to try to keep a balance of returning players and, and, new, and players. new players. There's an MCL Seal. finally. Okay. Good, good, good. No, that's, no, that's fine. I mean, with the Vampire yeah. going late, with the Black, yeah, I mean, that feels... Um, you know, he's already got the D-Tutor. I took him sealed too early last time. Yeah, that feels did. right. Uh, coverage stop after 14 or 16. I say when the pizza gets here? Uh, that would be a little later than yeah, that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so do we want to do 16 then? We'll do um, we'll do 16. Okay. Do the coverage stop after 16, and then we'll bring somebody. We'll let people pull and bring somebody in. Yeah. Hey, there you go, Swifty. Come down for a birthday. So yeah, we definitely try to balance, uh, you know, returning players yeah. and, and, and new players and keep it fresh. So well, the Elaine has missed a few because Elaine is now in Canada. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Elaine is an, a really, really good this format. Yeah, fair. Um, but Elaine lives in Calgary and she yeah. cannot leave Calgary for some time because, well, not any COVID, but because yeah. of like Canadian labor stuff or something. Yeah. you know. Um, the duress there is good. I th- I like that Nemo was yeah. patient with the disruption, basically. Um, yeah, wandering the, the homeland, home and native land. Uh, Cabal therapy still hasn't been taken. Do you think anyone takes no. that this time? I think therapy's mediocre at best. Yeah, in this. I mean, I think you. That's I know you talked about it last time, and you yeah. overhyped it last time. Yeah, I, you, I just you, love that. Card. You trick someone into taking it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, they didn't, I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. You did actually. Yeah. I said there, there was it, a but coverage they mistake. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, and when you were talking with Mason about yeah. it, right? Uh, no, I mean therapy. There are certain decks, right? Like if you were in like a if you were in like a dead man deck. Yeah. Um, or if they're in elves, and you know, I think, but and the power of therapy is these are known lists, so you yeah. can it blind yeah. calling is not as dangerous, yeah. right? These are known lists, um, uh, but yeah, therapy is definitely. Um, I mean, here, let's uh, give me a uh, uh, give me a pick therapy. How about cabal therapist? Right, I'll have a pick first. No, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that pick first, man. There we go. I do yeah. love Black Green. Someone Star did Boys. draft Cabal Therapist, and it was bad. Yeah, that card's not good yeah. at all. Pick tw- so 23 times at 53. So, and that's, yeah. Yeah. Now, I, Sedgemore, um, Reanimator drafted last time, didn't end up running it. Yeah. I wanted it in my green black and didn't. And I didn't even realize that day that it was a, because I had Chain of Smog combo, yeah. that it doesn't auto kill. Yeah. But it infinite makes one ones with Chain of yeah. Smog. Yeah. Like, I should have moved Sedgemore way up yeah. my list instead of floating it till later. Yeah. Because with Chain of Smog combo, it gave an alternative where as long as they didn't have a sweeper, and there wasn't a lot of them, yeah. then the next turn I win. Yeah. Because, like, it makes an infinite one ones with Chain of Smog. Yeah. yeah. It got drafted by Reanimator last time, but it is, uh, it did not end up getting the best. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's a solid pick. So Kyle in the tank here, and I'm curious if he's going to go more like cantrip, because this is about the time that I think, oh, bluster. Bluster one for five. Uh, That's solid, yeah. He's got got Tinker, he's got Recall, he's got Tinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the ability to... And and, and Flusher Storm actually is actually actually not just solid, it's really good here, because 
what Kyle's trying to do. Not, Kyle's not trying to stop your stuff. Kyle's trying to protect his stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I cast yeah. my, I cast this. Dress you cast down. Your, you cast your cat. Now, dress down. We're going to come back to that. Yeah. That's my flesh and turn conversation. Yeah. <laughs> um, I cast my my spell. You cast your counter. I cast, I cast my fluster storm. storm that's what Kyle. Yeah. Oh, right? for sure. So that's why that's good. Yeah. But let's pull up this. This is a card that did not. And there goes our Meyer. Um, Dress down did not get ta- taken last time. No, probably should. Which was surprising. This was a card that Mark and I missed on mm-hmm. our preview show. There's a Badlands um, to Cody. Cody with Badlands. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but yeah, so dress down really strong at just stopping someone's shenanigans, yeah. or maybe doing something to himself, like where you cast it and then a ignore the, the downside, a yeah. thing in the ice, right? So city of traders, probably early here yeah. on that. Ooh, see, man, he's deep. He, I mean, Eric's got something that's open, but not. I don't know. Yeah, well, you need, Eric's he a mystery. Has, yeah, he is. I, I like it though. I like it. Yeah, this is, and now Mason May. So City of Traders, of course, is. Yes. I've always seen it as more of like a combo card, but I guess he does have Crucible in this format. Right. He's but he does have Crucible, right. so it's not nearly as bad. Well, there's Swifty, thanks. Yeah, appreciate you, Swifty. I think yeah, Eldrazi like an nope, aggro hate pro- bears. Oh, Brandon, Brandon tries to. Uh, Brandon's, Brandon's really good at not paying attention to what other people draft. <laughs> so Brandon is exceptionally is. talented at yeah. not paying attention to what other people draft. Yeah. So hyphenated, uh, I don't think it's on yet, but thank you for your uh, updated spreadsheet that allows. Yes. If we are going to call it the anti-Brandon spreadsheet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The anti-Brandon spreadsheet. Hi, Elaine. How you doing? Yeah. We, we someone spoke your name earlier and you were yep. summoned. Yep. Spoke into existence. <laughs> Thanks, Angus. That's amazing. <laughs> Eric is drafting the disruption. Yeah, action. that's <laughs> very is accurate. Drafting the half that kills you. And there's a Jace the Mind Sculptor from Brandon. A okay, Bomat but... Courier. I love that card. Oh, Bomat's nice, nice, nice. I love that card. He's, he's got the power of the ring. He's got the power of the ring. He has to. Oh. Elaine, cards were drafted. Magic happened. There's not a lot of blue players. There's not a lot of blue players. Yeah, I think they're going to end up pretty similar. But again, as as Angus said, Eric is drafting the disruptive half, and Kevin is drafting the uh, half that kills you. <laughs> yeah, J- Jace. It, the interesting thing is the evolution of Jace over the last like four to five he used years. To be a we're, top four or five VRD pair. Yeah, and he used to be the best walker. Yeah, and I I'm not even sure he's a top five walker ever anymore. At this point, because we have so many just incredibly pushed walkers, Heliod. Ooh, Ooh. he's got the you know he's got the yeah he's, he's got, got the, the pearl ballista. and he's got the ballista. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a solid pick. Yeah, I don't think he's the best Jace anymore. Yeah, a uh, flip Jace goes pretty well actually yeah. in BRD and, yeah, and does J- a good job. And JDT I wouldn't be surprised is. to see Cody. Ooh. Cody grab flip Jace. real good. And Academy Ruins. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can see it. I mean, I there's other like people in artifacts enough. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. And there's a blue artifact. Yeah. Deck, Nemo's so. uh, Force of Vigor and Collector Oath is looking pretty good right now. Yeah, very much so. They did an incredibly good job of drafting sideboard cards that are just absurd. Yeah. yeah. And Oof can be main deck just because it attacks. You know, if you're not in the artifact theme, I mean, there's nothing wrong with main deck and Oof. Yeah. Yeah, shell dock gets pops up here and there. I mean, it's yeah. uh, you know, uh, Brandon had it last time. He did. Yeah. Lava. Right? Oh, I love lava. Although again, he's kind of light on like he literally has bolt right now. But I guess yeah. you know yeah, again, you can grab all those. Like, yeah, he, no one else is going for those. Right. Bolt is one of the only ones that people right yeah, now. You can grab all. Of those. Ooh, Brandon with the Hercules. That's, Brandon, I like that a lot. Brandon, I will say that's one of Brandon's skills is timing the hate. Yeah. Timing the hate things. Yeah, right? he's very not good the hate. I'm hating on someone else's like picks trying to steal something, but timing the hate on their decks. Yeah, here's I'm. This is about where my good sideboard card right. because you know I I wouldn't be surprised to see him grab Aether Flux on his 
Oh yeah, on the backside yeah. as well. So Ether Flux, of course. If you I forget, is that AE? AE, a- e- yeah. And there's a green sun zenith from Mason, so I think we are officially forecasting. Oh, not Ether Flux. What is it? Which Ether is it? Um, oh, Energy Flux. Energy Flux. There we go. I know it's a yeah. flux. I wouldn't be surprised to see him grab flux on the backside. Thought here. not seer, so yeah, Eric is going okay. Eldrazi okay. bears. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Now this makes it maybe he's going to grab more of the Eldrazi. We just got, so the Chicago drafts because they have a lot of Eldrazi deck. They Don't do. forget, we did change the rule this time to where wastes are basics. Yes, wastes yeah. are now free playable. Yeah, um, and Eric is just the type of drafter to grab on to one of those rule changes yep. and get and it to go run with it and run with it. Yeah, so that makes it. So with his deck, you know what I expect from Eric coming up? Grief and maybe Ephemerate. Yep. Because uh, you get Grief, and, and Grief hasn't gone yet. Oh, um, there's a Ponder. Finally, Cody gets the first cantrip. So neither Grief nor Dothy Voidwalker have gone yet. Um, no. So like Grief and Ephemerate out of that list would yeah. be really, even if he doesn't take the Ephemerate, if he just hit the, the bouncy, bouncy yep. um, Eldrazi. Yeah. Last of the fetches, I think, is gone now. Yeah, that's the last of the fetches, and there's a bridge. Ooh, bridge. Okay. So definitely taking some of the card board pieces yeah. here. Yeah. Emery. Emery. Ooh. So Emery was like, we hyped Emery when it came. We and did. It, and, it, and it got it got drafted early in one, mm-hmm. and they didn't, but it was in a bad deck, and it yeah. didn't do anything. Um, and it's really not appeared since then. No, so, it hasn't. Um, but in Kyle's hand, I think Emery, um, give me a pick on Emery. I want to see... Yeah, so the, 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 the anyone going to take uh, yeah, kind of mono red, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so 11 times across all of 16 possible, around, around 16, okay. Yeah. So, oh, and there's Dak for Cody. All right. All right. Now, I really want to talk, like, Nemo, they've been really patient about lands and getting the overgrown to in there. I love patience I think that's a lands. really, really I good time for that. I love about lands, yeah. And if you look, the, I mean, they got Eric their fetches the, super late, yeah, too. Yeah, Eric grabs the EE. Yep. Um, so that, that'll be, I, I really like that because Nemo now has all of the fixing mana. So let's go back to Eric's Forge pick now that we know an Eldrazi. Let's, yeah, let's pull back up Forge and let's re-examine the Forge pick. So you may look at the top card, look at if it's an artifact or a, or a colorless, colorless. non Okay, so now, now it the makes Forge sense. pick starts to make more sense. Yeah, way that more Eric's sense. going to play Wastes yep. and go some Eldrazi. Yeah. So now the Forge pick starts to come together. Tip of the hat, yes. Mr. Levine, you know, or raise the jukebox. Yeah. Where's Where's our Peter Gabriel? <laughs> yeah. Or Mountain Goats, yeah. I guess, really. He's gonna raise that jukebox above his head. Uh, Marcus said, "If Eric wins, we're going to get a shot of him with the with the winning raise yeah, above his head, good. so we can put on Facebook." So, uh, all right, so we got the Green Sun. Um, you know, he's got this sub plan of Breaker and, and Twister here. Or maybe the main plan is still some flexibility. Um, he is open enough. He could grab to get with that green sun. He could grab um, the OG breacher, um, Ocean Thief. Well, not Ocean Thief, but uh, the green Leovold. Oh yeah, and he had yeah. that last time in elves. Yeah, so he I did would have not, I would in not elves. be surprised yeah. to see a Leovold. Yeah. Um, especially with the breacher wheel twister. Yeah, right? for so sure. I'm yeah. really not, and he's got the mana fixing. He does. So yeah. I am super. Will not be surprised if he grabs a Leovold here yeah. the next two picks. Interestingly, he's only got Taiga and no shocks. Right, but he's got Delta Catacombs Flash. Yeah, for so, sure. So, yeah. you know. And, and he can I, fetch whatever basics and he, he needs. Yeah. Courser. All right. So we're green. We're well, green. got the green. I mean, yeah. Uh, so one thing we discussed this week, and I don't think it fits his, but the new Courser, um, which if you have in the right creature deck, if yeah. you, you know, which if you have Coven, Three different creatures, different powers. You mm-hmm. can play creatures from the top as well. Yeah, doesn't gain you the life, but nope. that is something there. Uh, Mark and I discussed this last week. All right, so we are approaching the break here. Mm-hmm. Um, we are going to break after sixteen, so we've got the end of this, and then and one swords. There we go. Um, so swords let's pull going. up a poll. Um, if you want to start a poll over here and tell us um, who do you want, so we're just going to do one through eight. Poll time, um, and just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we're gonna go one to eight. One is Kyle, and eight is Kevin. 
Tell us who you want to bring into the box. Two votes for Kyle. So someone will come in. Uh, one of us will step out. We'll take a piss. <laughs> do the yeah. things we have to do. Maybe both of us at different times. Yeah. <laughs> we'll sub in and out. All right. So two for Kyle, two for Kevin, one for Eric. Uh, living, the, we have a, three for Kyle. We have so many things coming in that the living room cam was not working. Yeah, so, unfortunately. Um, hey, Alex, I didn't see you on there. Less Alex, my good friend. Thanks for clicking the Twitter link, Alex. All right, so we've got three for one and three for eight. We've got to have a tiebreaker. We could have two seconds here. Yeah. Four, Eric, five. We have five left in the bowl. Yep. All right, so we have a tiebreaker. Um, so you get, I'm giving you the tiebreaker power. You're giving me the tiebreaker power? Who are we going to call in? Let's call in Kevin. Call in I, Kevin. I want to okay. pick his brain on this. We're going to call in Kevin. I uh, probably don't have time to ring the whole thing. Yeah, so. unfortunately. Just a couple minute break. Uh, well, Angus jumps in with a last minute vote. I'm going to count Angus's vote. Yeah, Kyle, that's fine. Kyle, Kyle takes it. All right, that works. All right. At the same time. All right, so we got, what do we got here? We got swords. Um, and then swift Ginger spear. Brute. That, can you, that, that's up to a 40 for six pick. That's, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna smack the shit out of Kevin. Like, <laughs> like come on. <laughs> I mean, it's good for his dad. It is good for his dad. It, it is, is good for his, he wants tech, for his dad. But that it's a 46 pick. Like, good lord. I'm gonna smack the shit out of Kevin. <laughs> That's one of the most like. Of course, he's gonna pick that there though. It's yeah. Kevin. Like, but if on. you're gonna do that, you do it on the last pick on the statement pick. Yeah. I guess is this a statement pick? No, not yet. An inspire of industry. Spires a land, right? Yes. Let's see what spires. So Ginger Brute actually good for his deck. It's unblockable. Um, it you know does things. Yeah, so Spire's fine. Probably again later. Get that later. Burning Tree. Nice. I like the Burning Tree. I like Burning Tree a lot here. Yeah, card's real good. I mean, I don't think you have to grab it here, but again, in the red deck, there you have that flat. In the red deck, you're always going to be drafting cards earlier than you want. Yeah, earlier than people are going to say because it's just like, what else are you going to do? Yeah, what else are you gonna do? there's not that many now, options for. He you. needs to be grabbing that chill. Yeah, he, he needs he to be. Does. He cannot be. Council's judgment. I love that pick All here. Right. Oops, click that again. There's no apostrophe. No apostrophe. There you go. Nope. Uh, I guess I have to type all of judgment. Uh, Maybe there is an apostrophe. <laughs> Okay, we're going to come back to that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, drop the E out of judgment. Ah, uh, yep. There, there we, we go. go. Overgrown Tomb, yet another. Thank you again, hyphenated, for the yeah. anti-Brandon spreadsheet. So Council Judgment, very solid removal. You're basically going to get one thing that you want to remove. Yeah. You know, exiled. Uh, so the Burning Tree pick, very solid. Um... What Mason does with this pick is going to be interesting. Well, right? he had picked Overgrown Tomb. Right. So he's going for a land. He yeah. realized it was gone. Um, does he grab Green Red? Does he grab Shock? It's, it's Tommy Brown. Yeah, he might. I mean, he's got the he's got the wheel. I think he's doing He's got Tyga. Right. Um, has Breeding Pool gone yet? Bre no. The only Shock that's gone is Overgrown Tomb. Right, you, you grab Breeding Pool for this, yeah. this list, I think. I mean, he wanted the two. Why he wanted the tomb is because he has a Thought Season Inquisition. Yeah. Right. And every one of his fetches fetch black. Yeah. So, like, the tomb was obviously the pick he wanted. Uh, the triumphs are um, are interesting, right? There's a lot of discussion. I, I think they're really good. I think in Mason's deck in particular, the triumphs are good. Yeah. But you're able to grab the triumph in the last Super pick. late, yeah. yeah. Um, last time, I started a run on the flip lands. Yeah. By picking a flip land. And if I picked a triumph, I think I would have started a run on triumphs, right? I think whatever I picked there starts a run. Would have started to run on Right. I was born three years after Mirage. Good Lord, do I feel old now. Yeah. <laughs> I was born... Remember when 20... 20 I was born 20 years before Revise. Yeah. 
Remember when Grinning Totem was a twenty dollar card and everyone thought that was absurd? I wasn't playing at that point. Oh so man! I, okay. I, I, I yeah. tapped out, so I, I got in at the Dark and Revive. Okay. So right early, early, yeah. and then I tapped out after Homelands for a long time. Shocking. Uh, <laughs> and then I sold it all for pot money. And then, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was like twenty, nineteen years old. Ooh, it. Reach to Cody, and Thassa's Oracle than Wemo. I like where we're going here. Also, Scavenging Ooze to Mason, I think, is a really solid pick. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. We have Emery for Graveyard Shenanigans, Crucible for Graveyard Shenanigans, I like Animator. The Oracle. I like the Thoracle here. We, yeah. not, we didn't see Thoracle last time. No, we did we not see Thoracle at all last time. Uh, yeah, and then I got back in like, briefly Inventor's Fair. at... Um, I got back in briefly at Kamigawa. Yeah. Not Mirrodin. Okay, At yeah. Fifth Dawn. Yeah. And I stayed to Betrayers. Yeah, and then I got and I came back in at Lorwyn slash Tenth Edition and stayed forever. Yeah, other than like this occasionally, like I'm sitting out six months or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Like I set out all of the second visit to Innistrad. Yeah, I, I was, was going for an adventures fair. To and this up. is the break. Okay, and this is the break, Mark. So let them know, please. All right, and Mark, you said turn off the chat. Did you just mean mute the mic? Uh, I started revised, got out at. Urza's flask. Okay. When the rules update hit, right. damage stopped using the stack, and I was like, "This is stupid. This game is over for me." Right. And then I got back in at Scourge. Well, damage stopped using the stack right on tenth edition. I thought it was part of the classic no, update. No, oh, no, okay. no, because it was uh, like when I got back in, your damage was still on the stack because okay. fanatic was still a bomb. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, that was in the Fair. yeah that was in the whatever that big rule update was right after tenth edition or whatever. Was, it was after tenth. Yeah. Okay. The M ten. The yeah. Twi- M, the first of the. Uh, Magic, whatever okay. sets. So. Yeah. Um, and 10th. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Because um, like, I, I was still playing with Mod yeah. Fanatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Locks on. Yeah, because extended at that point. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It did. Yeah. Um, and then got out at Urza's Flask, Destiny. Got back in at Scourge. Got back out after Kamigawa. Uh, yeah, which I was, was like Kamigawa. And then I got out of Betrayers. So betray- like, Kamigawa's yeah. good. Betrayers yeah. suck. All right, I'm going to go grab Kyle. Yeah, for sure. And then set you up with him, and then we'll yep. switch up, and you can go take your break. Cool. All right, Kyle Vance. You won the poll. Oh, thank you. Yes, you, you won the poll for who's in here. So, uh, everyone, this is Kyle, our seat one. Hello. Uh, so, you're doing some interesting things here. I like, I actually agree with you that I would take Recall over Lotus. Mm-hmm. Uh, the argument for Lotus is obviously your ceiling is absurd, uh-huh. but your floor is also utter trash, and sure. Recall is just consistently really real good. good. Really good, yeah. Like, worst case, I'm drawing yeah. three cards. Oh, no! So, last time I played, I play, I was also the first seed, so I took Black Lotus last time, Yeah. and I ended up in, like, a green-white Hate Bears yeah. lands deck, and yeah. it was, like, super medium. I went four and three. Yeah. I wasn't... Uh, I liked it, but the Lotus just, like... I felt like trying out Ancestral Recall this time. Yeah. Yeah. So, what... Now, I'm, I'm curious your thought behind... Obviously, Grindstone Painter Servant is an extra combo here. Sure. Defense Grid. Mm-hmm. Was that mostly because, like, look, I am I just want to protect myself, and this is probably going to go soon with a Karn player? Mm-hmm. Or what was the thought process there? So, the Defense Grid, uh, there's lots of just random hate out there. Like, all the negations have been picked. All, like, yeah. the... The interactions out there. So if I can set up a turn where I like I go like defense grid untap, play half one or the other half of my combo, then mm-hmm. that's what I'm really thinking. Okay. And someone, hopefully they're not listening, um, mentioned, haha, Kyler, are you going backdoor and snaring? Uh, like the uh, what's the, the deck called? Um, the snaring bridges in modern. Oh god. Lantern. Yeah, backdoor. Yeah, lantern. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna backdoor. Everyone, quiet. Back yeah. to our lantern deck in here. That's uh, amazing. But uh, I really like where I started with Ancestral, and then I was yeah. like, do I want to go control deck? Do I want to go combo deck? I'm here to play combo. I want to be yeah. like Tinker, my Blightsteel. Bullshit. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of hate, so that's why I was like feeling the Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking I'm probably going to get some like artifact removal. Or, like Not artifact removal, but removal that is artifacts, like yeah. uh, Aether Spell Bomb and like, other stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe like um, someone took Hercules Recall with the other one. Um, I don't know. Uh... Retrace. Retrace. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's It's it. the one from Darksteel for one blue. Retract. That's the one. Is that the one? Is that only your own stuff? Oh, wait, no. Uh, this one was Cycling. Is yeah. the one you're talking about. I'll figure about. it out. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. figure it out. 
Uh, Pyrite spell bomb. Um, uh, I don't think so. Maybe. I yeah. I do like the dress down pick. Yeah, that was like. Also, I was thinking like, look at all these hate bears. I can like in their instep play my dress down, and then untap and do my thing. Yeah. Like I'm thinking like a lot of these are like on their instep, get something going, and then untap and do my thing. Yeah. Um. What else was I feeling here? I like Emery a lot too. Em um, Emery was because there's rebuild, rebuild is a bounce off effects recycling. Yes. Okay. Thank maybe. you, Angus. Thank you, Angus. Yeah. So I was thinking uh, with the Emery, there's a lot of removal. Yeah. And someone uh, the round before it took Emery took the uh, Academy Ruins, and I really yeah. wanted that. Yeah. I really wanted the Academy Ruins um, for the rebuilding. So I was like, oh, Emery does it in kind of a different way, where yeah. I can just play it out of my yard instead of putting it back on top, which is you know sometimes yeah. better. So, I've got a couple of back doorways. Um, Pity Hole Breacher's gone because Urza and Jar are great for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whoever picked Urza's Saga picked it the round I was going to pick it. Yeah. Uh, we, Steven and I were talking, and we said, you know, it seems like this, based on how the draft is going, is the round this card needs to go in. Yeah. I was super, I talked to Mark. I was super surprised Time Walk was waiting for me on six pick. Yeah. He said it's like between three and ten, but yeah. I was like, man, that seems really late for Time Walk. So yeah. I was like, the whole round before it, after I made my pick of what was for it, Declaring Academy, yeah. I was like, okay, my next pick has to be Tom Walk. It doesn't get all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Or is it lower type of... Because, what was that? Because... They just tokens. become treasure. Or just become... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that makes sense. It gets yeah. nutty with Academy. Yeah. yeah, I think the second half, I'm going to have to really get my Academy uh, engine going. I don't have too much early that like makes my Academy go. So I'm thinking about picking up like Pithing Needles yeah. and uh, Pyrites. Um, the pedals all went, all like the zero mana stuff. Yeah. So uh, I was happy you got that Grim Monolith. I was happy with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get a That's... candle. Yeah, a candelabra. Yeah, I thought about that. I was I was uh, looking at it. I was like, ooh, I could candelabra my academy and just like get nutty mana. So I'm. I'm you I could hard cast Blight Steel. Almost at that point. Almost. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Well. Hopefully I get some crazy stuff. Yeah. Thank Good you. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Going to swap out with Mr. Hagen real quick here. Take a quick break. Alrighty, folks. So I am back uh, from my small break. Let me reposition here for someone. So we've got uh, talked some interesting people. Seem to be high spirits out there. Um, some interesting conversations for sure. Hope everything went well with Kyle there. What? Yeah, We're, he's back from break, so just I, I can take it by myself until he gets back or whatever. Uh, we're gonna be getting the players back to the seats here in a moment, and then we're going to get going. Uh, Mason is um, still a little open. Um, he had some picks, some things he wanted to do uh, that some of the cards going really kind of threw him out for a loop a little bit. Um, he wanted the Engineer Explosives. He really wanted to go in Urza Saga package um, and play kind of a Wheels Lands deck, um, but that didn't happen, obviously. So he, he's still on some of that, and he's trying to figure out how much fealty to his list he's going to have versus should he audible some. Uh, other people are um, Eric mentioned the, I talked to Eric about the Mystic Forge that I thought was a bad pick until I saw he was doing some Eldrazi and then Eric decided Eric said that he had to take the Forge there because he knew Kyle was going to or Kevin was going to take it so uh, some good discussions and we're going to see how things play out alright so I see red on the screen so I assume Kyle is going to be picking again on his backside as we enter the second pack Again, this is St. Lotus number seven, uh, the vaccinated, vaccinated rotisserie draft. My name is Stephen Hagen, and Jason Thurston is going to be joining us back here in a moment, uh, coming in from the break. So this last round, uh, towards the end there, we got a little off uh, as we discussed some things, but uh, Prismatic Ending, super strong removal in this format. Uh, Underworld Breach, a very strong combo card. Also, in some ways, good that he gets it over the wheels deck. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how he uses that. Oh, 
standstill. Okay, so we've got um, some interesting things. So I did not see Kyle's talk. You all did. Um, so I did not see what he was saying was being done. But standstill, of course, a classic control card. Um, you going to join me for a minute? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Got Mark Caterberg, the the OG. He is our originator. Uh, Mark is the person. This is his home, and uh, the person that does the majority, of the bulk of the labor, and uh, is was the one that started this really for us. He brought it together. Sure. So he, he watched other people doing them online, and he decided he wanted to do them. So we were talking. Oh, unmask. Uh, but we we're talking about standstill. Kyle's grab a standstill. Here. Nice. Uh, so this is a classic control card. A uh, little interesting, you know, without as many counter spells, mm -hmm. uh, but in that way, you know. He's got a, I don't know, we'll see interesting to see how, what he does with it. If he just brings it in against something else and bides time. Yeah, nobody's on nobody's on blue in this draft. Not it's really. So weird. Right, yeah, I mean, Cody's got that very, like, I mean, uncontested force, force, manager, right. Narset going so late. Well, but but mean, Cody's clearly going for a combo route. I mean, look yeah. at that Lion's Eye Diamond. He, like, we don't have the traditional Elaine um, blue-based heart right. control deck. I think Kyle might fall into it, but even he's kind of talking about some spice. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for him. But I think there's some spice coming there too. Yeah, um, Angus, I agree. I, I, I'm I mean, gonna let Jason hop back in here though, just cover for a minute. Yeah, I agree, Angus. It's it's interesting because the um, you know oftentimes when we think of Mystic Forge, we think of strictly a combo piece. Uh, you know, we think of Mystic Forge as strictly a combo piece. We think about it as the you're gonna go tops off the thing and you're gonna burn through your deck with artifacts. So yeah. thinking about it with Eldrazi and something a little slower is is an interesting world, right? Yeah, Mason, he said he's been seeing a lot of stuff go that he wanted, as I said. Um, he said, I see you missed this, you were in the other room. Yeah. Mason said, like, he wanted um, the uh, Urza Saga. Like, he wanted to do, like, a Tinker Urza Saga to yeah. get Amulet bigger and go this kind mm, of turbo lancy yeah. package. Kyle said he was going to draft Urza Saga the round it got to him. Okay. Or the round it got taken. Right, so, so right after the grindstone. Yeah, yeah. Well, As after we the servant right, winning. He should have taken the grindstone with the saga and yeah. waited on the servant. I yeah. Mean, that, that would have been the right play. Yeah. As someone mentioned earlier in chat. Yeah. So. Oh, man. That's going to be a long day for me. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to see the DB drive by truckers tonight. At, uh, oh, nice. <laughs> I forgot it was. I was tickets from prior from the before times, yeah. and they got postponed. And then it's <laughs> like, oh crap! I got to do this, and then I got to go to a concert. And normally, I like to dress up for the BRD. I wear a suit rip. or something. Ooh. Uh, but I didn't want to go into the chakra yeah. tonight. I didn't want to. Okay, you rip. Got now. a rip. Yep. No ley line yet. No Dolphy Voidwalker yet. Um, no. Black seems wide open as well. In yeah, terms of like you, for what I yeah. thought it was going to go when we saw the thought yep. season, the jet uh, and the dark writ earlier, right? Yeah. I, I expected the D tutor, much all that stuff. competition yep. for like hard hitting black pieces. Yeah. Uh, so what are some of our other modern horizons? Two big hitters that we're not seeing yet, right? So we uh, Dolphy Boyd Walker, um, no grief, no grief, no solitude, uh, nope. Right. And those are solitude generally good. Yeah. It goes a little later at this point. I think just the couple we've seen, grief seems very good for somebody. Uh, yeah, I think Eric's dead. Um, I could see Brandon taking solitude because solituding their last dude after a balance seems right. real solid. Yeah. Although again, Brandon doesn't have dudes. Right. So I mean, he's got to pick a white card. You know. Yeah. Um, I, I think the excavator and there's a top. Uh, Brandon loves top. I like, no matter what, Brandon just it, loves top. I, I think the only card he loves more than top is Altar of the Bridge. Right. Uh, Murktide Regent has not been picked yet. Are you sure it's playable? I don't necessarily think Regent's playable, no. Okay. Um, Pyroblast, there we go. So In round 17, finally. Mason said, I didn't mention the card I wanted Jago to, to draft because I didn't want to get changed, but Mason yeah. said that Jago kind of got off focus a little bit. And I got to focus. I think he was going to go like a um, white red blue. Uh, okay. uh, some of the stuff that Brandon did yeah. kind of f focused him back to yeah. where not. Right? Yeah. But he was experiencing that red deck thing, right? Like, yeah. I, 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 everyone else is taking powerful stuff and I'm taking stuff. Grim monologue. Right. Yeah. Right? So like, or something, why, you why, know? Like, oh, yeah. I should grab this blue thing or I should grab yeah. this. So we'll see if he ends up splashing Yeah. Or you, not, you have but. to be very disciplined on the red deck because like. It You're, seems like everyone seems, else is doing better things. Yeah, they're doing so much splashier things, and there's a pitting needle out of Kevin. That's 
huge, I, I think. I don't yeah, think I like you need to get it here. It exactly, yeah. Like, Revoker attacks. Yeah. I like Needle Sacred in Foundry the, out of Drago. I like Needle in the Karn. Yeah. I like Needle in the Karn deck a lot. Yeah. Ooh, Sylvan Library for Brandon. Another one of his pet cards. Yeah, yeah. These are very Brandon picks. Yep. Um, the Zern Orb, yeah. I mean, I could see Mason going in it. Um, with, with, you know, definitely. with the cause Yeah, because he has Fast Bond right. and the Romanoff Excavator. Uh, well, him not having Crucible, but he having the Romanov, which does yeah. it. But if he goes that route, I'll tell you what, the Sylvan Library, um, not the Sylvan, the Fast Bond, uh, Romanov, and Zurin with um, uh, the green one that makes it, that, uh, uh, when you play a land, investigates. Oh, no. Tireless Tracker. Yeah, Tracker. That's powerful. That's the, yeah, that Tracker is real good. Yeah. Oh, it was brutal. Yeah. I agree. Helix isn't worth the splash. Um, no. It'll be interesting to see what white cards he goes after, because Thali is gone. Right. Path. Path, he could, yeah. Swords is obviously gone. Solitude. Solitude, yeah. He could get Solitude. And I think Fury hasn't been drafted that I've seen yet, but like that card's playing a lot better than people. That card's insane. People that card is yeah, very, very I, It's good. playing a lot better than people thought. Yeah. Um, Endurance will go later somewhere. It he would. One of these. Okay. Out of Mason. I like that. Yeah. Buy back a wheel, you know. Yeah. I agree. Sunbaked seems better than Foundry. You need card draw on that list really bad. Yeah. Which is why the fetches are so important, because that thinning is crucial. Hey, Hyphenated, now that you're here, thank you so much for the spreadsheet. Yeah. We blatantly stole it. It's amazing. Just wanted to give you the shout-out. So Hyphenated is one of the uh, other people along with us that are doing a lot of data collection and kind mm -hmm. of working... There's a, a solid core that's pushing for VRD to be a community thing, and Hyphenated yeah. is one of the front uh, front people in that. So we always give Hyphenated the shout out. Uh, uh, and definitely hop on the Discord, uh, yeah. the VRD Discord, if uh, if you want to do more as well. Yeah. So <laughs> he, he stole about half the spreadsheet. That's himself. how that's yeah. how it works. Yeah. It's like deck lists. Uh, right. Eugene, new new gene. Yeah, looks like we got a new gene. The ineffable. Okay. I like that okay. one a lot, so we're super Eldrazi Again, now. so... Does, does he draft Tron? No. <laughs> Brain Freeze out of Cody, so we're definitely in combo then for Cody. Storm. So, Veil of Summer out of Nemo, that's a really right. good pick for them. Eugene, of course, makes his Eldrazi cost two less. Two less, right. which is huge. And never underestimate that plus one. I mean, just the, the little... The plus beater. one is actually really good. Like, just the versatility of Eugene. Like, yeah. This is one of my favorite Brawl slash Commander cards, um, just because of the, the versatility. Uh, Veil, very good pick for yeah. Veil. So, um, I really like what Nemo's doing so far. We have no, we don't have his reanimator targets, but you don't need there's so many good reanimator targets. Yeah, there's so many good ones, and you're not competing with anybody right. for a lot of them, because in this format, it's literally, they go in the reanimator list, yeah. and that's it. They don't go yeah. anywhere else. Like, I still think one I want to see, and I don't think we see it in his list here, or their list here, but one I want to see is the reanimator, what Transmute. There we go. What is the new um, Archon of Cruelty? No, the, well that one of course. But Archon of Cruelty is uh, that one is one of the super sexy newer reanimator targets. Um, yeah. So a little half a cruel ultimatum here, baby cruel ultimatum. Let's see if she catches up. There's um, the memory drawer. The white red dra white red dragon. Uh, the white red uh, lore uh, hold. Uh, um, oh, oh, not gold flame. No, what is the white... Someone in chat, help me. The white-red legendary from Strixhaven. Velo, thank you. Yes. Uh, this guy yeah. has a reanimator target because he has haste, and then you get to play another card. Yeah. You get to... So I think this guy has a reanimator target in VRD. Seems really, really good. Creeping Corrosion out of me. Real good, I think, for sideboard. Is that just green? Destroy all art. Yeah, green Shatterstorm. Green Shatterstorm? Yeah. And yeah, can't be regenerated. Also, Aven Mind Sensor out of Eric, so we're definitely that's, on that. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Eric's doing good stuff. I like oh, no, Eric's like, there is no. Okay. But yeah, that's. Creeping Corrosion is good, I think. It, it seems like this, there's been a lot more. Um, you know what, Eric? I, you know what I would have liked to see out of the Nemo there? I would have liked to have seen, because he's got the black too. Oh, Calling the Week? Calling Ritual. 
Oh, yeah. You love that card. It's bonkers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's already paying four mana, right? Yeah. And yeah. a lot of the artifacts you want to destroy are, are cheaper anyway. Yeah. I, I think the thing there, though, is if you run the risk of destroying your reanimator target, which I guess you just don't play it in right. that case. Like, if you're, if some so small he's got hit anima- He's got Necron Animate Dead, but he doesn't have Reanimate. Huh. So he doesn't. Interesting. No Interesting. Yeah. I mean, he can pick it late. There's yeah, nobody yeah. else on it. Although we did see last time where somebody hate, hate yeah, picked yeah, Reanimate, yeah. and yeah, we're it didn't work. Yeah, we're seeing yeah. it. So, oh, Memory Jar over there. Man, we got it. Yeah. Kyle's got it. I like Kyle's list a lot. Infernal Tutor on Cody. Hmm. I don't... With an LED. With the LED. But, yeah. He's only got... He doesn't well, have Dark Ritual. He's got it. No, he doesn't have Dark Red. So Infernal Tutor is the bad tutor in that way. Right? Like, with yeah. the LED, it's great, obviously. You put it on the stack, and then you pop the LED. Yeah. Um. So he's kind of going into some stormy stuff. Like, yeah. is he even a main deck at the time, though? I don't know. I, I don't think he does at this point. We just end up with a non-time game deck. Good lord! Yikes! Is that on him? Yeah, he may have just picked it and then just like, nah, I'm not gonna run it. That's awesome that he did. Like that's just like, it's like, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, big balls, right? Through. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Angus, I don't think it's better. I think the thing is, there's so many effects similar to Nature's Claim that you can pick late, and. Yeah. I don't love the corrosion pick there. I yeah, mean, you could have got that anyway. I, I like that card. I just don't like it. This there. is Nemo's first draft. Um, yeah. And I think that Nemo is still, uh, you know, just like he's seeing a lot of the artifacts. They're, they're figuring it out. They are figuring it out. Especially yeah. in your first draft. You see all the artifacts and it makes you a little scared. Yeah. So you're just like, I'm going to grab yeah. all these. Of course, that's a problem with the artifact deck is that they're so easy to hate. You know? Yeah. Mental misstep out of Brandon and yeah. a Once Upon a Time out of Mason. Mason, Mason liked Once Upon a Time. Once liked Once Upon a Time. Yeah. He dra- they dra- yeah, he drafted, drafted it last, last time. time yeah. uh, There's the Steam Vents finally. Oh, Seeds of Innocence. I love that card. Control of each game's life equal to its mana value. Yeah, Seeds, seeds is great. Also, reserve list, I think. Probably. For you, MTG Finance pros out there. Spell Skite. That's a card that I honestly love in this format. There's a lot of stuff that it can just randomly stop. Yeah. I, it's the, the thing is, the pinpoint removal, the spot removal in this format is so good. Right. Because you're only drafting your, ca- excuse me, your catch-alls and your... Right. Well, and the thing about spot removal also is that, and we've been talking about this a lot, is you get to be very flexible with it now. And because there's so much of it, yeah, you can other than like the most powerful pieces like your swords, you just wait till later to see what people do. Yeah, because exactly. then you get to grab things like this, right? Like you get to wait, and they're like, "Oh, there's a lot of walkers. We have a super friends deck. I'm going to grab fracture. I love that card. fracture. Right? I like love that. Card. Oh, there's not a lot. I don't need fracture. I can grab something else. Right? Yeah, like like you can be very flexible. Ooh, Brandon just took spell pierce. Okay, I he likes spell pierce. I, he does. I just like it's so weird for me to see him drafting control magic, and we got a snap out of Jago. So hey, we're we're on the. He's still in the red, white, blue. Yeah, I mean, gonna go for a little bit, you know. Just yeah, that's a very late snapcaster. What is this round twenty? So like yeah, although yeah, that one but, that's a crazy late snap. I, but I think that's interesting because like we don't snap, have any blue players. The snap with the dragon Drake switch, right? Like that's yeah. the. It yeah. still feels like he was gonna go red, and then just kind of chicken down. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. I, I, you know, I don't know if I have the feel for you to go red. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. They, you're right, Nick. The Jago has bolt and get pro, but you can grip so many spells. I mean, search. there's so many, you know, yeah. ca- cheap like counter spell isn't gone. Yeah, and there's uh, the Leo for gone. Mason. Yeah, Leo, I, he said he was gonna draft Leo, and I, I called yeah. it. And it makes sense. Cavern for Eric, which I like a lot. I think that definitely signals like we're going Eldrazi here, probably. Yeah, I, I, I would have I would have expected that out of Kyle. Yeah, I agree with that. Kyle, Cody, or Nemo, I would expect to yeah. snap much earlier. Cody with a dual caster mage. Fork on a body. Okay. Interesting. I mean, it helps Storm count, nurturing peatlands, so yeah, Nemo's just getting... Oh, Slaver. But with Academy Ruins going to Kevin, yeah. not quite as good. Still solid, though. Yeah, you missed it when Kyle was in here. Kyle said he is trying to backdoor lantern control. 
<laughs> Ristic Study is honestly, I, I love that card in this I format. Has it been picked ever? He might be going for the Twin Flame Dual Caster combo, honestly. One time. Yeah. Round 30. Yeah. I think the Esper Sentinel is a much better pick than the Ristic Key to draw it. Mr. Gamora, I agree, is a much better pick, especially here. Right. I There's so few creatures that people have taken so far that it's just gar- Dance of the Dead. Yet again, still no reanimate. That's weird. So and Rami, it's theirs. I mean, yeah, it's yours too. and theirs. Yeah. And Rami's so easy to splash. I mean, you can easily like just, yeah. you know, I'm Eric or Mason, I may just grab Rami. Yeah, to just to have it take your big target in response right. to your anime dead. You know. Yeah. Abort I, it. The the nice thing though is Eric, like you're gonna yeah. what you're are your own you, targets anyway. Yeah, right? you're gonna reanimate what Iona against me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I think the dual caster twin flame combo could be what Kobe's going for here. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. that's nice. I like that next next turn. Chaos warp. Yep. Yeah, one of Nick's pet cards is Sabine's Reclamation. Loves that card. No, white white isn't on anybody's radar for the most part. It yeah. seems like a little bit from um, Jago. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, containment priest out of Eric. So we're starting to get our. Yeah. We this saw Graph Digger's cage. Yeah. yeah. So we have Mind Sensor, Containment Priest, and Thalia. Right. Out of Eric. So he's he's definitely going the fair deck. Like. Uh, you know what? So if Eric's not grabbing the, the, the Thoughtseize discard, what I want to see from Eric is Tide Hollow Skull and the Mesmeric Yeah. Right. So if he's not going to go the the Thoughtseize the, discard. The dude yeah. discard. Like Tide Hollow, I think, is really Tide good. Hollow is really really good with this thing. Like, yeah. I, me not drafting this Merrick Fiend last time was a massive mistake because I needed more dudes to turn sideways. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, like, you know, that is... Yeah, I mean, Eric's got Rip, Mind Sensor, Containment Priest, um, Swords Stone has Forge. been taken. Path is still on the table. Right, Path is still on the table. Yeah. Ending is probably better than Path at this point. I agree. So, yeah, Prismatic Ending is really ending good in this format. Which I think Brandon may be the one best suited to take advantage of it. Um, I would love to see. Oh, and ending is gone. Ending's gone. Eric took it. Oh, okay. I yeah. missed that. Yep. He did yeah. take it. Yep. Okay. Eric's got the strong removal suite. Yeah, he does. Looking at it now. Yeah. I also love Thought Knots here for him. So what's Mason going to do here? Does Eric have swords? Nope. No. Brandon has Brandon swords. Has swords. Okay. Yeah. Brandon has Ooh, swords. Man. The lag sometimes on this camera drives me crazy. I, I watch myself and I'm like, wait, well, why am I doing that when I did this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to lean in sometimes, folks, to uh, yeah, you've got be to able to see. I got, I, I got to get the, uh, I got to get the bifocals up coming. Yeah. I'm at the old yeah. age where bifocals are starting to hit. <laughs> the last time the doctor told me, oh, you don't need them net, and then like two months later, I found myself doing this a lot. I mean, yeah. I'm like, oh no, 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 next visit, they're coming. Yeah. Bifocal time. All right. Do you grab another wheel here? Another wheel effect? I don't know. know. So I mentioned in Eons earlier. Yeah. I like Echo a lot more in Cody's list than I do in... Mason's. Time Spiral. Another wheel. (laughs) (laughs) Called it. (laughs) I I would have really liked to see that in Kyle's list. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just a sucker for. I'm gonna call Brandon goes all to the brew here because he's Brandon, and it's about time for him about to pick time. it. Yeah, it's a, it's a Kasha's hideous laughter. He's just gonna throw yeah. us this word. <laughs> just oh, guess what I'm doing now, guys? Sorry. Uh, you know, but ta- ta- I think Tasha's is playable even outside the mill deck just because it oh, hits yeah. so it's, much it, crap. And it exiles, which is yeah. huge, and it doesn't target. You can't yeah. fail it. Yep. Um, so it does a lot. Just overall solid, solid card. I feel like if I was him, I may want to get a man land, too. Man, yeah, that would, that would not because be bad. Because they play incredibly well with balance. Yeah. 
Yeah, Tasha's was snap. Oh, counter spell. So okay. we, all right, good. Good for you, Brad. Yeah, the, go uh, control Brand, magic. Brandon had Tasha's with snap last time. It's not. <laughs> Kate Keterberg, strong disagree about it outside of milk. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the discussion. Uh, yeah, Sorry, Keterberg. Mark wins. <laughs> Mark wins. Uh, oh, I do need to pay you for that jersey. Thanks for tuning in, Austin. <laughs> and he's better than us both, he says. Right. Absolutely. All right, so we got the counter spell. Trying to pull up like this, but I had here of things to that might from the last couple sets if anything was going to go, but I can't find not great. Clearly. Um so Teferi who slows the sunset, siphon insight, satellite call the anthem. I don't think anyone's going to snow book of Exalted Beast play, so no. I um, don't see Circle Change Zero coming no. back in. Does Cody have red at all? He does better. Dak. Wish in Cody's deck could be. Yeah, Wish could be really good. Reckless Storm Seeker, I like that one a lot. Oh, so we got a Smash to Smithereens. And a Tormod's Crypt. So we're going. I mean, he's got his extra little hate there. That's, uh, that's all. Is two pieces? Do you really need that? I mean, there's. That's... I guess there's Reanimator and. Yeah, Emery's there. So this is basically, Austin, uh, it is a draft where there is one pack on the table. And it is every single vintage legal card in Magic. So, except the Draft Matters cards. So pretty much any card in the history of Magic that is an anti-manual dexterity uh, or a Draft you Matters card. You can draft card. a Draft Matters card. They just don't work because this yeah. is not a pack. Or these are not... Well, Mark has some wording we use for it. Yeah. They're, you know, but... You know. There's a Brainstorm. Finally, round uh, 22? Voros Charm. 22 seems insane for Brainstorm. Let's find out. There's no way. That is wild. Yeah, you, you, Austin, can absolutely pack one, pick one prime time. By all means. Is that Austin <laughs> Jones? Yeah, that's Austin Jones. What a punk. I'll watch him beating up some dude in the ring like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he said he's better yeah, than both of us. Exactly. <laughs> Mark is ninth seed off. Might be lagging. It was yeah, lagging yeah, earlier. Yeah, ninth seed is offline. So yeah, we're gonna see where that brainstorm shakes down at. But yeah, that's wild. Like, what? Did, we had Mystic Forge pick before brainstorm. We had what? I'm so confused. You know what? Changing different people. Different yeah, guys, changing, changing you know. of the guard, I guess. You yeah. know, you're seeing blue is kind of, you know. Uh, so it actually was picked in the 24th round. Last time. Last time. Yeah. Uh, so ninth seed looks at all drafts on, that we have in our database, which is yeah. not just ours. It's a lot of people's. Average pick is 55. Okay. Yeah, that is. Which round is that? 55? Uh, 55. That's like fifth, fifth, yeah. sixth, fifth, sixth round, yeah. Yeah, so we're down. Good lord. Seven. Seven. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, some of these people forget. There's not a lot of blues. Like Strip Mine. Uh, strip Mine last third, time. Third, yeah. third, third pack for me yeah. last time. Yeah, I, we were losing our minds over how late that went. Hmm. We've got Mason in the tank here, which I, I'm still not sure what he's doing. He's not sure. I said, he, like, talking to Mason... You know, he had ideas and some picks, other people's picks threw him for a loop in that one, but he's, he's not quite sure. But being in the tank here makes sense. You know. Dry it, Arbor. There we go. Got the green sun. Yeah, you got the green sun. You may as well. Yeah, I mean, 55 may be high for Brainstorm, but is like, whatever, it's round 22? That's insane to me. I love Spirit of the Labyrinth. That's a solid pick. Yeah, that is really good. That That is, that is a card which hates... So many decks right now that right. have been drafted, you can almost main deck it right. to have a dude. Like, that's yeah. real good. So, I don't know. I think that you know, Spirit's the better because it definitely because of the cost. Um, yeah. But there's, I don't think Onslaught probably has too much at 
four mana is yeah. a lot. Yeah. But I mean, you know, flashing in to shut down the wheel seems good, but four mana is a lot. Ooh, deluge out of Cody. Okay. Toxic. Yeah. The, the killing people is like Leovold and Ramanop, I guess, and Scoos. Uh, so duels and shocks are interesting. So what typically happens for us is someone will pick one, and that starts a run on them. Right. All of a sudden, everyone's picking shock lands. Everyone's picking duels. Uh, fetch lands go a lot easier, right. a lot earlier than anything else. Um, there we go. We got a repeal and a Tez out of Kyle. So Tez, so there's one of the time vault pieces. Gone. Yep. And Tez is good. And Kyle's dead. Like that's yeah. Solid. Tez, yeah. Like, Tez is very good. Like, in that this deck. is a way late Tez too compared yeah. to where he normally goes. Yep. Commune with the gods. <laughs> what? I I love that. Is that green? Yeah. That's in your graveyard. That's pretty good. You, you may. You may. Oh. You okay. may. You don't even have to put it in your hand. No. Interesting. I like that a lot. Oh. Huh. Preordain. There we go. Right, the brainstorm's gonna trigger off the <laughs> yeah the, the cantrip run because we had uh, ponder go so already. Do we see, so Cody has ponder and pre order. Okay, now. do we see this one? Yeah, from somebody. I like that card a lot here. Kataki, out of Eric. I, I love Kataki so much. But Eric's got a lot of artifacts. I don't like the Kataki pair. Yeah, that's fair. Although, I mean, really, you just have to crucible pays for itself. Right, right, you know? right. Yeah, you probably. I'm probably wrong. Like, so he's got he swords, the Kataki revoker. Pick probably, yeah, the Kataki probably feels fine. Yeah. yeah. I used to run a lot of Kataki in standard. Here's a triad of the Elysian Grove from Mason. Yeah, Mason had it. Yeah, Mason likes triad, especially with Mason's multi-color base going there. Brandon going for Mon Mentor. <sighs> that we're starting to see Brandon Brandon. Yeah, Brandon's Brandoning now. He's. Uh, Oh, don't do it, Brandon. You had such a good show. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, I, I said, why'd you pick that, Brandon? That's what I said. Yeah. I I like Monastery Mentor and Jocko's deck. Goblin Guide. There, is, there we go. Yeah, now we're getting back to the traditional red stuff. I just, right. I have to wonder if he's going to take, yeah, the classic Mentor balance deck. <laughs> <laughs> You love to see it. <laughs> I, I mean, look, there is a vintage deck. Mon Mentor, Mentor and Vintage did run balance for a little well, bit. Well, I mean, you can keep your Mentor and then re every spell. Where you go yeah, to exactly. Right? I mean, that's not, actually, that's yeah. not horrible. Yeah. Um, Hanger Back and Thought Monitor. I love Thought Monitor. I don't know that I love the Hanger Back. Yeah. But I love the Thought Monitor pick here. So, Thought Monitor, of course, is one. So, Fury. There's the Fury. Oh, okay. Out of okay. Jaga. Nice. So Fury becomes the last time Grief and Endurance were the or Grief Endurance and yeah. Solitude were the first three. Yeah. Um. This time Fury is the first of these to be picked. Yeah. Now the good news though is this may set up everyone's memory going, oh shit, those cards exist. Yeah. And now we may see a run. Yeah. Them. So here's Thought Monitor. Um. This is solid. Very solid for him. Yeah. Uh, I think this is really good here. Just card draw. Um. Oh yeah. Hang on. So Fury, of course, is. Our oh. is that on us to scroll? No, that's no, not. That, that doesn't. Yeah, doesn't yeah, oh yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Right. So Fury is of course the pitch creatures from um, MH two. MH two. Uh, I mean, generally considered to be the worst of them, but has really kind of gone up in people's head. Ooh, right? Brandon got the breeding pool that Mason never picked. Right. So Fury, he, it's a three three double striker. And, you know, I'll tell you what, sometimes you, you may be shocked to know that VRD actually, do, it can be fast, but it does, it, it doesn't, it will sometimes last long enough that a five drop is playable. Yeah, right? I for mean, sure. Like it, it either goes really fast or really long, but the fact yeah. that you can pitch it and do the um, pyrotechnics thing. Yeah, is it's really good. Subtlety, uh, I'm not Subtlety sure. Subtlety went in some of the online ones. Yeah. Uh, I know it went in uh, Hyphenated's Flash deck this yeah. last time. How was that for you, Hyphenated? How did Subtlety play for you?
Yeah, blue one was fantastic for okay. him. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I know grief was fantastic for me. Like, I, and it's what part of it I took Soul Ring first Got pick Jukins. last time. Yep. Was because I could turn two grief hard cast. Oh yeah, that's really good. I, yeah. That was part of my plan was to yeah. turn two grief uh, hard cast. So Trinisphere. Ooh, Trinisphere. All right, Azusa out of Mason. I like three sphere a lot, especially since he's denying it for the workshop deck. Yeah. Right. Is huge. Um, as a shops player in Vintage, let me tell you how much I love turn one Trinisphere. <laughs> love it. Yeah, it seems to be hateful. Yeah, it, it is. So, Cody eventually... So, I'm still... I'm going back to Kyle's dress down. I'm wondering if this is just going to be sideboard hate or if he's going to combo with himself. I, I asked him about it, and he said his thought was, on their end step, do it, then do my thing on mine. Okay. Okay, so he's got so, plans for it. Yeah, he, he has plans. Um, basically, you know, he started seeing stuff like Kataki, like, or, well, right. not Kataki at that point, but right. like Oof, and stuff like that. And he said, all right, well, this is going to be a thing, like, great, I'm going to. I would love to see Field from Mason's deck. Yeah, I think that Field is, if you're in that. Finally reanimated. Particularly now with the Waste being available for free. Yeah. yeah. And if you just spend one pick on the snow, you can differentiate enough. Like, yeah. Actually, Field was one of the reasons we discussed making just snow for free with no picks at all. Field was one of the reasons I said not to because it would be too easy just to build a, a field mana base. If yeah. you could just pick between yeah. snow and other for free, yeah. right? Like, yeah. And I don't necessarily think that's necessarily broken, um, no. but it, it's still really good. Yeah. So finally, they reanimate after the John Catacomb here. Is this is this our check land run? Because we've seen we've seen the canopy lands kind of start to go here. Right. Yeah. And there's still a lot of those out there. Um, there's just so many good lands anymore. Evil. What? What? I love it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sure. Cube All Star upheaval. Yeah. yeah, I don't know that it's that scary, but we just we, when we when we tinker with the rules, right? We we try to think about you know you know. Is it worth it for the potential scary? And it may be something we try at some point. Um, right now, you can still get one one snow pick gets you all of the snow lands, right? Yeah. So, I mean, all you need to do is burn one pick, and you can get every snow for it, or every snow of that color. Yeah. Yeah, warmth and chill are still alive. Yeah, and Jago needs to grab that chill. So chill, yeah. of course. I mean, I'm a grab a little chill over here, but Jago has no chill currently. Right. Um, chill. He just needs to hate to pick this, right? Yeah. Um, you know, this is just one of those cards that red just cannot deal with. Yeah, it, it can't effectively deal with that at all. I mean, he, does, he might have the white splash to help. Padim something. So we got a Padim out of Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so Padim. Console, Console of, of Innovation. Unmarked Grave out of Nemo. That's the new Entomb? Yep. Okay, so... So new and tuned. Yep. Okay. Good. Non legendary. Card. So does he just grab? I mean, do they grab the um, consultation to go with the Oracle later or whatever, whichever one it is? I think so, yeah. I mean, might as well, right? Sulfur Falls. So, yeah, we're starting to see Cody develop his mana base here, which this is honestly kind of late for it. He I... doesn't have a win. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a way to win. He has Brain Freeze, but that's yeah. such an easy, yeah. like, that's so easy to hate that. Now, out. Kess would be very good in Cody's yeah. deck. Which member did Eric just pick? Dismember? Yes, Dismember. Smack, 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 smack. <laughs> Dismember used to be one of the winningest cards in VRD when yeah. we looked at those metrics, right? Yep. Like, uh, Dismember's super solid here. This is yep. really good removal. Eric will appreciate that pun. I think he will. He, does. Yeah, he will. <laughs> yeah, although the interesting thing is that going for Unmarked Grave and the fact that it has to get... A non-legendary is somewhat well, limited. Well, Persist is non-legendary. Is Unmarked Grave non-legendary too? Persist is non-legendary, yeah. Yeah, it is non-legendary yep. as well. So they're both non -legendary. Yeah, they're both non-legendary. But our kind of cruelty is non-legendary. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and reanimating Mini Cruel Ultimatum a yes. few times is fine. Right. Thassa's Oracle is non-legendary as well. Yeah, very true. Vesuva out of Mason. So yeah, looks, looks, we like, we're, it? looks like we're doing it, Nick. Are we going to see it? Oh, I wait. think we're going to see Cuddy. Yeah. <laughs> Nick is a longtime Valakut player, so he's <laughs> stoked at the fact that this may happen. 
So we're still kind of looking for something from Brandon that's wins, other than just you know Planeswalker or attrition. Yeah, you know. Pentad Prism. Okay. Well, I mean, he's, Brandon's got the Karn, right? Yeah. Brandon can still just grab Lattice. True. And yeah. probably should at some point around yeah. here. This is the point where people are willing, if they're paying attention, to stop starting yeah. eight breaks. All right, it is officially 12 o'clock, which means we move from our mimosas to our Budweiser. Yep. Uh, Mr. Caterberg, can you please bring me a St. Louis special? I'll pass. Hard pass. <laughs> Ancient Den, Chain Lightning. So we may be back aboard the red right. train. So Pen- well, I mean, he's going to be focused red. I mean, he'll yeah. have this button. But Pentad Prism, again, very Brandon. Brandon likes that, uh, that bit for mana there. Probably early here, but it fits in other decks. So um, that's an okay pick. Yeah. Ancient Den, solid. Mm. Just put artifact land. Play, yep. play, plays with what he wants it, to do. It plays as Esper Sentinel. Right. Right. Plays as Esper Sentinel, adds to his thought monitor account, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Frogmite. <laughs> the Broodstar Affinity Staple. Yeah. Frogmite. He didn't, he didn't want one. I love that. I, what's what's the new one that's being played in Popper? Uh, he's, it's on his little short list. Okay, it, it was. It got banned yeah. from Popper, actually. Oh, yeah, so that's shorter, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Went into St. Louis. We do the St. Louis thing. It is now noon. We move from Mimosa time to Budweiser time. QT, best gas station in the country. Fight me over Wawa. Wawa. Fuck Wawa. <laughs> Thank you. And a Rabble Master and a Caracas. I love the Rabble Master deck. Yeah. yeah. I think Rabble Master and Goblin Legionnaire Two cards that, other than some of the newer stuff like Rag and yeah. Robber and uh, Dra- D- Darcy, mm-hmm. two the, the two cards that make Red really powerful. Yeah. Like, yeah, like even the control decks, like Elaine and her Grixis decks, would drop the would drop the Rabble Master or the Legionnaire, and it just builds that army. Yep. It's Bitter Blossom, which yep. hasn't gone yet, by the way. No. <laughs> As someone who played a lot of Jund and a lot of Abzan in Modern, I yeah. love Bitter Blossom, and I love it in this format because like. So the talk Heart about is so crucial. You mentioned Amulet Titan, right? Like yeah. Jason wanted um, Urza to be able to run Amulet. Yeah. Like he, yeah. Th- that was the thing that upset him was that he he wanted it. Levine mad that he got sniped about what? Caracas. Yeah. I I think so. Yeah, that's the snipe. I mean, that's yeah. yeah. Caracas is super good. Now, interesting enough, that that the fact that Nemo is going unmarked grave shows that maybe the random major heart heart legendary is for Caracas. Isn't as good. As good. But yeah. it still always has value. Oh, yeah, yeah for I sure. Mean. Definitely. Yeah, I think Laelia is one that also Ooh, makes yeah, that red one that, very good. I think that one missed my radar, but let's, yeah, let's talk. That's, that's solid. Um, yeah, that, that card is insane. Yeah. Looks good. I was looking at, at Prosper, but. Prosper costs three instead of four. Yeah. I think it'd be VRD playable. Yep. But uh, Prosper costing four probably stops it from being VRD playable. Um, but this card's close. It, it's on It's on the fringe. Yeah. If it was red, black, one, I think that's yeah, a VRD playable. it would definitely yeah. be playable. Maddening Hex, yeah. Yeah, and that, that, those are the cards like that that like just people don't see and think about that I think can, can just really shine. Like last time, like the third best card in my deck was Wither Bloom Command. Yep. And Wither Bloom Command is out of the new command cycle is easily the best command in my mind uh, for this format. It's not good for other formats. Yeah. But for this format, where um, ooh, we got three mana Thalia. Okay. Yeah. Out of Eric. Okay. Grabtrigger's Cage tries to get picked, but it's already gone. So this format where yeah. Um, there's always a non land a, a, a non creature non land permanent with mana cost two or less. There's a lot of X ones, Dark Confidants, mm-hmm. Thalias, things like that. Um, this card was just bonkers. Yeah. Also, it would um, I there were many times where I milled them three and returned my strip line to play. Yeah, that's pretty. Cool. <laughs> so speaking I think, of Bob, no Bobs yet. Bob, I got Bob in the, like 40th pick last time. Yeah. I mean, I, Bob's every format Bob's played in, Bob's going down. Like, yeah. Bob's not going and, and not as good in modern. I still think Bob's really good here, and I think people are extending Bob's status in other formats yeah. to VRD, and I think that's a mistake. Yeah. Right. Um, There's a decay from me. Ooh, Ashiak Dream Render out of Kyle. That card's... I love That card's a hateful... And, and that card's something that Brandon wanted. I know Brandon. 
Yeah. That card's spicy. That's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Nice. It never felt great when you did it. Oh, man, that card was bonkers for me. It yeah. was so good. I said I get back strip mines. I killed, uh, you know, whatever little dudes they had. Yeah. I um, I pumped grief for a kill with it one time. Yeah. Like minus three. I minus remember four. that. Yeah. Uh, it was just so good. Yeah. And it just killed a lot of mana rocks, and mm-hmm. it killed a time bolt. Yeah. <laughs> Amulet has not been picked yet. Are you sure it's good? Bob has seen looks pretty good in here to me. So here's the thing, hyphenated. I actually like. Bob more than Voidwalker right now in modern. Um, because Voidwalker gets killed on site, and for whatever reason, people let Bob stick around, yeah, Bob which seems like a Bob's huge mistake that nobody should memory. ever do. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like people have forgotten how good an unanswered Bob is. Yes. So I've, I've literally, there have been games where I've had it stick around for a turn or two, and someone's like, oh, I guess I'll kill your Bob. I'm like, how long did you have that removal for after the end? I'm like, oh, I had it for a couple of turns. I was waiting for your Voidwalker. I'm like, Whatever, man. I'm gonna. I'll take Bob all day over that. Yeah, the blue, blue wire Delver that his cards have gotten so pushed they barely run Delver anymore, which is just mind boggling right. to me. There's the Vault Key. So mm-hmm. finally, we have yeah. something for it. So polish out of Eric. You want to hear something spicy? Kevin said, "Order your last pick." You know what he's taking? Blue Bottle Rats, so he can have. <laughs> The conversion sideboard. So we changed up the rules this time, folks. <laughs> where you drop one relentless rat or a card that says you can have any it's number. An, any you number. can have any number. Yeah. So Kevin's gonna go transformative sideboard relentless rats. Oh god, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, nobody's picked rats yet. Yeah. Trinket Mage is solid there, although he doesn't have the top. He does have he, he, he amulet w- though. Yeah, he wanted it for amulet again. Yeah. He, so he decided he can do the strategy that he's mentioned without. He wanted the Urzes, yeah, yeah. but he's decided he can do it without. Obviously, you know, um, now Eric's early pick of Crucible, which didn't even go last time, looks better. Yeah. Right. Uh, is Rats better than Persistent Partitioners? Persistent Partitioners is the one we're most scared of. When we changed the rules, it was the one yeah. we discussed of. So we discussed which of these are actually scary. Um, and, yes, yeah, Seven Dwarves actually gives you Seven Dwarves. Yes. I, I think the thing... Partitioners was the one we said that was actually potentially... But we came down on the side of, well, it's easy to hate out. Yeah. And then, you know, someone just draft a... It's one surgical extraction. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's why you drive it last. Yeah. Ornithopter and Memnite. I love... Fiery Confluence? Nice. Yeah, I love I, Fiery Confluence. This is a world where we're seeing Fiery going, Mystic has not. Yeah. Like, Mystic mystical, mystical yeah. Confluence goes, right? Fire Blast. There we go. Now, okay. now we're on the red train. So if I'm Jago, this is actually around where I was going to pick Chill. It was between 20 and 30 if I was right. on Mono Red. Price probably, just because, I mean, there's... So price is weird. I mean, a lot of people... There's not as many non-basics as you think sometimes. That's why Wasteland hasn't gone, right? Like, Wasteland's yeah. a lot worse than Strip Mine because there's not as many non-basics. Um Dark Car Wastes, all right. Yeah. Well, and, and now for Eric, actually, Adar Car Wastes is important, right? So, yeah. why would you, Eric, want pain lands over the the darker or darker? Uh, because he can get colorless for free. Exactly. So Eric wants pain over shocks. Yep. Because they also tap for colorless for his eventual, most likely um, reality smasher and what a thought not seer. I always forget about the bounty. Uh, Displacer. Displacer, right. Yeah. Eldrazi Displacer. Uh, EI, finally. Explosive Iteration. Xanted Swarm out of Nemo. Okay. Ooh. Some more protection. Yeah, no. The Nemo's driving a solid. Nemo's got a lot of good sideboard cards. He does. I mean, that's good. They do. Right? So. They, yeah, that's, that's, that's important, right? They, they do. Uh, I like the Iteration. Expo- ex- Explosive Iteration, I think, is one of the best cards that's been printed in the last year. That card's yeah. insane. Explosive or Expressive? Expressive, you're right. This is one that uh, obviously shaking up modern in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you play it before your land drop, and if you hit a land off of it, you can, at the minimum, get your land drop. So we got some Welding Jar. Some... I like Welding Jar a lot because, crucially, Creeping Corrosion does not have the cannot be regenerated clause. Right. Um, it's interesting that 
you know, I'm so used to. So here's the thing, and Kyle's dad, does he regret at this point not going Lotus over Recall, or is the Recall still better? I think Recall's still better. Just to you get digging yeah. into all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, another break after this round. Which is a lot of fun. All right. Um, Kyle has no respect for Candelabra. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to call somebody on this break, or we want to have Mark come in and take a little sub and you can take a walk? Yeah, let's take Let's get Mark in here. Yeah, let's have Mark come in. Mark, you come in and, and talk for talk through your thoughts for a bit while we take a walk off after this one. So Aether Spellbomb, which, interestingly enough, was mentioned in chat uh, for Pyrite Spellbomb. And Kyle said, no, I'll probably take Aether Spellbomb because it's artifact removal. So that's an answer. Which so is when we do have folks in, please don't mention cards in chat when there's someone's in here. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, just as a general, as a general thing, uh, you know, when, when we do have a, a draft in, please don't recommend cards in chat yeah. and the like. We'll try not to. My bad. Um, it happens occasionally. I mean, we're, we're all bad about it sometimes. It's yeah. all going to happen someday. We're yeah. like, oh, why did that? Why did that draft card? Yeah. So, Nemo's still without the target. Is he on the Nemo? I feel like they're, they're gotta, they've got to be going Archon. Yeah. Right? Archon will be one of the big ones. And yeah. you, you want a couple. I mean, I think the new dragon is also pretty good. Uh, the one we looked up, the haste. Oh, the red white. Yeah, red white. I mean, but yeah, I mean, do you want? I guess you need colors. You got lotus. You got lotus. So yeah. I mean, ones you can't play. I mean, Iona's always a possibility just to lock people out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks, Ted. That's good to know, Nate. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, and, and interestingly, I think Iona's actually kind of bad here. Yeah, I don't think Iona's. In, in this draft. Right. I, I don't think Iona's great today. Yeah. Um, just because we have a color, we have two mud players for one. Right. Uh, we have most everyone else is in multicolored. I mean, I guess he could go shared fate leveler. Leveler or uh, what else? Looks like? What about uh, the one that was in Pioneer? Love, uh, oh, inverter. Inverter. Yeah, he could go inverter, which you know, paradigm shift four mana Jace was the best. What was that? Oathbreaker. Oathbreaker. Yeah, Blyden of course had yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Biden's best of deck was a uh, Renin Six crop rotation. Oh yeah, that deck was insane. But but Biden would only play in one on one because it lost in any multiplayer. But yeah. Biden was like, I broke the format. No, you broke it one on one. It's a multiplayer format. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Who cares if you broke it one on one? That's love you, Biden. No Renin Six today. I mean, it's like, yeah, I, mean, no, I don't think no, no, I don't think it was Mason maybe actually. Yeah, Mason may go for it. Um, I mean, look at Mason's that now Renin Six actually makes sense, and and Mason's got the colors. Yeah. But no one else is grabbing it, so there's no need to, to rush. I just it. I just love running six because I I'm a four C loan player, so being able to get Barbarian Ring back and mm. to you every turn with Barbarian Ring, so you can slowly I, I can mean, slowly watch the hope yeah, I like drain that. from your face. It just feels so good. I like running six, just killing Thalia, killing Bob, killing yeah, you know, yeah, killing Ragavan. Yeah, I I really do like her to Kathar from Eric here. That is really really good. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Nick. The ulti seems really hard with uh, all the wheels he's got. Yeah. Reverent Silence. That's an interesting pick out of me. I don't know, man. Making me search stuff up. I had to search up... ENT. ENT. I had to search up Commune. I kind of remember what that one did. Brazen Borrower out of Cody. You control forests and you may have you Okay, okay. Just, I mean, there's not a lot of enchantments, yeah. but just in case. Yeah. And a brush land out of Eric. So, yeah, Eric's Eric's on the pain lane train, which yeah. I think is great. Borrower's a really good pick there for Cody. Yeah. I like Borrower a lot. It's just so purposeful. So yeah. Good. It does everything you want out of right. a three-mana blue So we've card. got no true name there. Yeah, no true name. Which is fine. True name's kind of been going down in value. Yeah. An incredibly good threat, but there's so much good removal for it now yeah. that there just wasn't before. Yeah, I think Ren. I do agree, Nick. Nick, I think Ren's been a little overvalued in this format so far. Um, if you're yeah. on a little earlier, I mean, obviously with the strip mine, it, it's where it gets really bonkers. Yeah, like, for if sure. Eric was in a slightly different deck, it, it, it would be it, really it would be good. Right there, there. Ooh, but, uh, five mana miss out of Brandon. I like. There's a win con. So that's. 
big big newest Nissa, right? Yeah, not newest or uh, close shakes newest the world. Yeah. yeah, Nissa who runs the girl who runs the world, Nissa. So Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. That's a good one. Come right. I mean, that's yeah. And ramp. Yeah, and ramp. I also I have to wonder if Brandon's going to go for like colonnade or something. Because it's it's in his colors. Right. It's a really good win con in those colors. Yeah, uh, it's a little slow, but he has the kind of deck. And this, based on the draft, <laughs> is the kind of format where like uh, he won Carter. Town. Yeah, <laughs> I have uh, one one of my buddy judges, uh, a guy by the name of Josh Boltzy. He has a whole Mad Max uh, deck where they completely cha- <laughs> it's red, white, black, and they yeah. all the altars are Mad Max. Altars. That's amazing. So it's, it's it's pretty awesome. Mutagenic growth. Out of Jago, I like that a lot. There, so he's mm-hmm. he's on the Phyrexian train. It seems like, yeah. If he doesn't draft Gut Shot, he's a coward. Right. Well, I mean, Phyrexian, yeah, Mutagenic is good. Get a little extra to punch through. You know. Uh, Razor Tide Bridge. It's, uh, it's a land. It's a new artifact land, yep. right? That's the white. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, that's going to be our break pack. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the blue white one. That's. By force there. is huge here. Right. Are we going back and then break? Yeah, I when I say deck, I think I do mean Brandon's series of audibles. Yes. We did get Noble though, which I was I was uh happy with since he's in Vamp. Yeah. So we have we have we have some dudes now. We have Hubop, yeah. we have a Noble, we've got some ramp, we've got spell peers, misstep. Walkers can't get there. I, the thing is, look at the removal that's been taken so far. The only things that really kill are Decay trophy. and Trophy. Yeah. And Decay doesn't hit half burn. his walkers. Right, and burn. burn, obviously, yeah. Which, no unholy heat. Right. Yeah, it's still good combo. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah I like uh, By Force better than Shadow. Yeah, and this seems fun. Yeah, yeah, my Anissa seems really good. Yeah. The By Force Shattering Spree, yeah. Uh, I, that's no, that's a debate. Good. I like by force more in EDH. There it is. There it is. The Valakut. There you go, Nick. <laughs> good, good loyal, good fealty there from Eric. Just yeah. stick with the plan. Yep. And a shatterstorm out of Cody. <laughs> Worst. I I'm glad. Glad. I'm sure See, you're doing something the, in the warehouse. This is the artifact deck pain. Like, yeah. It's like the, you watch this round. Yeah. And, and you're just... Did, did you... Did you see what he just picked? I did. So it got picked last yes. time, but it didn't work, but that was the wrong deck for it. Yeah, this, this is deck, the deck. This is the deck for that. So does he have the kill to go with it? No, he's just going to draft a ship in Hellkite and call it a day. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to do... I mean, yeah. Hellkite, you're going to do... Um, I mean, all you gotta do is grab like you grab the black land. Yeah. I mean, I was wondering if he was gonna do it. And then I am. Is that a torp orb? That is a torp orb. Nice. Torp. Torp. Sicy. All right, we're on break. Mr. Caterberg's coming in. We will see you back here in a few. Uh, when's pizza arrive? I don't know. Pizza reasonable. All right. Okay. Are we going to pizza? resume before pizza or? Okay. 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 All right, so so what's been going on? I so, heard some cards got drafted. Yeah, we, we had some cards drafted. We have Brandon's series of audibles, as Nick and Chat called it, which is great in my opinion, um, which seems to be turning out okay. This is, as Mr. Hagen put it, the pain of the artifact deck round, sure. where everyone picks artifact hate, like by force, shatterstorm, stuff like that. Love it. Um, Eric is being incredibly disciplined. Eric, yeah, I really like his list. Um, he was just talking about how he needs to make sure he gets his basics, or make sure he gets his lands that can produce uh, colorless mana. Yeah, which is why Caves of Coilos, obviously, is in there. Yeah. Brushland and Darkar Wastes. Uh, but yeah, no, I, 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 I've been really impressed at his. I'm expecting him to go in more into Eldrazi later. Yeah, uh, Thought Not Seer is the only one that really like is yeah. contested, but yeah, uh, yeah. I really, I think his list is really good. I, I could see him uh, pushing. Uh, <laughs> I, I like Nick's comment there. That's good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a his Eric's list. I think seems really solid. The one that 
I think he's been getting a lot of shade, understandably, as Brandon's. I don't think he's actually uh, pivoted very much. I don't think he has. He's been very, like, Uh this is... So he came in and he told us, you know, hey, I plan to be reactionary here. Sure. I don't have a plan. I'm just going to see what's there and take it. And he's on the Walker's plan, Mm -hmm. which, based on what everyone else has taken, as I just told Mr. Hagen, which, hey, Nat, good to see you. Uh, There's really only a couple pieces of hard removal that have been taken. I have to assume Eric's going to end up with Vindicate at some point. Obviously, yeah. but you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how. So balance is weird until you realize that he gets to keep all his walkers and everybody else sacks everything else. So you say he's gonna take a vindicate. I, I'm expecting him to stay mono white. I, I've not. I don't see any reason why he's gonna be pushing out of there. Fair. Am I wrong about that? I see. The only reason I'd expect to vindicate is because he can get things like um, Tide Hollow Scholar, Mesmeric Fiend. To go a little bit more on the tax effect and have dudes to turn sideways. Um, I also expect a reality smasher at some point. That one I'm with you totally. Yeah. I, I kind of see a, uh, a, a death and taxes style deck that has Eldrazi. This is this is like the modern... Yeah, Eldrazi uh, and taxes exactly. basically is what it looks like he's drafting. Um, so I in that world, try, trying to run three different colors where it's black and colorless or your other two colors seems difficult to me. That's fair, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nemo was was very impressed by their pick of World Gorger Dragon until they found out that it was taken last time, and and it's not really a unique play here. Yeah, uh, but but last time it was taken, it was not in that deck. True, true. Yeah, in, in an actual reanimator shell, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, bolt the burb. Uh, <laughs> Hagen's exact words were, "I am going to slap the shit out of Kevin after he picked Ginger Brute." <laughs> that was uh, he goes. That's trip. a forty six pick. That's a pick forty six. Yep. Like. Uh, in general, I think Kevin's deck is a little surprising to me. Uh, it's not bad. I, don't, I think it'll be completely yeah. fine. I think it, it seemed like it was starting off as kind of a Cheerio-style deck and then yep. audibled over into a, a just affinity a, exactly. type list. Yeah. Uh, do we think Arkbon Ravager has been taken already? Like, are the standard affinity cards he already took, He actually took Arkbound Ravager. He took Frogmite. Okay. Um, yeah, Ravager in 11. Yep. Uh, he's got the plating, obviously. He's sure. got the Ink Moth Nexus. He's got... Some traditional affinity cards in there, and then you know, obviously workshop is huge. Yes, for him. Uh, oh, but he didn't get stone he, forge. No, so if you look, oh, it got it got sniped from him. It got sniped, and then he immediately got Calder complete and batter skull on the wheel. But why? Like, I guess you already have they the were workshop? in his short list. Sure. Yeah, he he actually he showed uh, Hagen and I his list beforehand. It's like, here's my Cheerios list. Those were both on the list without stone forge. Interesting. I wonder what, what magic's going to make that happen. Yeah. Uh, like, because Academy's already gone. Uh, yeah. So a, a lot of, like, the fast mana that you think you need to get something like a Cauldron Complete, like, that's yeah. seven mana or something? Seven. I've never yeah. seen that card be cast. Uh, it seems like a tough one for him to cast. I, I like, cast it in a game of Modern and lost, because if you're at the point <laughs> where you're hard casting that, yeah. you're probably losing. Uh, Kyle's list is one that's really interesting. I, I think... I was telling everybody, I feel like the first 10 picks of this draft were some of the tightest I've seen. Yeah. Uh, with the exception of this, uh, whatever whatever happened with Stoneforge that I missed. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, like I feel like it's been very disciplined for the first yes, few rounds. Yes, very much so. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor went super late. Yeah. Uh, I, I do think Painter Servant could have been floated for a really long time, and I was disappointed by that. I agree. Similarly, the Defense Grid, I think is Defense Grid and Fluster Storm were strange picks to me, just based on how little blue there is at this table. But so... I asked Kyle about that when he was in the booth, and he said defense grid. He kind of panicked a little bit because he saw, like, all of these artifact hate pieces, like, oof and things. He's like, all right, this is going to start to go. Sure. So I'm going to get a defense grid to protect my combo. Yeah. And if my turn is defense grid and then wait for untap and go off, that's not the worst spot to be in. Mm -hmm. Or if they blow K-Grip, Force of Vigor, whatever on it, I guess I'm okay with that. I like the stone hewer giant uh, reference. That that yeah. would be an interesting way to make it happen. Let's pull that one up. That's, uh, that's I cool. like stone hero a lot. I um, don't. <laughs> that's okay. I think it's fine. I like it's, it's, it's not great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Crazy. I like it. In, I like it in EDH. That's the only format I like it in. Um, but yeah, there there are some things that he could do to kind of cheat in okay. those cards. Uh, the deck that I'm like super excited for and also incredibly nervous about is Jago's list. Uh, yeah, Jago. By the way, that that's a high school prom picture. Mark so it's not... Oh, nice. Uh, I'll pop back in a second. Yeah, go. sure. Uh, so J- Jago, why isn't he taking warmth and chill? And I will. Uh, I, I'll I know you when t- you said they were live, I was like, that that is mind boggling. How? Because 
know, as as we've said on stream, you know, warmth and chill are two cards that that red deck cannot beat. You have to have Sulfurous Vortex to prevent the life gain off cards like Warmth, uh, Core Fire Dancer, Spirit Walker, whatever. Uh, you know, any of those like anti-red mono white cards. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Yeah. By all means, yeah. Cool. We're, we're oh, this this is good. We have Brandon here. So the quiz. Yes. Uh, you came in saying you were kind of gonna be reactionary. You didn't yeah. really have a plan. You wanted to see what was there and take what was available. Yeah. How do you feel uh, about it? Uh, I feel good about it. We, uh, we have a thing to show. People. All right. So as is tradition, we have just received the Pointer Saurus, which is a massive, massive pie. That's here in St. Louis. Yep, you're good. And you're yes, on camp. You can get it delivered. Yes, you can get it delivered. It is a food challenge here, and we get it every BRD. So it's a 40-inch pizza that two people have one hour to complete. Is it yes. 40 or 28? I think it's 28. 28, I think, is the one at Tulania's, but I'm not. I don't know. Wait, four, yeah, it's it's 28. Never yeah, mind. it is 40. 20. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's outrageous. Um, so how how do you feel about it then? Uh, I feel pretty good because a lot of the stuff that ties it together is going to come in a little bit, and I already got my fixing out of the way, which I'm going to need for a three-color deck. Yeah. Uh, I think that a lot of it is just very solid, and now all I have to do is get the top end. Mm -hmm. um, so I can kind of let you in a little bit yeah. on what I plan on picking, and there's going to be, like, very light sideboard uh, options left if I... Yeah. Fill it out. I'm going to do a little bit of math when I get back in there and figure out which are my main deck playables. But uh, coming up pretty soon is Oath of Nyssa. Nice. Uh, which Yeah, I love that card for your list. That's insane. Yeah. So uh, after that, I am going to go with Land Tax. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see anybody else have that anywhere on their no, radar, no, so I wasn't no. really concerned. But... Uh, I think probably what I would say is the most underdrafted card at the entire BRD, which is Nature's Claim. Yeah, that card's insane. Yeah. I mean, that, it's, that a, it's a one really man stop your combo. Yeah. It's okay. very, very good. So uh, I'm going to go with that. And then uh, one of the like little kitschy parts of the strategy that I plan on doing is uh, going with Search for, tom Search for Tomorrow, uh, Ancestral Visions, some combination of like Lotus Bloom and Mox Tantalite. Yeah. And so we had, I talked about this like two VRDs yeah. ago, and it's essentially just pop those things off on turn one. Uh, you know, I've got the Mox, I've got the Pentad yeah. Prism, uh, and the Soul Ring. And so pop those off and then drop a balance down with an empty hand. And, yeah. Uh, a bunch of walkers out since it doesn't stack walkers. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that was. Yeah, balance is doing a lot of the heavy lifting, um, and like I'm not gonna get it as much as I want to, obviously, because that's how yeah percentages work. But uh, after last time, I just decided that I didn't want to uh, overextend myself in a bunch of different combos. I just wanted to get cards that, on their own, uh, affect the board state, keep yeah. me in the game, like have some modularity to them, and like oh, those that's that's what plays. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Turns so, out, yeah, they're it, pretty good at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the things I was, I was very highly considering doing, which I, you know, we'll let chat say, and then you can provide sure. your input, was go, uh, go with Eureka and doubling season. <laughs> and I think that that's like it might be like slightly too cute. Yeah. But, like, at the very least, like, Eureka is a very solid thing to do, especially because I already have, like, I think I might just do that. Yeah. Especially if I can Eureka at the end of their turn. Yeah. Uh, with, with Teferi. Yeah. Um, and then just drop four planes of Elven. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, so, I guess we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that is, that's kind of where I'm like, and then I'm, i got to pick up a Micah Simple Addis and then, like, Many sideboard cards yeah. that I can grab. That are artifacts to fetch out. Yeah, I was thinking about just picking up uh, my one of my old favorites, Tangle Wire. Yeah. But I love that card. We'll see. I don't really have I don't you know, I'm not running any combos. Yeah. 
really. It's, it's just value just, cards. Yeah, just value cards. So uh, maybe uh, probably Lavinia and a Gattateague in the yeah, sideboard. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, kind of like minor hate here type stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Is the chat telling me? They, every time I cast Eureka, my opponent has killed me. I have also had that experience. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when I cast Eureka, it's usually Hypergenesis that I cascade into against Tron, and I'm like, well, this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 Turns not out a, that's how that works. Super not You ideal. just lose. I, like, so I drafted Karn. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, I have to play Mana Wolf out, and I, so I wouldn't. Yeah, you have to. My... My plan with that and like why I drafted it so early is because you know Kevin is playing his yeah. eggs list and uh, he he's not competing with ninety percent of his list. Yeah, no. But for, that's one anybody. piece that he is. And so he had the opportunity while I was still putting like the fixing together and still yeah. putting like a lot of the core pieces together to pick up stuff like Graph Digger's Cage, like yeah. Pithing Needle that I was originally planning on saving to the end to just bring in with Karn. Yeah. And so uh, I'll have to kind of figure out where to go. Yeah. 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 yeah, for but sure. Figure out where to go for your Karn board. Yeah. 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 And swap me out. Yeah. 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 All right. Next pick's coming up. I'm going to take a brief break. Mr. Hagen will be here in a moment with some delicious pointer source to share with you. We'll be back. Dr. Hagen. Dr. Lawyer Hank. Dr. Lawyer Hank. Not Lawyer Lawyer. Minister. All right. The point of source tastes better today than it normally does. It's huge. It's mediocre. But today, it tastes delicious. All right. So some interesting conversations out in the field. Um, so we've got, um, you know, Brandon came in. Brandon felt really good about his draft in general. He said round seven was the round that really um, took a lot of stuff he wanted. Narset, Stoneforge, uh, stuff like that. So that one was the round. But he said nothing's really thrown him off plan. Um, you know, Eric is debating various things where he wants to go on his plan. Uh, Nemo plans on going bitter ordeal as his uh, primary out for World Gorger. So World Gorger was his master plan the whole time. And uh, he plans on going some bitter ordeal action there. And bitter ordeal is a card that's near and dear to my heart. So... Um, very interested to see how that goes. So bitter ordeal. Um, if you are unaware of this masterpiece, thing about bitter ordeal is that even if you're not fully comboing off with it, it can be a pretty good hate card. Um, after a sweeper. Where you know, like five creatures have died or gone to uh, permanent, have gone to the graveyard, you can just do it and just get like, all the win cons out, right? So, of course, with animate dead and world gorger, then it's all going to the yard and then coming back and then going to the yard and coming back. So, his plan hopefully is just too bitter ordeal. He was also, um, yeah, uh, he was also trying to figure out. He was asking advice from people, and and I did not give any, but other people did. About what? Okay, we're getting ready to go. About what flips uh, his whole graveyard in to go with his tosses. So he was trying to figure out <laughs> various uh, pieces about how to flip in, and uh, he got some advice for that. Uh, but yeah, so his plan with the word gorger is a bit of ordeal. And our first pick coming back is Kyle with War. War of Invention. Yeah. So Kyle heavy on the artifacts, um, and uh, gonna be able to be able to tutor those up here. So. All right, let's do this quick shift. Mark bobbing back out. Jason bobbing back in. You got to do the shuffle, folks. Yep. The truffle shuffle. Yeah. I love Bitter Ordeal. Yeah, so that is Kyle's, uh, that is uh, Nemo's main plan. Oh, for nice. For the World combo. Nice. And that was Nemo's, that was not an all of them. Nemo's plan coming in was World Gorger. Because Nemo uh, emailed Mark last night and said, hey, print a World Gorger. And Mark's like, yeah, it's already printed. Nice. And Nemo was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Goblin Dark Dwellers. Ooh, War was originally on Kevin's list as well. He was. So that's a nice little hate pick there. Cody getting a remand. I like that pick a lot here. Um, lets him play a little bit more of a tempo plan. Oh, if Bitter Ordeal is instant, it would be bonkers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Battlefield Forge. So yeah, we're going. Going all in on the pain lands then for Eric. Yep, there goes plan. Eric's gonna play a lot of wastes, you know. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Brandon yeah, about so the board you heard. Eric, um, Brandon told me outside that no, other than round seven, like nothing got nothing got stolen that was central as planned. Yeah. Except round seven for we wanted Nar said we wanted Stone Forge, mm -hmm. uh, and I told him that. So yeah. What is that there? Lotus Cobra, all right, all right. Yeah. Very solid. New two-drop from Midnight Hunt that's better Goblin Dark Dweller. Um, better? What is its name? Is it the Commander card? Or? Bloodthirsty Adversary. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, right, right. The the big one. Right, right, right. The Nature's adversary. Claim. There we go. Yeah, no, that's... Because um, at a minimum, it cost as much as Dark Dwellers, right? Yeah. Dark Dwellers 4 or 5? Five? 5. Oh, okay. Yeah, minimum cost yeah. as much, so. Right, Here's claim. the Helix. Okay. wonder if they'll take the new Helix, um, the two the two with flashback. Oh, yeah. I have to assume so. Yeah, I mean, new card. It's brand new. Who knows yeah, that's you know, how much are you keeping up on the may, new stuff? May not have yeah, seen it. Uh, so I like I like the Cobra pick a lot for Mason. Um, I really, now, now I really expect a red and 6 at some point. Yep. Yeah, um, if he's got Cobra, he almost has to. The claim is solid here. Uh, yeah. So yeah, now we're in, now we're in hard sideboard territory. Yeah, yeah. Now I mean, you're you're still you're still getting main. You're, this is where yeah. your your main deck stuff that you're floating, that you know you you, you know you can get. This is where you're still going to grab a couple quality main deck cards. Uh, as Brandon was saying when he was in here, this is where you were listening that. Um, you know, he's still trying to figure out what to do with the cardboard. A lot of yeah. his cardboard stuff got picked. So I assume yeah. a lattice at some point just to lock out the game. Yeah, um, has to be. I didn't mention it because I don't want to remind him, but, you know. He would mentioned it prior to you coming in. I figured. I, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know for sure. So uh, someone tried to pick Jar. Jar is already gone. So we're picking Bobble instead. Okay. I like that audible. I think Bobble, it's... a little less versatile than, you know, for yeah. his deck. It does, does Dispatch. Less, I like that a lot in his list. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so yeah, this one updated yeah. quicker than this one. So yeah, yeah, this so this is live. That's good. Yeah, I can screen. see yeah. now. I can see the thing. Yeah, so, yeah. Dispatch is a quality pick there. Still no path to exile. Path is not done yet. Mm -mm. Spree. Oh man, this is the artifact hate. This hardcore. Oh no, no, no. Life force and spree. You know, screw your vote. This is we're yeah. going all in. Well, and I mean, there's like effectively three decks that are in artifacts, yeah. right? Because you have the tinker, you have the time vault combo as well. Right. Um, and even some of the, uh, I mean, even Eric's baby artifacts, I mean, when you get into, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. Ozzy. And yeah, I agree, Bolt. I Manglehorn, think, nice. Man. I love Manglehorn so much. Manglehorn. So Manglehorn is a quality artifact hating yeah. beater, right? Um, yep. That also destroys on ETB. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and Zer no okay, effect. so Mason did get the Zerin Orb. There you go, Nick. We we got the orb finally. Yeah, it's the orb coming, and he's still got Leobald. No one's taking it. He just pulled Leobald card. Um, Apparition. That's oh. one of Eric's favorite cards because it has his favorite keyword ability. Screw you. Looks <laughs> like it has flying. Uh, <laughs> yes. So Apparition, of course, has been a force in a lot of formats. This yeah. card is like super potent. Uh, uh, it's really potent here. Uh, you know, the, the second part they kill it, they get the little token. Who cares? Uh, um, Eric still only has one piece of equipment for his, his stone forge. Mm -hmm. I would expect him to grab a piece of famine. I mean, obviously the the, the batter school cauldra wheel from Evan would kill yeah. Eric the way he wanted to kill it. So there's a bitter wheel. Yep. And dwellers to buy back bitter wheel would be nice. Yeah. Nice to come through. You know. I like drown and sorrow. So drown. He, yeah, he was looking for. He he couldn't think of what it was. Speaking of drown, sorry, drown the wash should probably go. He was looking yeah. for a, 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 a one of the minus two minus two that got rid of graveyard. So yeah, I, th I think someone told him it was five mana. So yeah, he, it he, is. He balled yep. out of that, but he wanted one. He he thought there was a three mana one that exiled the graveyard. Yeah. Know, so, and I'm Nemo. I probably just grabbed Chronic Taunt at some point. Yeah, just I think you have extra. to. A N H A. 
Soprano Marsh. Yeah, that Soprano one. Marsh and there's Battle Club Blues Light. It's, it's another yeah. good one to go with mm-hmm. uh, Gore Corsa. So, yeah, Spellbinder, I I mean, so don't forget, we had COVID slow everything down and White is the least pick, but Spellbinder is definitely, I think, one of the one of the white cards. Tribute that. Mage. I like that here a lot. Yeah, it's... Uh, so Tribute is the two-drop Mage, right? Yeah. yeah. So you've got, of course, Trinket, Tribute, and Trophy. Uh, tri- this may be the first tribute appearance. I think it um, is. Yeah, the three mana one winder winder is uh, tro- trophy mage. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the exile one. It's in modern sideboards no, a lot for judge. Oh wow, four. it has been picked four times. Four okay. Times. okay. Interesting. Yeah, tri- tribute's good. I mean, there's a lot of good two yeah. drops. So you know, particularly for combo. Um, Especially for your artifact based list, it seems which he's obviously in. You can get a piece or an enabler, which makes yeah. it incredibly versatile there. Yeah. I still wonder, he's got the Urzas, is he going to pick up Thought Persuade on the main deck here? I think he has to. I, I didn't mention it, obviously, but it seems like one of those backup combos that's just really good. Ooh, yeah. Psych Rift is really good there. Yeah, that is a solid, solid pick. And followed by a Master Worm. Yeah. That's a good reanimate target, especially. Very good. Right. So at this point, Lizzie, he's going I think you do. I, mean, I think you need another piece. But yeah, I think you do. So I don't know that I... I mean, what if the Drown and Sorrow is the answer? I mean, is there enough little dudes that minus two, minus two matters? Gets rid of Scoos. Gets rid well, of maybe maybe Containment of Freeze. Yeah. I mean, is um, there... I think it's just a... Toxic Deluge went, right? Yeah, Deluge went. Okay. Cody got Deluge. Okay, so he's got both. I think I just like a damnation better than yeah. Drown and Sorrow. Though. I, I mean, agree. I think damnations. So there's the big. There's the big. Uh, there's the real. Yeah. Right. So we knew it was coming eventually. Right. Let's see. Counter it unless they discard a card. That's so good. Yeah. So good. He is. Will that be the end? Will that be the first? Will that? No, it won't be the first. I know it's been drafted. Yeah, it's big Kyle game. drafted it. Before, I, yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Do we otherwise? I mean, I don't know. Sixteen. Okay, yeah. Round twenty-six. So right around here. There's the ley line of the void that we were looking okay. for. Yeah. I don't think he grabs Helm. At least no, he does. Yeah. He's got the Karn. Because you can main deck Leyline if you want, or not, but you you, you grab it because you have Karn. He does yeah. grab Helm, I won't. Yeah. See, I had Duffy Voidwalker, and I kept Helm and Leyline in my bump board. So you could... Because I, I could bring it in main deck for the Duffy. Yeah. And then when I wanted extra graveyard hate, I brought in Leyline for Helm. Yeah. So. If we don't get a chill or by anyone, I I mean am gonna right, maybe the, oh skewer the critics. Maybe they're just not that afraid of the red deck. I yeah, yeah it could be that they're not. Yeah. Well, so Eric said he's gonna pick um, Dragon's Claw. Okay. Yeah. Or um or Firewalker. Yeah, Firewalker. Yeah. I like Firewalker a lot. He wants to pick Dragon Claw first over over Heaven Hill. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Um, is it Mycos Imperium? It's Gollum. I love that card. That's affinity for artifacts. Yeah. Artifacts you control have affinity for artifacts. Sign me up. What was it? 12? 11? 11. Yeah, that, that card's dumb. That card's oh, so What a bad dude. card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's a 4 5. It's a vanilla 4 it's, 5. It's something. Stone Coil Super Not that, 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 that card is that, that, that card is saucy. real good. Because um, all of the hard removal, like you've got Swords and Prismatic. Yeah, her post went by Brandon earlier. Yep. He got it right at right the right time. It was the yep. first of the major, other than Collector Oof and uh, yeah, Force of Bigger. Force of Bigger. Of the... uh, there's been no rebuild. Ooh, Lava Spike, Helm of Obedience. So, yeah, we just got Leyline yeah. Helm off yeah. the off the flip. And that's good, because he can choose to main deck that, or yeah. he can just choose to main deck half of his graveyard hate mm-hmm. and say Leyline's got value and bring in this amount of Karn. Or it, it's, it's a good flex spot. I mm-hmm. think that's solid. You know, I think it's interesting you mentioned them not being afraid of the red deck because 
you know, like we said, nobody's really drafted the red deck before, so yeah. maybe they're just not like concerned about it because of that. <laughs> Stormcrow has been picked. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's basically Kevin's goal. I do like the server pick, though. It, it, that card is really good. It's got it's got protection from multicolor, so it's really hard to kill by the trophies and stuff yeah. like that. And it's got a smorgers board of uh, keywords. It's one of those questing these keyword soup cards. You know, it's like reach, trample, yeah. like date your mom. Like, there's yeah, like, <laughs> right, everything. It's got that weird date your mom keyword yeah. on it. Yeah. Like, you know, he, he threatened to become my stepdad once. <laughs> I was like, you're not my You're going to have to get me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wanted me to go get, get your dad a beer. He wanted to go get me some shitty PBR, some yeah. shitty natty bow. And I was just like, no, this is a PBR house, dad. <laughs> no, basking Root Walla has been picked three times. That is shocking. Lowstone Gala. Thanks, right. Joe. Appreciate the follow. Also, Pravda, sorry I missed that. Appreciate you. Absolutely. I think I missed the all-day winning earlier. We did. Oh, I, yeah, I got, I got winning. Okay. He's, he's yeah. fine. Yeah. So, Lodestone Golem. Yeah, Lodestone's which... good here. Yeah. Oh, and there's the Triumph for Mason. All right, so we called that one. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. That's good. We ever talk about that. And we might see a run on the Triumphs here. Cody's in enough colors that Triumphs would yeah. be really good. Um, Lotus Bloom? Is that what that is? Yeah. Is that the, the storm? storm? Oh, okay. That's the suspend one. Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I agree, Nick. I think Firebolt is a better pick than Lava Spike here. Yeah. I like yeah, Firebolt there's, there's a lot there. Gemstone Mine. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Hey, Mark, can you get him to fix the Conocrypt typo? I don't know what's making him do it. I think that's right. No, there's an extra. He's yes. Out. Bone Crush is live still. Oh yeah, and Bone Crush should be. In yeah. Deck. City and Confluence have not been taken yet, so those are also still live, which is wild to me that we're in what round thirty four, and we still haven't seen those two taken. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of multicolor. We have a mud player. We have two mud players, really. I mean, Gemstone's one that. I get, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I don't, you pick, yeah, I don't think, City or Conflict over Gemstone, I think the life, yeah. I was thinking, was this the one, Caverns, where he tries to get it, oh, in hand, yeah, right? yeah, like, no, so we got the blue, yep. the blue, Mental Blast, the little, you know, yeah, I agree, hyphenated, those are better, Mason but, had Natural Order last time, I, I would not be surprised, Mason grabs Natural Order, um, he still had to leave a little out there, which he, he said he planned on taking. It may actually be a concession to the red deck that he picked Gemstone Mine over there. Yeah, maybe. Because three turns is really all he's probably going to need it for, because he's not going to play it turn one or two. Yeah, but, tra Tracker and or the new Tireless Provisioner would both be pretty yeah. good um, in, in this deck. Like, Tracker, Fast Bond, Zern Orb. With, yeah. Uh, graveyard, coming out of the Graveyard is yeah. just oh, insane. Calm. Yeah. There's just so much advantage there, and it's kind of a shame that he didn't get anything like you know, any of the soul lands right. that he could really just abuse it with. I'm kind of interested to see if Eric picks up, like, Scorched Ruins or something. Uh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Even Eric's not better. No, <laughs> Shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tough. Yeah, I mean, actually, yeah. you know, Chemez is right, right? It's so tough to keep everything in mind when you're out there. Oh, um, yeah. And, you know, yeah, people, picks are bouncing, your plan's going. Uh, Witch Bane Orb, very solid protection there. Um, like, that stops the brain freeze, for example. Yep. Um, I don't think it's got curses that they got to worry about. No. But it's solid. Uh, Witch Bane Orb is another good one that Brandon might, that might have picked up with the Karn board. Yep. Um, so there goes the Confluence. Just boom. He's Shortly after the confluence gets grabbed by Nemo. There we go, yep. Because Nemo was actually sitting in on a conversation that Dan and I had about the red deck. Uh -huh. And how we thought that our meta was kind of vulnerable to it. So, right. so I I don't like Cody's pick here. I think he's like I think he's doing that thing where you try to jam two things in. Yeah. Oh, the he's intuition got the and the fragmentation. He's got the tinker list, and he's got the 
this. <clears throat> yeah. And maybe if he goes transitional on it, maybe. But I, I don't. He had such a beautiful start. He did. And I just don't know if I like it. Yeah. Like that much, so. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see Voidwalker picked this time, honestly. Yeah, I, I'm thinking Voidwalker and Grease may just get yeah. overlooked and Solitude. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, I think they may just get overlooked. I think they just get overlooked. And there's so many new cards, right? That's that's you know a key, yeah. Um, to do, and so we got some fragment ties here coming out out of Eric. Um, Love that card. Yeah. Even if it is unfortunately a sorcery, I don't think it hurts it too much either. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, so there's really only been two drafts since uh, in the registry since Void Walker came out. I picked it probably too early in the fourth round, mm -hmm. uh, and then someone else picked it. I think it was I on the eighth or tenth round. It was the best card in my deck, and the person who took it in the online draft um, ever said that he didn't like it. So. Yeah. I think I think in this draft though, Void Walker is insane. Yeah, in this like, one, it's real good. So we've got the World Gorger reanimate. We've got um, some some graveyard stuff over here out of Kyle a little yeah. bit. That, you know, we Emery up. Academy um, we've got ruins. Emery ruins. We got Lands graveyard yeah. coming from Mason. We've got yep. Lands graveyard coming from Eric. Yep. In this draft, I think Void Walker is it's an insane. absolute horse. Yeah, and um, it should definitely. Are players allowed to consult outside material during the draft? You have notes. You can bring in notes. Um, yep. we, we tell them to keep offline. Um, yeah. We don't want them to... Uh, someone was looking at... We don't want them talking to online. Like, someone was yeah. looking at... A, had a... Like, pulled up a burn, top eight burn list. That's all yeah. from Jackal. That, that's fine. Like, you can pull up those. Yeah. But we don't want you talking to chatting with people. Uh, yeah. We, you know, we, they definitely aren't allowed to tune in to hear. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, Nick, they, they can look up Scryfall. A lot of them come in with lists yeah. that they've drummed up of these are the things that I do um and and they're all sitting around the table so there people are peeking over at each other's stuff and yeah. you know policing each other and, and mark's in there and uh so xk there are 46 picks there are eight rounds so it's a round robin tournament yeah so everyone plays everybody else uh and these are 40 card decks yes yes i pay i pull up your spreadsheets all the time yeah i i when i draft i keep my spreadsheets complete i keep the spreadsheets completely Wishing well would. <laughs> wishing well wouldn't be a bad pick. Yeah, no, wishing well would not be a bad pick. Bane of Progress out of Mason. I like that a That's lot. That's a sexy pick. I think the last time Bane was picked was in Bree Yard's yep. deck, and that was not a great deck. Bree no. was kind of trolling, you could say. But, yeah. uh, like, especially that Mason has. Um, Round 34. Especially that Mason has. Um, Green uh, Pact. Yeah. Summer's Pact. Summer's Pact, right. There's a Vexing Devil and a Mycosynth Lattice finally out of Brandon. All right, Vexing Devil. Ooh. Yes. So, I've only found that Vexing Devil looks success once ever, and that was in, like, a cube reanimator list. Yeah. Where I went, like, turn one Vexing Devil, they paid the life, and then I reanimated it, and they paid the life, and then I animated dead it, and they paid the life, and then they died. <laughs> but, uh... You always pay the life. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, you always pay life, but they had to pay too much because yeah. I just kept it was in a reanimated list. So I don't know that I like Vexing Devil here, but it's not bad. I mean, it's good for four life. You're, you're yeah. really dropping them, right? Sojourner's companion. So is here that was the, the one? yeah, that's the one yeah. that was banned. So Sojourner's is banned in Popper now, right? Um, it is the little blue, blue, little baby frog. Hey, he's so cool. Look at that. He's a little, yep. he he is. little cute little salivator. Right. But it also has Archive Land Cycle now. Yeah, so. which is important. So faceless looting, uh, that's good. That's that's a good job. Yes. Right, yeah. Brandon took the most fun card in Magic. <sighs> Brandon, that's such a nice card. I love that card. What's Lefty doing with it? I mean, he's not tapping it with Urza, obviously. Yeah, so. what's he doing with it? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I hate picking well, it up. It, I think taking it from Kyle is important. He, he also has a very good way to break symmetry in his Planeswalker. Right, can, right, yeah. You know. Rise and shine? What? Yeah, Kyle's just like, hitting it away early. Now, Rise yeah. and shine's a sexy, that's a sexy pick. Let's, we're jumping ahead. Screw you all. I don't yeah. care about the rest of you people. <laughs> like, we're going to jump ahead and look at what Kyle's doing. So Rise and Shine is <laughs> make a 4-4 artifact creature from your new artifacts. Or making or all of them. And make an army of 4-4 artifact <laughs> creatures, right? Like, Rise and Shine is a smexy, smexy pick when that hits. 
unless he's playing with our head. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if I've ever seen a Terry Stamp. What the hell is that about there? I don't know. What set is a Terry Stamp? I'm going to guess Kaladesh because it makes stoppers. Nope, MH2. Okay. okay. Not bad, though. There's the endurance finally out of Mason. All right, yeah. And Mason got the endurance from me earlier. There's, There's the displacer. So Mason grabbed the endurance from me earlier. Mason's very much in on those, right? Like, yeah. He wanted the grief I had. Yeah. And he grabbed the endurance before I could grab it. Last yeah. Draft. Yeah. Uh, and then twin flame. There's the twin flame. You, got, yep. you mentioned the the combo yeah. earlier. There's the, the double caster, caster twin, twin flame. flame. All right. Explain that. Explain how that works. So if you want to pull up twin flame real mm-hmm. quick. Budweiser, King of Beers, St. Louis Bud. We are St. Louis VRD, and my name is Stephen Hagen. I am Jason Thurston. And we are your main announcing crew today. And Jason is going to explain to us how Twin Flame and Dual Caster Mage work together. Yes, so basically... Ah, there's the Dalti Board Walk. Um, Nemo wow, finally. Wow, that is so great. Nemo is really drafting after my heart. And yeah. that's really good for Nemo because Nemo don't want to play against that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Twin Flame. Right, Rise and Shine, we did get it, and we got Buried Rune, which is important. Okay. Uh, so the thing that's great about Twin Flame and Dual Caster Mage is you can basically create infinite Dual Casters, dual casters oh, okay. off of it. Right. Because you copy Twin Flame over and over and over. Right, right, right. Copy right. Dual Caster over and over. Oh, over. and there's the Archive of Cruelty. Uh, Nemo yeah, there with back-to-back smacks there, right? Yeah. So we've already hit. So we've been discussing Void Walker all day, right? But we haven't pulled it up here. Um, so Void Walker is just this ridiculous card that has more weight should. Yeah. So not only is it a 3-2 Shadow Beater, um, not only is it a Leyline of the Void on a body, but you can stack all those cards, no matter when they're, so when you reanimate him and he comes back, yep. right, it doesn't matter, no matter when they're sacrificed, you can sacrifice it and cast. Now, it doesn't get around casting time restraints mm-hmm. because um, it's still, so sorcery still sorcery, creature still creature, but like Commander the other night against Mark, I got his uh, Pact of Negation under mm. <laughs> under that, mm. and I was able to okay, I have a counter spell that I'm just going to sit here the whole time waiting for you. Okay, now I'll do it, and then mm. I cast Sun Titan and got it back. Yep. Right. <laughs> I just got uh, Cascade Bluffs, Small Land, Celestial Purge, very very good sideboard hate mm-hmm. card. Uh, probably so. Purge was in one of the best cycles of all time back in M10 when it came out. Oh yeah, I think it was the original with M10. Um, combust. It was five colors. Oh, conflux. But, it was a conflux. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the original was conflux. It was a it was a full cycle, and it was the civic growth chamber. Have we seen? Uh, well, maybe since was what he's going for. He's got amulet. We haven't seen one of those. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think we've seen one ever. Right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, um, the the lands are not drafted very often at all. What was criminal bolt? Oh, I was talking about the oh. twin flame. I think. Yeah. I mean that card's so good. Oh, so sorry, uh, eat. We are or sorry, cat. We're scrolled down. Uh, what you're seeing at the top now is round twenty three. So we do actually have. And Mark, if you can drop the draft link, there we go. And Brandon said he was going to take one of his favorites, Tangle Wire, for his okay. current board. Yeah. So that makes sense. Um, and with um, orb, right? Yeah. Yeah, with orb, it's. I just want so, someone to pick smoke stuff. Light up the stage. All right. Okay. So we're so do any of the white, blue, maybe even Jago, right? So what Jago's got, oh, interesting enough, Jago's got enough white, blue, and if he's planning on going it, he goes with Viridian. Yeah. Does he, he go with Faithful Mending to fill that yard a little more? I could well. be, yeah. Okay. I, he doesn't seem overly in tune with the last set of his draft here, but there's not a lot of cards that are yeah. all the glitters. All the glitters is a powerful card there. Right, all the glitters on that early ginger booty grab. Yep. Yeah, both I I think hate picking stuff like chill warmth, core fire walker. Yes, like makes way more sense. Trying to bring in rage I like a lot. Karn liberated, so we are we are all Ooh. aboard the Karn choo choo. Choo choo. Yeah, that that <laughs> train is <laughs> taking off. <laughs> I don't like that move, but no. uh, <laughs> seven man, I get out of here. Yeah. He's got, ramp. he's got ramp. It, it's yeah. fine. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, he's got soul ring. He's got birds. Yeah. He's got soul ring. Yeah. Noble. Noble. 
Nissa. Nissa, yeah, he does have Nissa with Yavamaya, which yeah, is yeah, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you take very like my plan on burn is you draft a lot of hate picks that other people are gonna take and screw up other people's draft. Yeah. <laughs> and then yep. you take the rest of your stuff. Yeah, that's that's what I you know I, I still know where I'll live again. Yeah, I'm still no cry. Right. God, I'm, I'm cry. so sorry. Ooh, Thorn out of there. So yeah, we're super we're shops minus the shop. Yeah. And I think he wanted the shop. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. <laughs> nah, I, I don't. He's not actually. He doesn't have enough all the cards. Yeah. So. so Thorn is a class. So Thorn was one of my when I got back. I told you I took a long break and I get back in. And that's where I really started actually getting into Magic. Right. Yeah. And I was playing a lot of Commander and a lot of Standard. I was running Dor- a Dorn Gaddick Teak Thorn deck. Yeah. And I was I- going to order some Thorns, and I was like, "Well, I might as well just grab foils. They're only twenty five cents, and the foils were twenty five bucks." Yeah, and that was my first discovery of how vintage affects prices. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> twenty five cent cards, twenty five dollar cards. Yep. When they're foil. Yep. <laughs> Agonizing remorse. Yeah, I... nettle cyst would be a beautiful card for Kevin, and yeah. uh, you should totally grab that. Agonizing remorse is a sexy pick, though. It is. No vindicate though. No vindicate. Yeah, that's what you know. That's true. You can still go, but uh, yeah. I don't know if they have the right color. Color double up for that. Yeah. Maybe Eric. Yeah, Eric was the one I could see. Um, Twilight Mire. Yeah. 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 Mire. Again, Nemo, they have been so disciplined on their mana base yeah, yeah. on, like, drafting a consistent strategy. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, there's no him no him to Turok yet. Yeah, I don't think anyone's heavy enough in the black to, to want the, the, get the double black early when you want it. I don't think I ever don't want to see him. Yeah, I don't know. I know. I mean, that's... That card's so good. Forty-six of fifty-three times. Exactly. Round fourteen going on ten. Yeah. It's wild to me. I mean, we've got a Void Walker. Yeah, and maybe although I guess Nemo. reanimation targets right. same with Archon makes sense, sure. But he's got the Mire now. See, actually, Nemo's deck's a deck. I I am one. This is terrible. Uh, I'm a person that values yeah. the Lantern. <laughs> yes. I'm a person oh. that values the filter lands really high in this format. I agree. Particularly yeah. the three color decks. Yeah. And I have Nemo's Twilight Mire picks there good, and Nemo should probably grab another filter line. Yeah. Um, to help out. Yeah. Because you know, they're, so I think the filter lines are enchanted in gold. Yep. Geek Stone. Ooh. Saucy. Ooh. That's interesting. So we got another Eldrazi coming from Eric. It's the when it dies, yeah. reveal top card. Yep. Okay, yeah, three or less. Yeah. Otherwise, you draw. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. I think it's fine. It's three two. Good to go. So we're gonna see between this and the red. We're gonna see a little more aggro than we normally see. We are, yeah. yeah. This is gonna be really interesting. I I think it's unfortunate that the. And actually, it's kind of surprising Eric hasn't taken the field yet. He, oh, he, he's got. He's only got one attack for three four. I know. He's got to be at least one more. Yeah. He's got to at least get one more, right? And, and Jit, the fact Jit that Jit's be, there is Jit would be so crazy. good. So. I was thinking Feast and Famine, but I think Jit's probably better. Yeah, I think in, in this meta, I think right. so. A stirring is nice. Yeah. yeah. So we had the Surgical earlier. That's a good pick, right? Surgical still pretty free to me, at least. Yeah. Uh, Ancestral Vision's out of range. you're doing it. I mean, yeah. it, I don't think it is deck. I don't think in particular. I mean, maybe I just think there's, there's not been enough card draw drafted that I think there's better card draw. Yeah, yeah that, that's definitely that doesn't, true. That, yeah. that comes down, right? I mean, I think... Reflecting Call. Okay. Well, I, we still don't have a sideboard for him. Yeah, and that's, you know, he's done... Uh, so, Jason did yeah. when they came in, so that Jago has done some of theirs, but he's never done them all. <laughs> that's oh, he's not good. Yeah, so. yeah. So okay. I mean, that's signal pest is a nice little yeah article. signal pest. I Another think carries an all that glitters really well. Yep. So signal pest protect your jam. Yazalet. Oh, Ooh. So I the love that pick. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know where I fall on that. Right. Like he's got his hanger back. He's got um, his arcbound ravager. Yeah. So if he's getting ready to get blown out, um, but the problem is the Ozolith is that it's also an artifact. So if he's getting blown out, he's probably getting blown out by yeah. things that are also going to blow up the. That's true. Right? Like, the Ozolus best value for him is negated by the fact that the Ozolus is also an artifact. 
that. That's because true. like when he's ravaging out to a to a uh, creeping corrosion. Oops, sorry, Oswald's the fox. Yeah. So I don't like that bit because it's not a bit. Skullcrack. Skullcrack. I like that bit. Yeah. Not a lot. Oath of Nissa. There we go. Solid. He yeah. digs. It, it kicks his man out for his Walker base. Yeah. Last zone. That's one that I almost expected Eric to pick. Yeah. Good. Good call. A little slow, but. Timely, I love timely. Mm, do you want timely? Or do you want the new timely? Do we have a new timely? Who timely is? Um, someone in chat help me with the new timely's name. The one that draws a card. Yeah, Jago really needs to cut it yes. if, if it starts to get drafted. Dark Wall of Catacombs. So Cody going for the mana here again. That one there. Yeah. If opponent gained four life. Okay, yep. Yeah, it draws a card. It does everything except for it also they have more cards than you would draw. Yeah. Yeah, I so he needs Vortex here really bad. Vortex should over Skullcrack. Yeah. I like Vortex over Skullcrack just because. Right. Yeah. It's persistent. Yeah, it's it's way better. And enchantment hates honestly the least played thing, right? Yeah. Like you've got you've I got, got Force of Vigor that Sulfurous Vortex isn't coming in against them. I mean, Nemo's got the most of the enchantment hate. Yeah. Oh, please tell me he drops Oath. <laughs> <laughs> oath into World Gorger. Got him. Got, got him! him. <laughs> <laughs> Hicks this. Yes! Uh, we are... Yes! All right. Do you want to yes! explain Lantern combo to yes! people that may not be aware of what this bullshit is? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like Bob Euchre over here. Like, what the hell is yeah. going on? <laughs> uh, oh, there's suddenly. So we've got our okay, third so of have, our, uh, yeah. our, our pitch guys. Still Fury. no grief. Yeah, still no grief and, and no still solitude. no solitude, which is yeah. interesting. Uh, so if you want to pull up Lantern real quick yeah. so we can. All right, so Lantern of Insight. Basically, this is the most fun combo in Magic. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, everyone plays with the top card revealed. Now, what Ghoul Callers and Pixis do. Uh, what Pixis and Ghoul Callers do is they mill the top card. So it, what you do is you basically lock them out of the game, and they're playables. So you can, all right, I see what your next card is. Is it a land? I'll let you keep it. Is it not a land? Great, then I'm going to mill it and hope to get you to a land. The whole point of the combo is, same with Winter Orb and why it's the most fun card in Magic. There is a finite amount of fun that can be had in a game of Magic, and I intend to have it all. <laughs> That's how the combo works. It's great. I love it. So in general, I like the subtly pick here. Um, I don't know. He, he has enough blue to pitch, too. He does, yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, does he have enough blue to pitch, too, is the question I have. And yeah. I think he does. Yeah, I think he does, too. Um, I don't think he does the show and tell plan. I don't about. think he does, no. Yeah. I, think I think he's I think off the show and tell plan. Yeah. yeah, I don't like the reflecting pool pick because turn one is both Jack and or a mind game, right? Like, it, it does Jack and show on turn yeah. one. Yeah. So it is a mediocre land in an early pool. Yep. Um, Enough colors. I understand why you make that pick. Yeah, for sure. But this is Nemo's. I understand why Nemo makes the pick. But this is their first draft, and mm -hmm. I think that like that is not a good. Pick. Yeah, it's it's a lack of understanding. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Sedgemore is a. <laughs> I, I like I like that Hold card. Up. No, I mean we talked yeah, about it. Earlier, yeah, we right? did. This yeah. is and I mean I think yeah. this is a really good card. I mean if you are, I agree. Um, I don't kind of figure in this deck. I mean we've got the yeah. the, the stormy and. I mean, I mean, is Cody main decking there? I think. I think it's sideboard. Yeah. I like and bring a lot. Bring it against the aggro decks where yeah. you can just build up two blockers. Okay. Yep. And bring it. I also like it against the red deck because it provides a roadblock right. for everything that also gains you blood. Yeah. And bring is costly, uh, but it's pretty cool. You've got new gene. Yeah. That's no lower right now. I, and it provides him card draw, which is crucial for that list, because when you're in top deck mode, you're bad. Right, right. You are really bad. Yeah, he's a little out of card draw. And and he cannot draft a Bob, because he has four life. Exactly. Right. Is Bob going drafted? I think Bob goes undrafted. Yeah, has Bob ever been undrafted? I <laughs> mean, you run the exact what? same. Oh, yeah. Nine 
nine times. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Sure. But still, out of that, still around ten average. Yeah. And also, yeah. But and Bob's old enough to because it was good. the thing in our BRD records is some of these are like a year old. Yeah. But Bob's been around for all of them. Yeah. I mean, Bob's. I agree. Wandering uh, Basilisk Collar would be the other thing I could see mm-hmm. getting mm-hmm. picked by Eric over Jed. Yeah. Because with Endbringer, it's just I mean it's Gene Van Gogh. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And like, sure, I'm only going to get one life each time, but I'm machine right. gunning those humans. He becomes a walrus. Yeah. Um, I think Mason's list is solid for Bob. Yeah. I, that's the only one I could see going anywhere. Yeah. I don't see it going anywhere else. No. I think Mason's list is pretty solid for Bob. Yeah. And you cite it out if you bring in like Aaron Fogros and stuff back, I guess. But. Oh, yeah. He does have a lot of such drops. You're right, Nick. Crap rot. There we go. Yeah, because he has yeah, prime well, time. Life's not important, Bane. screw. Bane's yeah, life Bane, is a resource. Bane's, Bane's, Bane's in your board anyway. Life's not important. Yeah. You hit the... You, no, it's good. <laughs> Chalice of the Void from Bane, and I like that hit. That's late. Yeah, Chalice doesn't go that often. No, it's fair. I get, there's not four ofs, right? Like, yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, so, like, yeah, you're. it's not as good because you don't have four brainstorms. You're shoving them off. Oh, no, no. Pick. Pick. Chalice, yeah, I did it this time. Eh, not just you. I mean, 36 out of 53 is still pretty high. But, oh, yeah, that's yeah. pretty. Round 20. Yeah, so I mean, still I, late. Yeah. Blood Moon by Jago is an interesting one. Oh, there's the second sunrise. <laughs> Told you, Nick. Oh, yeah, I don't like the, the Blood Moon pick. Uh, there's not enough non basics, yeah, right? There now. never is. Like, yeah. I mean, it's. If you get Rally it, the ancestors. If you get the Blood Moon <laughs> early, it's sexy, right? Like, But he doesn't have the. When when Frontier was a thing, that deck no, was know, so I much know, fun. I know, I know. I, I like Rally and Standard, but like, I love that. But look at how much cheap stuff he has. Yeah. Also, yeah. still no Stone Hewer Giant. Yeah, he has. I don't know. It's yeah. five mana. It's, it's so much. No, it's only three mana. Well, you're only paying the three mana stuff. True. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going on an adventure. Right. That's not Stone Hewer. Or not Stone Hewer. Uh, Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher. Yeah, yeah Bone, Bone Crusher. Crusher. That's yeah, a yeah. mistake. Right? Yeah. Like, that should be in Jago's deck. Yeah. For sure. So this is... <laughs> what? Swifty just goes, there's a Lantern player and a Sunrise player. I don't think I'm rooting for my friends anymore. <laughs> 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 yes, Kevin is cooking us some breakfast, and there is still a stony silence out there. And a Null Rod. Null Rod has not been uh, picked yet. Null Rod should be grabbed by Brandon, I'm just saying. First yeah. card and board. Yep. Like, if card and board has a few pieces. And honestly, like, I played twice now, I played card and boards. And um, you don't need that many. You want a few. Do you really pieces. need Null Rod with Karn, though? Because Karn does the same thing. But they still haven't ever done I guess, yeah, that's true. It, yeah. The redundancy ain't bad. Yeah. I, settle, I, never, I didn't Settle know. the wreckage. Settle sexy. I love that. I Especially, like, that like, we've got a couple of aggro decks yeah, here. Yeah, I like that pick today in particular. Yeah. Uh, what, three clear cut aggro decks? Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you get a waste off settle? It's a basic. So it is, it's can. basic, yeah. yeah. You can. Yep. Tabby. Woo! Saucy. Woo! It's the tabernacle. It's a the tabernacle. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's what we were just talking about, Wandering. I think you still take it, just yeah. to, just to because like the redundancy, they, right? Yeah, the redundancy. Right. They blow up. They blow up the car, and you still have it. You know. Eldrazi mimic. And it's interesting because I feel like Eric could have waited on a lot of these Eldrazi. Yeah, but I mean, we are really coming to the end. Yeah, here. I mean, this is the point. You know, you Eldrazi's <laughs> like a rap group. Eldrazi's yeah. mimic. There's the abrade. I was waiting for that. Iona. There we go. We got the Iona finally. Yeah. Get Oath. And I don't think he's got a main deck Iona. Get Oath. Please. Like we, I just want to Oath into World Gorger so bad. If Grief doesn't go, I might cry. Bottled Cloyster. Ooh, we're going to draw some cards. All right. So Bottled Cloyster is a blue drop. Keep, you're going to remove your hand from the game. 
you don't main deck this, but you can bring it in when you don't really care about your counter spells. Yeah. And you're just going to. Well, he doesn't have any counter spells. He does. He's got subtlety. He's got oh, yeah. Storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does. He does. When he doesn't care about the control game, yeah. you can bring in Clayster and draw some more cards. Yes, Nick. Nemo did get Archon of Cruelty and Dothy Voidwalker in 36 and 37. Yeah. They're back to back, but yeah, yeah. This is going to be where things start to get removal heavy for sure. Both. It's not that, like so. Last chapter wasn't a lot. Like I, me, and um, uh, uh, what was uh, Swifty? We had the most removal yeah. last yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there wasn't a lot. Uh, this time, there's better removal than trading the post. Time. Trading Post is one of my top ten magic cards of all time. <laughs> Trading Post saved my magic career. I was so angry at magic and wanted to quit. And I almost quit. And then they put a Trading Post. And from M, whatever, when it came out, to yeah. Phyrexia rotated out, I played a different Trading Post deck every week, every FNM. A different color combination Trading Post deck. It literally saved magic for me. Wow. So I'm all about the Trading Post. I don't know what the fuck you do with it here. But yeah. I'm all about Trading Post. <laughs> so first off, it makes goats, which is great. Yes. Second off... Natural state is another really good one. Uh, like you and I talked about, there's so many nature's claim type effects yeah. now that you don't necessarily have to pick them. Right. So uh, I like the contrast that my favorite cards in Magic are like Winter Orb, uh -huh. and yours is Trading Post. Yeah. <laughs> a, well, but one of my other top fives is Plow Wonder. So oh, yeah, I mean, um, don't, I, I love that deck and extend. I'm a dick. That deck was so good in extend. Ask Mark about Plow Wonder with uh, Cryptic Command oh, and yeah. uh, Mystic Snake yep. and, and yep. the. Uh, me turn three plow wondering him in yeah. modern. <laughs> yeah. Uh, endless one. Okay. Eh, oh, that's a curious pick here. What is it? Just a big X dude, right? Yeah, big yeah. X dude. Sure. Early early beater? Early beater, late, yeah. Late fatty fatty. Late fatty, yeah. Right. That's fine. Yeah, no, plow under is another uh, plow under and primal command. Uh, yeah. Another Act of negation for Cody, I like. Dude, Cody lot. has had there ever in the history of Verity been a deck that had all of the free counter spells that no oh, one God. else can beat no. for them. No. Yeah. Oh, no. it's so beautiful. He's even got mana drain. Like yeah. what? <laughs> this this is so wild. Like the, the lack of control thing. I mean, he he may actually like have a viable deck. It's just specifically all because all he has is control. Right. It's just all over. I don't know the storm. I just don't. So many times people go into they have something. Yeah. And then they try to force Storm mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. And it never ends well. No, you have to be the only player in the Storm. And you need the rituals. If there you can, if you can do it, it can probably be the control deck. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, if it will ever work, this might be it. But I yeah. think it just happens so often that someone, like, they, they have a strategy that looks valuable, and then they try to force Storm and try to do this combo. Like, we see the Storm reanimator all the time. Yeah. Right, where they're like, well, I'm already casting these things. I've already got these rituals. I've already got looting. I'm going to combine these two. And then yep. it ends up being Garbo. Yeah. Right? And that's what I'm worried about with Cody here. Like, I loved his early draft. Yeah. And I just don't think, I think the Storm is a mistake. I think the Storm yeah. is a trap in this deck. Spell Queller. He's a swell speller. And Brandon just forecast his pick. Good news is, I don't think Mason's taking that from Spell him. Spell Queller. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, not a chance. I love Spellcore. It's good, it's good I, it is one of the most well designed cards. Yes. It's good on the play, it's good on the draw. Yeah. Right? It's just solid all around. Yeah, it's good board cover for sure. Yeah. Uh, and main deck for sure. I think he's main decking with dorks and main deck probably with that. Right. Uh, well, Cody well, does have Brain Freeze. Nick, that's the only card he has with Storm Fang. Right. And he's, but he's got the Underworld. Yeah. Breach, you know. He's got Remand. Solid there. Um, no drown the lock for me. Yeah, no drown in the lock for me. Yeah, shatter storm. Good call. See, see, that's got storm on it. <laughs> Berjukabog, Berjukaberg, Berjukaberg. Eat storm. <laughs> yeah. Brain Arrow storm. storm. Oh, Cody did get brainstorm. Captain Lannery storm. Yeah, there we go. Um, as a red deck, the monkey maker, like the one that makes the other. Uh, yeah. Um, kill whatever. She didn't do that. Actually. No, she did not. When she attacks, you get a rag of yeah, token. Yeah, you get a rag of that. Oh, I like that pick. And breathe? Yeah, I like that too. Embreath or Embreath? I thought it was Embreath. Embreath or Embreath? 
Is it Ember S? Carrie Zev, that's the one. Ember S. Yeah. For a target artifact. That's probably fair. I like that. Yeah. And, and this is something we were discussing on the stream this last week, like these type of versatile cards that give some cool flavor change. Yeah, the, uh, the couple, modal stuff There's is a couple of the so new modals in AFR yeah. like, that uh, we were discussing might be draftable. If you, even though, like, I would never play either of these cards on their own, but when you tack them together. Together? Like, I would never play cancel, one. Yeah. but when you also tack on to a discard to throw off to discard two. Yeah, it's like, way better. Yeah. And I yeah, getting, getting the two for, especially in a format like this, is yeah. so crucial. Yeah, Jaguar's taking too much artifact hate, I think. I, I, I think Jaguar's gotten scared by all their artifact cards. Yeah. I, I think Jaguar has built to last. Built to last, all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's uh, Ranger's Guile, kind of, yeah. yeah. you know. That's, that's solid that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Carrie's that was the one we were talking about. Yeah, uh, he's got... I, I agree with that. Jago has so many main deck cards that he doesn't have anything for his sideboard now. Yeah. Is my worry. Like, Vexing well, I mean, is a sideboard. They've got a sideboard. It's just all anti-artifact sideboards. <laughs> yeah, Smash, that's fair. Range, Fire yeah. Icon, Fluence, Buy for Shattering, Spirit, Shieldbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> But you can at least run a shield breaker main because it's also an attack. Yeah. Attacker. Uh, I agree with that completely, Nick. Chandra of Koth would be insane in Jago's list. Mm-hmm. And really yeah, push yeah. him over. Four drop Chandra. Yeah. yeah. Even three drop Chandra. Yeah, would be good. I love Sealover yeah. Chandra. She's so good in this format. Sealover's here, finally. Um, uh, you yeah, Reb is still good. available. He did get Pyroblast. You would be good in a couple of these lists. Uh, a, a lane special that I think is okay, massive. I. Overlooked. The foil of that card, and this is our MTG Finance Bro moment, uh, is insane. This card here? The f- that, like, I think that card is ridiculous, and the uh, foil is criminally undervalued. Okay, so buy those now. Yeah. There's your uh, Finance Bro uh, advice. Yeah. I'm going to listen to it. I'm yeah. going to buy a bunch. <laughs> but yeah, so Elaine's drafted this, this a lot, so and good. this card has done super it's well for so in this format. Good. This card in this draft is amazing right now. Yeah. Right? Like, the ability yeah. to shut down some of these fatties yep. and to slow down. If, if Kevin can only play two cards a turn instead of seven, yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Like, Air, this would be good for Eric. Yep. This would be good for potentially Cody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kyle. Kyle. Even Brandon. Less, yeah. And Brandon. Brandon yeah. One. Because it's hybrid, too. So that's yeah. the thing. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so it, it doesn't matter. This card is going right. to be forgotten. Yeah. And it shouldn't be. Yeah. And, and like, I, the, Elaine did super well in two yep. drafts with this. Yeah. And Turf. All right. Okay. We're going in on the. There we go. Jitty jitty. Wow. Not really. Not really. And Cards and insane. I, this is good. I mean, I G. I think is. God, I'm gonna have to check this real quick. Umazawa. U M A Z A. Easy. 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 A W A. Umazawa's. Yep. Apostrophe S. I know how to lose people. <laughs> 43, round 17. That's super late. Chain of Vapor for Cody. I like that a lot there. See, no one's going for Chain of Small Combo this time. Nope. Makes sense. I, mean, it's, yeah. it, I know it went the most recent online as well and, and did pretty well. Oh, Nemo with Sidisi on that Vizier. That's a sweat sexy, actually. Yeah, I like that. Because you can, you can reanimate it real quick for another tutor. Mm-hmm. You can oath it if you have yep. to oath. Uh, we don't know, but that's a solid pick. Oh, and I there's like the that. Codex Shredder. Yes. We are all uh, in on Lane. I, you know what? Mark's going to be tagging into it now because i got to go to that concert tonight. Yeah. And because there's a Lantern player. And we're going to be here a while. We're yeah. going to be here for 92 years. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's only a 40-card format. Yeah. I hate myself less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mopal. That's Mopal. gone. No, Mopal's way gone. Yeah. Kevin Kevin picked that in, like, yeah. round three. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Yeah. Um, How does reanimate her sideboard? That's it's a good a, question. Yeah. I think that's one of the problems with the deck, honestly. Um, reanimate is also one that will kind of want sometimes like a backup, like Bitter Blossom. Yeah. Or Pack Rat. Like well, yeah. a lot of people here have done well with Pack Rat and Reanimator. Oh yeah. Because it's just your backup. Um, I think that a plan. I mean, Bitter Blossom doesn't have to go, but. Uh, 
Well, I think he can wait for the track back to get pack rat because you don't want to take it and then people right. start picking the if rats. they think of it, right? Yeah. yeah. So Sven. Sven's good removal. It is, especially in a combo deck. It's basically hard removal, right? Yeah. Oh, he didn't want suspend. There's dismember. Which member? Dismember bomb. Yeah. Suspend. All right, we're back on the suspend. Damnable pact. I approve. Yeah. So infinite mana. Right, but not grab his other. There are other piece to go with um, the other part of uh, the Oracle deck. I think. Oh no, no doomsday. No, not or not. You don't have to go doomsday. Just the one that combos in um, Tainted Pack. Oh yeah, Tainted Pack. Yeah, no Tainted Pack. Is that the one? Yep. Yeah. The one that just got reprinted. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. So maybe they grab it last. Yeah. Um, Pyroclasm out of Cody. It's a solid one. Yeah, they've already got... Consultation's another one, yeah, for sure. Right. Because Consultation's one mana. Right, they've already got... Um, Cody already has um, the black one that scries, right? I don't know if there's enough white decks to make like two of those decks work. I guess Solid Side works. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Like, Lots of Temple and Solid work fine. Yeah, so, interestingly enough, uh, it turns out, didn't need to draft the... Mono Red Hate. Yeah. Jago, Jago just got there, lucked out. Tanwar Battlements out of Mason? Are we going to see the combo? What's what's that combo? Uh, Tanwar Battlements and... Garrison? Yeah. Battlements. If you control them, they turn into Hanwar the Writhing Township, which is a 7-4. The meld thing right, right. that they did, yeah. yeah. There's the land tax well, I mean, out of Brandon. So the Barbering out of Jago. I like that card so much. Barbering out of Does he get Ren? I don't know. Good point. It lets him get his fetches back, which I guess is really good thinning. Right. Um, <laughs> the thrumming stone would have been good. Yeah. Yes! Boom! <laughs> Oh, so we, we that switched feels the, so we, good. We switched the rules up as we mentioned earlier, where <laughs> I take one relentless rat, you have them all. Yep. And uh, Kevin mentioned a transformative sideboard, and took the stone to go with it. Yes. That uh, you never know what he's gonna do. Actually, you will know because he's gonna de sideboard yeah. twenty five. Does that mean we have to print? Yes. That many rats. Yes, we have to print that many rats. Mark's printer's budget is gonna hate this. Yeah. Uh, so donate. Mark needs money. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, leaving Treasure Vault and Nettle Cyst on the table. But look, look, don't let your memes be dreams. Right. Okay, right, live right. them. And we're living the meme dream right now. <laughs> Random of runes is... Uh, that's solid. Yeah. Yeah. I know we don't have but so it's, it's damage. Yeah. I don't think Jago has enough creatures to stack. I or don't burn. think so either. Right? Yeah. Or burn. No, no, he got a lot of sideboard cards. He does. Um, he may um, blow the, red, the artifact decks out of the water, but... Yeah. Um, Uh, yeah, right. I think that seems likely as well, Nick, that he may have just forgotten. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, the way this works, obviously everyone has access to the draft sheet. What's going to happen is the players are going to bold... They lock a deck in. ...their main deck cards. Everything else is their sideboard. Yeah. So if you, you know, in a second here, once the draft is done, you'll start to see stuff get bolded in the lists. This is their full 40, then. These are my cards, this is my main deck, I'm locking it in, and then everyone knows what everyone's main deck is and what everyone's packing in the sideboard. Right. All right, let's do a quick poll. Um, bring one person in. We're not going to make a, sh a long interview because we want them to build. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we're going to do poll 60. Um, this time we're starting with Nemo as one and going to Kevin at seven because we've already done Kyle. Yeah. Right. So, so Nemo is one, Cody two, Eric three, on over to Kevin at seven. What's up, Sean? If Nemo did mean Tainted Pact instead of Damnable, can they change? I don't know, actually. Uh, Probably not. No. No. All right, so we've got one for Nemo, one for Eric. 
Good luck tomorrow, Sean. I'm sure you guys are going to stomp the Eagles. That's just how it works. They're a terrible team. Um, Brandon's in the tank on the fifth out pick. Yeah. I think Brandon had too many Mojo cards. I think so, too. Settle sideboard, obviously. But Brandon picked up another Mojo card. Yes! So, our Dovin call. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, there we go. 15 seconds left. Yeah, I think that's likely, Nick. Um, yeah. That they picked the wrong card. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of main board cards. In and there. that's weird for Mason, because Mason knows about this. Yep. Brandon's just sloppy. But yes. <laughs> Mason yeah. knows that. Uh, this is going pretty well. Draft is almost wrapped up, so we'll have build time and then the first round. I don't know what we're going to do matchup-wise. There's a lot here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I want to get lantern control out of the All way right. early. So our... <laughs> Looks like we're getting Nemo. It was Nemo. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, for, as, so as you know, everyone may not know, this is Swiss after the... Oh, this is full round robin. Yep. Uh, we do have one camera, so we'll always have one match on feature. Yep. And we tried it. We will get everyone on camera at least once. Yes. So, um, yeah. Yeah, everyone on camera at least once. And for those of you that didn't hear earlier, uh, this does take a Lupe Fiasco style buy-in. Yes. By which we mean food and liquor. It's got to be fifty dollars in food and or liquor. Minimum. Minimum. Yeah. Basically, something you'd get for what you'd give for a wedding gift. Yeah. So and it used to be just liquor, but then we had some people like nineteen year olds play. Yeah, and we were like, oh, we kind of probably need to do that food too. So, yeah, uh, well, just in case. Yeah, uh, and it, the way it works is the top four draft, the prizes at the end. First gets four picks, second gets two, third and fourth yeah. get one pick. So it goes first pick, second pick, third pick, fourth pick, and then second picks one more, and then first gets everything else. Yep. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, it's uh, that's the Australia tax. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But also, everything will be on YouTube shortly after. Yeah, we'll have it all on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. no no Ragman, right? Ragman got picked second pick. Oh, that's right. It was picked yeah. second. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. All right, so what do we miss here? Uh, tracker went. There we go. So that was yep. good. Uh, get into the trials. Ooh, I like that. I like trials a lot. Op, op agent, solid by Cody there. Blooming it, Marsh. Blooming. So op agent was picks. really underperformed for me, but at yep. the last pick, I think it's really good. You can bring it on the board. Yep. You get to who you want it. Yeah. Now, the issue is not a lot of other people have tutors. Cody's got a lot of the tutors. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Elixir um, of Immortality. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go grab Nemo in before Nemo starts building and bring Nemo in. All right. And then, you want to sit for this one since I got the last two? Yeah, sure. Me. Himbo to the gods. Let me pee slash grab Nemo and then yep. I will sit for this one. All right. So for those of you that are just tuning in, this is... St. Lotus. We are doing a vintage rotisserie draft. The way that format works is basically there is one single card on the table. It is opened up and every single vintage legal card is in that pack. One of every one of those. Uh, the only ban list is vintage ban list. We actually do allow draft matters cards but they're not worth picking because they don't work the way that you want them to. Uh, we ran into a problem where it basically gave you a free copy of Emrakul because how it works. Whatever, fine. Uh, so we changed the way those work, which is something we tinker with regularly. We were actually just discussing the Quantities Matter cards this last time to give you a little insight into how our process works, and I basically brought up, you know, what about cards like Flame Burst, where it counts the number of copies in your graveyard, or Accumulated Knowledge, where it counts the number of copies in your graveyard. And we ran into, well, Rune Snag would be a problem then, because typically Rune Snag is like a decent like mediocre but still completely draftable card well if you draft it and you get four of them suddenly it's basically the best counter spell in the format because one pick gets you four copies and all of a sudden that's format breaking so that was one of the reasons that we decided not to go with it uh, surging flame yeah would be another one um, but basically just you know not ideal but that's something we tinker with regularly so this time Wastes became basics, and anything that says you can have any number of copies is you can have any number of copies. So Relentless Rats works for that exact reason. 
hence the Thrumming Stone Relentless Rats transformational cyborg. Yeah. Yeah, there's surprisingly, there's not a lot of um, Monarch cards that get taken in this format over our last couple of drafts. Which, Fall from Favor would be one that you would think, I mean, that's pretty good in Eric's deck especially because it does give him access to card draw, which is something he's a little bit lacking on. Um, we did have someone pick Palace Jailer before, which obviously is just a really good card in general. Monarch just stapled on top of it as like a free add. Nemo's coming in. Okay, so here we have Mr. Hagen and Nemo. I will step out. Okay. All right. So, uh, again, I am Stephen Hagen, and I am joined by Nemo Blaze. Um, so this is Nemo's first draft, and you all voted to talk to Nemo. So tell us about a little bit about your plan coming in. Uh, did you have a plan? Were you being a reactionary? Uh, what was your thinking pro thought process? No, so I put a couple of different piles together. I had Mono White Oswald Fiddlebender Stacks build Ooh. that I decided not to play because I watched – a VOD of a previous draft where someone mentioned that stacks kind of never comes together when people mm -hmm. try and build it. Yeah, it can be rough. So I had that, and then I had a red deck wins, but I kind of got talked out of that by some of my friends. Okay. Because I had this, I had this deck. I had yep. this World Gorger Dragon Bitter Ordeal deck, and everyone was like, "You get every card from Magic's history, and you play red deck wins." Seriously. <laughs> like, no, no shade to Jago, but like, right. We get to do whatever. I had this plan, so we just decided to play that. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think this is like this was a very solid draft from from my, from my standpoint, right? Like yeah. you had good fealty to a plan, right? Um, you hit the reanimator shell, but kept yourself up and didn't really telegraph where you were going with it. Yeah, and there's so many reanimator targets. We started to realize we figured you were doing the archon when you took the unmarked grave, yes, because that was the non legendary clause. But so, you know what? Unmarked grave wasn't actually in. I had this Excel sheet with 45 cards in it uh -huh. that I had already picked out. Unmarked grave wasn't in there. I realized part of the way through the draft I was like, wait a minute. World Gorger is not legendary. Right. I can just put that in the pile. Okay. Do you feel, how do you feel about your sideboard plan, your sideboard main deck split? Do you feel you drafted too many main deck cards, or do you feel you did a pretty good job of keeping a fealty to a sideboard I, main deck plan? I know that I took a ton of lands, okay. which could have been That's sideboard good. slots. No, those are good. But I want to have an incredibly strong main deck, and then the cards that I did grab have a ton of spillover value. Okay. So I can just, I can control left through my opponent's list, look at what they're going to be bringing in, and I'll grab... I got reverence silence. Right. I have uh, massacre worm, which I'm not really planning to play main deck. Okay. Like I have all of this stuff that hits a bunch of random items, and I can grab any of it. Okay. Uh, Nick wants to know: Was damnable pack supposed to be tainted pack? No, damnable pack is supposed to be damnable pack. It's, it's a it's drawing an, cards. It's an infinite mana win con. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can I can it's it is stroke of genius, but I don't have to play blue. Okay. Are you gonna main deck thasis then? Oh, oh yes, okay. I sure am. Cause cause with the World Gorger loop, that's the reason I took Bazaar of Baghdad so early. If you bazaar yourself, okay. you can bazaar your whole deck out, and then the last sequence of the loop, you animate Dead Thassa's Oracle and you win the game. Okay. okay. So that is in there, bitter ordeal is in there, Daniel Pact is in there, because I want to make it as hard as possible to take me fully off of winning. Okay. Yeah, we wanna know we thought maybe with the Thassa's the tainted pack was supposed to be maybe the deal with you. No. So, okay. No no no. The Thassa's is just supposed to get reanimated. Like I own out of the board. Uh you know what? I'm actually probably going to put I own a main deck because I do need to have something else to go get main right. deck. Um, so yeah, the it's in there. And then I really, I was trying to find a place to grab show and tell. Okay. Just in case. Right. But So I hyphenated asked if you were thought about Demonic Consultation to go with Demonic Consultation. Demonic Consultation. You know what? We actually talked about it during one of the breaks and I realized oh. that it exiled and didn't mill. So I was not interested in that. Okay. Level. So because it messed with your other your other combos. So. Exactly. Okay. So there we go. Uh, yeah. So I, I think your land picks really good here. I don't like your reflecting pool uh, because reflecting pool like maybe one on turn one does nothing quite often. Right. But I am a big fan and I am a big defender of the uh, filter lands. So I think you know I thought your filter lands was good. Totally. Free. Particularly your multicolors like yeah. like this. I think yeah, the filter well, lands are really good. I mean, if you look at the land shell, like that's the reason I picked the reflecting pool is look at it. Like I have. Confluence, I have Gemstone Mine, yeah. I have Golden Orchard. Like, Reflecting Pool is going to basically be a second buy you a lot 
Did you think about Oath going with your uh, Forbidden Orchard? You know what? Eric actually mentioned it, and I told him no, because there's so many whiffs in there. Like, what happens if I get my Oath trigger and I flip over a Thassa's Oracle? Okay. Like, I look really stupid in that scenario. <laughs> flip over a Xanthus Worm. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. okay, the Xanthus Worm was, like, obviously bullied. Right. Um, but there there was enough stuff. It was in an earlier iteration of the list, but I decided we're going to take that out. Uh, Dothy Voidwalker Mendecker? Um, I actually don't know. I just, I realized... Out of all of the grave hate and all of Magic the Gathering, I that is I that is the last worst time. card to see on the other well, side of the table. When you when you hit, I was just like Nemo had Nemo took this partial because Nemo doesn't want to face it. No, <laughs> yeah, that, that is not a proactive card. That is me going. I actually can't win against this. Right. Same reason for the collector oof. That was not in my pile, but I watched the Grindstone Painters and I was like, you know, it's pretty free to do here. Let's get the oof, yeah. and I can turn one it. I can go Dark Rit and Tomb Reanimate. Right, right. And then okay. Kyle, make Kyle cry. All right. Well, any other thoughts or comments here? Uh, no. I mean, I, I just I hope I win. Oh, I any, not even not the event. Like just anything. anything. I hope I win anything. All right. Well, I love the bitter ordeal. Uh, people voted to see you, so oh, yeah, yeah, I think they're excited. They're excited to see this too. So. And that's what the that's what the Dark Dwellers is for too. It's also part of the bizarre loop because right. if I bizarre out, I can reanimate the Dark Dwellers trigger bitter ordeal. Yeah. You made me look up some cards, Commune with Gods. I had to look up. I, I, I remembered it. It's amazing for this well, deck. Because like, I can flip over the dragon and get my reanimate. Right, well, and also, the other interesting thing is you don't even have to take a card. No, it's I a, sure don't. It's a May the whole time, which yeah. is really, like, yeah, that seems pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I had to look up the one of the enchantment, the enchantment hate sweeper you did, too. So, uh, oh, Reverence Lines? Yeah. Don't worry, I had to Scryfall. I literally went Scryfall, <laughs> Oracle, quote, destroy all enchantments, end quote. Nice. I like the unmask. I love the veil. So I like this. I like this list a lot. So uh, thanks a bunch. Yeah, a couple other. I, the creepy corrosion was the only other pick. I thought was probably too early. I think you could have grabbed that somewhere or something else. Yeah, but, especially when you I already took, had force and collector. But the reason I took the corrosion so early is because I realized Mason was going for that like green mid range right. shell, and if he thought about it, he would absolutely snipe that off. Right, but you have decay and trophy, so you've got a really good one. So uh, yeah, I think this deck's really versatile. Yeah, that's that's the idea. Is I just want to not get blown out by stupid stuff because mm-hmm. the combo so cool. I just want to get there. Right. I want to make sure I can actually pull that off. Yeah, no death right shaman gone. No, you know, yeah. All right, cool. All right. Well, thank you a lot for coming in and talking to us. Oh, Go course. get your Thanks deck so built much. and mark we'll your main do. deck. And make sure uh, everything's there. Make yeah, sure. Make sure. That's a great yeah. idea. It's right here. Oh, right here. We already oh. pulled your stuff. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. Thanks. Good luck. Yep. Thanks. Get popping back in here. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stretch my legs for one more moment, and I'll be yep. right back. All right. Oh, sure. All right, so question for everyone. Let's get a poll going. We're going to do 60 second poll here. Uh, One through eight. What one single deck, if you have to pick one, do you want to see in round one on camera? I know I'm pulling for either Lantern or Valakut. Valakut is only for the sake of Nick, so he can go to bed, but he gets to see it on stream. Uh, control is just because, good lord, I want to see Lantern Control on stream so bad. Yeah, Nick Nick going for five, of course. Swifty going for five. You're not going for Lantern or Sunrise? All right, all right. I feel it. Five and one. So maybe maybe we just get those two decks on camera together. Do, do we want to do that? <laughs> do we want to subject everyone to that matchup? <laughs> I will say, I was out there talking to Mason, and he said he does not feel very confident in the deck. He says this is the new worst deck I've ever played. Oh, I remember, Swifty. Um, but last time he said it was the worst deck he'd ever drafted, and he won the whole thing. So, you know, if he's really running it back, maybe that's for the best. All right, so we've got... Five, seven, one are the three big winners. All right, so I'll tell you what then, we're going to do it. We're going to do Lantern and Cuddy on camera round one. We're going <laughs> to... 
we're gonna see how this goes uh i think it's gonna be if nothing else entertaining and mind melting in so many ways uh i kind of i kind of want to time the match just to see how long it takes um i have the feeling that this will be over very quickly or will take forever one or the other Eric Mason, Jago, Brandon, Kyle. I think that's probably accurate. Our, our request for round one, mm -hmm. according to the poll, the two decks with the most votes were Lantern Control and Mason. Well, let's see who gets their decks built first. Yeah. Because that's who's round one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so these rounds are untimed, Jew, which may be um, a problem. <laughs> After... That may be something we change after this VRD. <laughs> okay. Now, now that we have an actual lantern control, we're just going to see if someone's going to be that guy like I would be and be like, all right, well, we're going to play this out. I'm not scooping to you. Or if someone's actually going to bother to scoop, which, uh, worth noting, Jago did not pink Ancient Grudge, which is pretty clutch in the right. lantern matchup. Yeah. So... Um. So Eric said Grief and Solitude were on his one of his other lists, but once oh, okay. the thought seeds got snapped up, he, he, he went took to, them off. Right. Okay. He went to the sense. much more yeah. uh, just colorless. Yeah. Yeah, Lantern against a deck with Twister and Time Spiral. Say what again? So yeah, I um, mean those are so what cards are you all while they're building? I mean, what cards are you shocked to not see go? Like I'm actually not shocked to see Bob go. Bob I got Bob really late last time. Yeah. Bob seems to be on the decline. So yeah. it not going isn't surprising, especially with these decks. Um, I am shocked not to see Grief go. Yeah, Grief and Solitude. Solitude less so. I don't think there's a really good deck for Solitude anymore. Yeah, th that's fair. In this, there's not. Grief, though, is one of those cards that, like, if you're running black, it's almost so good. Right. Yeah, Natural Order, I'm surprised, didn't go. Um, did, did he grab Leobold, though? Yeah, he did, okay. He did grab Leobold. Yeah, I mean, what, yeah. What, I mean, what are you natural ordering into, though? Well, yeah, I, mean, I, I figure he would have taken natural order somewhere in the 30s. Right, I guess natural order in the time. And gotten his target, his target later right. on. Right, like, like from, uh, you go into the Dryad Orb or into the prime time. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, natural order still fills. Yeah. Okay, so we have our red deck player lining up their Dragon's Rage Channeler in the sideboard? So Eric did not end up grabbing the Dragon's Ball like, like, they, like yeah. he said he was going. Again, I think if you end up looking at it, the red deck, like, they just don't have enough burn on their little... Yeah. Right, so Channel is bolded. It's kind of hard to see what's bolded sometimes. Is it bolded? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, our first seven picks out of the red deck, first eight picks are bolded. So Lutri in the sideboard, then. Same with oh, Frantic I mean, Search. Lutri, yeah, I mean, Lutri's... Yeah. Bolded. Oh, yeah, it has to be. Um... Yeah, natural order into prime time or crater hoof. I I was kind of surprised that Mason didn't get the. What are the lands in the amulet titan combo? That deck doesn't. Like the hasty ones. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, Slayer Str stronghold. Yeah, that one. I it, it's not a deck that runs abrupt decay, so I don't know what it does. Yeah, Angus the so with the yeah no non legendary. I mean, he was very much in on the I'm Lord Gorger plan, right? I mean, he's got a few backups. Yeah. But they wanted the backups to be less legendary uh, with the um, the new uh, Shallow Grave or whatever. Not yeah. Shallow Grave. Uh, uh, shallow Burial. Yeah. Not Shallow Grave. Is it Unmarked? No, it's something to do with it. Unmarked Grave. Unmarked Grave. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, I, I agree, actually, that Candle was interesting that it wasn't drafted by Kyle. Because when he was in here, he even said, you know, I thought about Candle with my academy and doing right. degenerate things. Um, so I kind of thought he'd do that. Uh, Volras Stronghold not getting taken by the re-rendered Yeah, player. Stronghold's slow. I don't know. It, it is slow, and I see it as more of a sideboard card than anything. Yeah. It's not main board, but when you have, like, when there's spot removal and you know they're bringing in some kind of graveyard spot removal, like your scavenger right. hunters or your surgical extraction. Stronghold's only been picked six times. Oh, yeah, fair. Never mind. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think it's solid, but I don't I don't think it's all that you yeah. racked up to be. Um I think a card like Phyrexian Tower for some decks. Yeah. Not in his deck, but some random no, decks. Yeah. A card like Tower, even. Yeah. Where, you know, where you can sack some of your early little, like, pack rat tokens to, yeah. you know. Your veteran explorers. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah. Nick, Nick Fit is eight cards with a 52 card 
Exactly. Yes. 52 flex slots. <laughs> I, I played Legacy with Nick Spitz with Runic Thar main deck. Okay, it was a Jeff Lydon special. I remember when Lydon had that list. Yeah, and, that was uh, incredible. I, I played it against a dredge player. on my. I got a turn three Rook Thar. They looked at their hand. They looked at the graveyard. So they looked at the graveyard three times because they didn't look at their hand because they didn't have one. Yeah. They looked at me. They looked at the graveyard. They picked up a Rook Thar, read it again, and said, all right, next game. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me it was Beamer. <laughs> no, it wasn't Beamer, but I, I don't know who it was. I yeah. laugh. It was Beamer. I don't know who it was. So. Yeah, so what, what are you surprised did get taken or got taken where it was taken? I mean, there was obviously some, you know, some picks here and there that always pop up early. Like, uh, you know, I, I, but they, looking at the rest of their draft and their plan, like, I don't think you need to hang her back where it is. Yeah. Obviously, I said the ginger brood I made fun of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, leaving Kevin alone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that the Ristic Study is a real yeah. shocker. Like yeah. That it's a card I think about. Like, mm, mm, it could lot. I am surprised with the Urza um, if he is it, that he did not grab the um, Doctor combo just yeah. as, a, as a secondary. Oops, I win. Um, Nettle says not getting taken. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, Nettle says not being taken is definitely surprising in multiple decks. Like I think it was yeah, good in I, Kyle just as a beater, or in Kevin, yeah. or even in Eric. Eric's um, list. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that Eric didn't, like, having the pain lands, you have the ability to splash black yeah, and go for, like, your Tide Hollow Skull or stuff yeah. like that, which yeah. I think was, I, I think the reason was he'd clearly decided, I'm all aboard the Eldrazi. Yeah, he's going to be beaten down. He's going to play a lot of ways. He is. I mean, he's going to be scary. And he's got Tomb and City of Traders, right? Yeah. And, I mean, and, yeah, and Bolt yep. and Jet. I mean, he can, he can. He can crank out real quick. He can beat. Yeah, uh, and I agree with you. I, and Kyle agreed as well. He said that you know Painter over Saga was a mistake. Yeah, um, and he wanted Saga, and uh, Mason wanted Saga. Yeah, because he wanted yeah. it for the amulet. But, yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna get Eric in here to talk about his decision down the road. Yeah, I really want like the Once Upon a Time from Mason. Yeah, where it's Once at. Upon a Time was really good there. Talking to Nemo, like I, I, there was picks I didn't like in Nemo's necessarily, but talking to Nemo through, like Nemo had a plan and yeah, and, and, and executed. Like, like he talked about the the demo pack was not a mistake. They talked about the demo pack was not a mistake because okay. those put off the infinite mana, you kill with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, and I, I knew it was a kill. It was just right. interesting that there wasn't something with the, the Thassa's Oracle. Well, the Thassa's Oracle is for the end of the reanimate chain. You keep dumping your yard in, and oh, then you just yeah. at the end you need this you animate that in. Yeah, to win. Yeah, um, that's fair. So he said the Doth. They said the Dothy Voidwalker was was mostly defensive. Like they, yeah, they, I, they, I agree. They yeah. can't beat that card. They're yeah. not sure they're going to no, beat yeah. that. No, they were yeah. just like I realized I cannot beat that yeah. card. <laughs> no, and I I mean I think even even as a sideboard plan is like all right I've got an alternate right. like beater plan here I can get you with is still super solid and we only saw a rest in peace and a ley line of the void. Yeah, uh, for well, I guess it was cr- cage and crit. Yeah, but like that. those those are things that Nemo yeah, has. I, I they have Nemo's list with. like Nemo's list is. Yeah, uh, with the trophy and decay yep. and the great and the really good art, art, enchantment artifact take out of the board. Yeah. The thing. Summer, I, I like decked it last time. This did list this today. You do not. No, it. today it's a sideboard like, card yeah. for sure. You had five draft the unmask. Yeah. Um. Again, grief should have been in Nemo's list. I think. Yeah. Uh, I agree. You go again. You're already running unmask. Might as well. Yeah. Uh. But still, like Nemo's list is really good. Uh, yeah. If, if they can dodge the. I, I think of all the linear strategies that were drafted today, it's the best that is an aggro. Yeah. It's the best combo strategy because the other combo le- decks seem to be a little bit more diluted. Yeah. And it's like, you know, like Cody, for example, he had a great start. Yeah, that control I, shell. His first 10 that picks are shell insane. Up to, up to Breach. Yeah. I love every pick up to Breach, actually. Yeah. And then like, after a breach, it's like, wait, what's going on? Here? Maybe Dak, because I don't really, know, I don't th- think Cody needs to go into red. But even then, going Grixis is wonderful. Grixis, yeah. like you get like Kess. Drown in the lock, Kess. Yeah, like, like there's you, so you, many good cards. There. Four, four drop, flip nickel bolus. Yeah, uh, flip Nicky B is so yeah. good in this format. Right, like, like I think if you just go even up to breach, if you stop yeah. at breach and you take pick the rest of those kind of Grixis control cards. Yep. Like that's a lanes deck from previously, right? Yeah. Like you want a few more targeted, you get um. Thought um, the blue black one, uh, one of the other really best. Um, thought erasure, not erasure. What Membrane, no. Thought erasure, the blue black uh, discard spell that they you exile a card. 
Oh, uh, God, that's going to drive me crazy. Well, you also get Counter Squall. Right. Although, you know. Uh, thought yeah, I was also surprised Bolas' Citadel didn't get replaced. In this draft, it's actually, I mean. Uh, it is a Erasure. Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, Thought Erasure, right? Like, that is easily, uh, you know, one of the best discard spells. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, I think if you go everything up from the Underworld Breach on, I don't, other than yeah. Brazen Borrower, other than a few picks, like, you know, I don't worry about it. Deluge is good. Spellbomb's right. fine. But, like, all the Storm stuff you take out, but if you put yeah. in Thought Erasure and you put in Kess and you put in Storm Mind, if you do. Drown in the Lock. Drown in the Lock. Like, oh, man. Um, um, yeah, so if you can pull up OBS, I think we're just about ready to go right, here. So real quick. One more thing. Five times, round 23. It's a lot of black. Yes, all the games will be played today, Nick. All right, so OBS is free. Right there. Right there. Uh, who do we have going? I don't know who that is. Oh, Kyle and Jago. We're already good right. to go. Fan Mark, time. is this actually Kyle and Jago? Y'all ready for some games? Yeah, is, this is actually it actually Kyle and Jago? Kyle and Jago? 